Thank you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a late night stream of something that is a bit out of my comfort zone. Something new. For me, anyway. We're about to play some Spirit Fair. Now, I've heard this game is just literally just adorableness personified, but also heart wrenching. So let's see if it can break through that cold black abyss I call a heart. Okay, that's already adorable. <clears throat> I've heard it's all text, so I will be trying to voice act quite a bit. Oh my lord. Ah, finally. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. How ironic that would have been, would it not? I'm Charon. The Spirit Fairer. Well, that is what I have been up until your arrival. I cannot say that I am sad to leave, but I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are? Stella. Welcome, Stella. I see you have brought a friend here with you. What's his name? Daffodil. I see. You two will share the burden then. And take it over from me. As I said, in a few minutes I will be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit, Fairer. Listen, your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands, and when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You will have to fell. You will have to help them fulfill their last request and be at their service until their last breath. The big round bridge over there is the Everdor. The Alpha where everything starts. The Omega where everything ends. This is where all the quests get completed and where existence meets its, meets its threshold. There is no task more important than this one. Never forget this, Stella. Here, this is there is something I need to give you. Now be really careful with it. It is the Everlight. The symbol of your status here, and the only tool you will ever need. Wait, what are you? <clears throat> oh, how highly inappropriate. Well, that settles it. The Everlight will help you throughout your travels. It will be the light that shines in darkness, the last remaining hope of the departed. Hope is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. 
It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too at first. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. You will soon get used to this place. Accustomed to these moments. You are the new spirit fairers after all. He said it for me. Once I am gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you, and it will fade away once I am gone. You might find one not too far from here if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Probably. It's time. Here I go. So long, Stella, and good luck. You will need it. Hope we're rowing in the right direction. Hmm. Okay. to jump press hi who are you mm -hmm. Stella it really is you stand up straight and let me get a get a look at you mm. you look good and daffodil is here too I see we have to find it. We'll have to find a lint roller then. Ah, it might not be that obvious after all. Mm -hmm. It's me, Gwen. Good thing you found me. Mm -hmm. But if you're here, it means. Oh. You are the new spirit fairer. Mm -hmm. You are the one replacing Charon. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. I've been stuck on this island for about a week, living off sardines and cigarettes. Mm. Funny how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. I can see you have an Everlight now. Mm. Of course. See that boat over there? That's the one. Yep. It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's commandeer it. I'll wager it'll work since you're the spirit fair. Okay, meet me on the deck over there. I'll explain it all. Over here! Okay, here goes. Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. Mm. Wonderful! I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. Mm. So, the way I see it, this boat is yours now. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Good. And as you're the spirit fair, welcoming stray spirits is your new job. And once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Mm -hmm. Well, 
It's my theory anyway. Why are you looking at me like that? You need to come here and give me a hug. I love that there's a dedicated hug button. Much better. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. Oh no. What a mess. Reminds me of uh, reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. A beautiful unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this or my dust allergies will be back. Let me think. Mm -hmm. There's only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert. Mm -hmm. He's your local shipwright. And his jokes are garbage. But he's the only one who can fix your boat. Mm -hmm. You should head to Albert's shipyard. You must be wondering how to make this ship move. Mm -hmm. It's really easy, actually. There, let me give you... This key I found on the island. It will unlock that cabin in the back. Mm -hmm. Just find a map projector in there. How do I know all this? Well, I was planning an escape, remember? Mm -hmm. And you know me. I plan things meticulously. Very mm -hmm. meticulously. Go on. Open up that cabin, Stella. Mm -hmm. The map projector should be simple enough, and enough to use and you have... Just have to go to Albert's shipyard. Okay. Okay. That's the Everdoor. As I understand, this ship is powered by your Everlight. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals the stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything by myself. Mm -hmm. Must admit, it's quite fascinating. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Mm. Sharon, the Everdor, the Spirit Four, this place, this boat, me being here. It's a lot. You must be wondering what is going on. Truth be told, I don't really know either, but I'm here for you. I'll do my best to help you and try to make sense of it all. Mm -hmm. As I said earlier, I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore this ship. Mm -hmm. You can even give that fishing rod a try. The world is your oyster. I have a curiosity. Okay, the boat just stops. Oh! I can pick those up. Okay. I don't know if I can, like, sell them or whatever. Oh, that's adorable. That is one thing I... I did play a tiny bit just to make sure it captured properly. And yeah, this game is adorable. Hey, I got airing. Looks like we're almost there. She's agile. Oh, I literally was like, wait, what was that? I'm sorry. Daffodil on the Everlight, like, just being like, nope, nope, don't touch water, don't touch water. That's adorable.
Albert Shipyard discovered. Oh, now head to Owen to Albert Shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear this clutter. I'm curious about what it's all made of. Considering the smell, at least I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. All right. Before we jump in, I just I just got to go charge my phone. Let's go. Just turning up the game a bit. Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. Where my prices are customer's best friend. I'm Albert. Been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you are the new spirit fair? Well, of course you are. Anyway, you've been able to start this ship and bring it here after all. Gwen was right to port point you towards my humble enterprise. Huh, let me see what you have here. <coughs> nice little dinghy. Funny how it looks exactly like the one I'd built some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. See? Sh Charon was ha unhappy about his gloomy and dank arc. Actually, he was always complaining about everything. But the customer is always right. So I built him a newer, better one. Of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard. But don't worry, you can keep this one. Let's just call this a loan. And let me tell you something. You know, we always joke about the construction here. Don't worry. We're still working on it. Ugh. Anyway, with a little bit of love, this bird will be resplendent again. The first thing you'll need is a proper blueprint table. Since it's your lucky day and I'm feeling generous, I'll offer it to you. Free of charge. Mind you, it's just a bit bare bones in terms of functionality. But the subsequent upgrades will come at such a small price, you'll want to buy them almost immediately. Simply direct me to upgrade the ship. Build and edit thing you, your buildings on the boat. What a treat. You really want to upgrade your phone size? I'm your guy. Okay. Finally. Good. Albert gave it to you for free. And he said he'd loan the ship to you. Ominous. Hard to know what is my what he has mine, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand for now. Mm -hmm. Cleaning up this deck. Go to your new blueprint table above your cabin and select the move option. In it, you'll be able to remove any building and get back resources. Mm -hmm. Go for it, I'll wait down here. You did a wonderful job, Stella. And the good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. A necessary amenity. Mm -hmm. Newly welcome 
Spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep? Not really. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in there. But it beats sleeping on the deck. The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff and the humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave you to it. Have fun. Okay. Excellent. This guest house is very pretty. It has your touch. Nice work as usual. Now at last, I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh! Wait. What is going on? Something else is happening. Ah. I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. Very hungry. You know how terrible a cook I am. But I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. Mm -hmm. And you might have fished a few fishes already. The trouble is I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I could try for sure, but I'd probably choke on a f the fish bone and never survive. Mm -hmm. That's not how you want me to go. I'm as absurd as this sounds. So you should keep using this blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen aboard. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I've seen the plans for it in there. As well as the necessary resources. Damn. You require bright jelly. Mm -hmm. And there's only one way to get some. I... Mm -hmm. Look. I should have told you when I first met you here. Something scares the hell out of me. Mm -hmm. A dark presence and even I cower from it. A void that swallows all. Light included. It can take many forms and for me it is always jellyfish. Yes, I'm fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen. Well, only these jellyfish can provide it to you. So there's no other option. Mm -hmm. I'll have to face my fears. But you're here. Mm -hmm. With you, I can do it. It will appear as a dark patch of pure fear on your map, so you can't miss it. Go. I'll take some time to prepare myself. Okay. Pure fear. Ah. Okay, so that's... Crates? So I'll hit up that first. And then I'll move over to the patch of pure fear. See if I can catch a few more fish. Should be good, should be good. Come here. <laughs> I love how Cell is excited about just catching an old shoe. And I'm checking the crates because it says, you know, like, potential ore, rocks, stone. It's like, oh, it's getting dark. And if, I, if I'm a bit quiet while I play this, it's just, it's a complete chill out game. And I mean that in, like, the best way. so nice. It's so peaceful. Alright. Let's see if we can fish a few. We'll get one more fish. Wait. Okay, that's... 
Ooh, thank you. All right, we're good. And let's just set that. Hmm. Oh! That was... <laughs> I th I was trying to... Yeah, I was just trying to crouch at the end. I was just trying to be fancy. Okay. Well, we're almost there, so. Let's see if we can get one more fish fishing cast in. Got it. Come on. Come on. Come, come to Stella. Oh boy. Here we are. Damn. Here they come. Put your eyes on the one. Bright jelly. Visible enough. Okay. It's a big boy. Oh yeah. get yep. hey got him fantastic okay I'm really impressed you rocked out there tumbling and diving like a shooting star and without the slightest fear nor hesitation at that you definitely haven't lost your touch Stella and you even gathered enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen go for it I'll be patiently waiting, slowly digesting myself. Before we do that, I just want to set... Build. So, that I would need lightning in a bottle, and I need more maple logs and limestone for that. Ah! Now you use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple. Put any one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. You can even try those loose corn kernels that were hanging out in my pockets. Can't wait to see you in your cooking glory again. Got this. What's up? 
<laughs> Don't ask me how, but I've met Albert already. He definitely is a shark. But his interest in all things maritime will be helpful. Yay. Such as the boat upgrades he sells at an outrageously high price. With those, you'll be able to cross ominous weather barriers in the world. They look like classic mythical, mythical challenges again. A bit cliche, if you ask me. Yeah, what's up? Ah, yes. Forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, this post stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your ever light being, well, light. Or some other technicality. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Tackle unfinished business or just chill on the deck under the stars. I suggest you go to sleep too in that cozy little room atop your cabin. Mm -hmm. You'll wake up refreshed and ready to go and the ship will start up again in the morning. Oh, and speaking of that, you know me. Waking up on time has never been my forte. Mm -hmm. You can ring that big bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right time. Mm -hmm. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of sleep, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. This should just be some popcorn. I don't know, but I'm gonna cook it all. It's, I don't know. Pop. And just cook fish. <clears throat> oh, that's actually going to take a bit. So actually going to sleep would be the best idea. Oh my god, that's adorable. Hello. What? Talk to you in a sec. I just gotta get the herring out of the. F hey, grilled fish. One of those. Hang on, hang on. Hey, what's up? That's better than I thought it could be. Then again, you've always been a wonder in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. You need a good meal once in a while. It'll be up to you to understand who's fond of what. Mm -hmm. As for me, I'm, I'm sure you remember I've always loved comfort food. And that I would die for a cup of coffee. But I'm not that picky. I can eat anything. Just never the same thing twice. Oh, and before I forget, here's something I was supposed to give you. Not sure exactly how it works, but an opal is a symbol of passage. It's a fee each spirit has to pay you. But something tells me you knew that already. Mm. Okay, let's keep improving this craft. As you must have seen in your blueprint table, there is both a field and a garden blueprint. Mm. Which means you can grow many different things. And turn the ship into an adorable farm of sorts. You should add a field first, in my opinion. Mm. It's going to be easier to find the resources forward around here and you grow linen in it, which in turn will be used to craft more things. In addition to building a field, we should go buy seeds to use it in, but that will come later. We need you to visit an island close by. It's called Moss Stein Coven. There's something on it we need. I'll tell you when we get there. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. I'm coming. Alright, steam shellfish. Ooh, coffee beans. That's actually excellent. And some copper ore. Hug. Hug the dear lady. Mood. Okay. Okay. 
that Mustang coat? Yes. Okay, that's where I started. That's a weird bus stop. That's Albert. All right, let's head to Mostine or Mostine. I wouldn't know how you pronounce that. Sorry, I'm gonna do a bit more fishing because you know, if I gotta feed the spirits. And if the game does seem a little quiet, that's kind of intentional. Because it's, it's not like a big, loud, bombastic game. It is literally the epitome of chill. How you doing tonight, chat, by the way? I'm actually going to see if I can make this chill stream, like, go a bit longer. I'm not sure. It is my second stream of the day. Generally, I only do two streams when it's, like, my days off. Come here. Okay, got a couple herrings. I'm just seeing if there's anything. What's up? You know I'm delighted that you're here with me. But I'm not surprised one bit. It adds up. You taking care of me in my final hours? You've always cared so damn much about others. Always protected those you found vulnerable. Even pedantic snobs like me. Remember the day my father yelled at the cat? We just got out of elementary school. You were wearing those blue sneakers with the glittery tags. There you were, yelling back at my father like you were on a mission. Father turned red and smashed the purple Delano vase. It was rad. Mostine Cove discovered. We should hop on that island over there. Maybe we'll find some something interesting. Sure. I feel like a dick now. I should have waited. Here we go. What a majestic tree. Well, you can cut it down. Yes, it's fine, I promise. It's the best way to get the wood you need, actually. But don't worry, they'll regrow over time. Another interesting fact about the Everlight. See, th I'm thinking now. Well done. Congratulations, for you have become death, the destroyer of worlds. Jokes aside, that's how you do it. You go on ahead cutting down more trees. And we can go back to the boat and build the field with all these maple logs. I'll be next to the raft. Ooh, strawberries. Raspberries. I just thought, I le don't think I would like a speed run of this game. Because this is a game I don't think is meant to be speedrun. Like, you can do it, but I feel like it would take away from the game. You know. Who's to say? I don't know. But I just... Oh, there it is. Just checking over here. Okay, yeah. hey, let's head back. Got some strawberries, got some wood, got some limestone, got some glim.
Oh wait, nope. Oh, first thing I want to do. Ooh, damn, that's going to take a while. And she said to build a field or something. Yep. A field. Ha, huh, it's better looking than I thought. There's a little je ne sais quoi to it. Simple but elegant. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is plant field seeds in there. Seeds can grow only in their respective places. Garden seeds won't grow in the field, so don't bother trying. Mm -hmm. But you know me, I would kill a plastic. I would kill a plastic cactus. So don't take my word on this. Anyway, there's only one place where we could possibly find what we need. Theodore specializes in seeds. Mm -hmm. He has shed, set up shop in Hummingburg. The busiest town of the area. Theodore and his brothers are the founders of Raccoon Inc., a shady retail franchise with very loose moral values. Yes, this world has a serious problem of dubious business practices. Mood. Since I don't want you to get swindled, I'll come with you and do most of the talking. I've run into this cheeky, ladder. cheeky little raccoon once and his dishonesty was blatant. Let's head to Hummingburg then. Just need to find some seeds for that field. I gotcha. Two coffee, one linen. Here we go. I'm about to make someone very happy with a cup of coffee. Jeez, okay, we still got time. A hey, hummingbird it is. Ooh, something on the way? Yes, okay, that is jellyfish. I wanna go there. But yeah, I wanna check the crates first because that's where we got the coffee beans. Oh, before I forget. Oh, wait. Uh. There we go. Just a little bit of food. Saw you were a bit peckish. I would have started uh, fishing, but then I realized like we're actually pretty close to the crates. And then we got to hit up Hummingberg. Lots of corn and anything I gotta dive for? Nope. Just wanna keep the boat clean. And on, continue on to Hummingburg. Poach fruit. Cook a couple turnips. It's like that's going to take a while. And they're just chilling. Might as well get a fish or two in. All right, we're here. Eh, it'll be fine. All right, we're here. Let's buy some seeds. 
Theodore has set up shop in this island. Let's pay him a visit. I have no reason to. I have all I have the seeds I need. Cause I check crates. Hmm. I'm going home. Don't follow me. Please. Hmm. I hate it when people know where I live. If you know my address, you'll tell people. Then they'll tell people. Hmm. Listen, I just don't want junk mail. Okay. Yeah, I hope my next game will be ready soon. I've crunched the data and spent five nights theory crafting. Clearly, if you take the heavy weapon proficiency from the Mountain Gnome race, there is a nifty synergy with the level three rogue ability Eviscerate. It's for sure a bit weird, but hey, 5d20 and auto crit on prone can't be defeated, am I right? 5d20 and auto crit on prone, Jesus. In a word, that is fucking brutal. Ooh. I'll take that. Thank you. I'm just searching every little bit. And don't worry, I'm just an RPG. Oh. Take a good look at this shrine, Stella. It's simply stunning. Some objects. In this world, are meant to resonate with the Spiritfarer and the Everlight. Mm -hmm. I've heard of this monument has power to enhance the Everlight's abilities. Mm -hmm. The two slots in it need to be filled up. I'm fairly certain you could use obols to activate it. But to get obols, you need to welcome more spirits on your ship. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll soon find. I'm sure you'll soon find more lost souls like me. Who's that? Hi. Stroll a day keeps the doctor away, which reminds me. I haven't been to the doctor in forever. Oh no. Why did I think about health all of a sudden? Am I suddenly starting to feel unwell? I am not sick. I am okay. <laughs> okay, that's for double jump. Sweet. Stop rattling my knob. Lol. My favorite spot is this bench at the end of the pier. Beautiful and quite peaceful. After a long day's work. Oh my. I shouldn't have told you if I wanted to keep it that way. I simply adore your hat. Our local shop Raccoon Inc. only carries garbage wares. Seeds, logs, rocks. All useless items. I need me a hat like yours. I'm out here looking for the right house to start a family. My wife sent me out to find something that might fit our needs. A garden, maybe a pool. Mm -hmm. I'm not asking for much. I just can't decide. I know that you can't help me, but it helps to say it out loud. Mm -hmm. I might stumble on the rarest of finds. Mm -hmm. There's Theodore. Go ahead, take a look at what he's selling. Boo! <laughs> what was that? Those prices are out of control. I won't let him get away with this. Are you ready to see me obliterate this merchant? Yes. Good. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Theodore! I know what you're doing here. And you should be ashamed of yourself, you trash panda. Mm -hmm. People like you are the reason we have middle fingers. What? Madame, what's the meaning of this? Mm -hmm. My friend here is the new spirit fairer. But she's not a newbie. And neither am I. Mm. That little scam of yours won't work on us. But. I. I can assure you my business practices are quite above board. Mm -hmm. Be warned you treacherous striped weasel. 
I won't tolerate this behavior one more second. No more shenanigans, no more double crosses. Just fair prices. I. I. So stop being dishonest at once. And next time I see you, I'll try being nicer. If you start being smarter. Got it? But. Yes. Yes, of course. I promise you I'll adjust my prices. I beg you, please don't scold me anymore. I'll even give you a discount. Hey, you. Yes, you. Your friend really gave that greedy merchant some hell. You both look like you could possibly join the upstairs crew. You want to come up, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty cool being up here. Yeah, all the best people are up here. Don't get too excited, though. Some idiot broke the ladder. You'll have to be able to jump in humanly high to make it. I guess you could also use the stairs in that house. But some other idiot lost the key. Well, anyways, stay up. Upstairs crew forever. Step right up, potential prospect. Welcome to Raccoon Inc. Servicing Hummingbird since forever. Got the glimpse, I've got the goods. I've got all the words to make you spend those harding glimpse. Step right up. There we go. That's a bit more reasonable. I'll talk in a second. If you got everything you need, I'll take my lead. Feel free to stay here as long as you want. I'll meet you at the pier. Ah. I feel like I could almost reach that. I'm a bit of a rush. Okay. Just need another person. Grilled veggies. Keep it going. And then I think I, after these, I think I'll do a full round of linen. Go see if we can get some crates or something of the like. Barkshine Creek. So we'll go to these crates and then we'll go to the creek. Mm. Way ahead of me, Stella. Your thumb is as green as your hat. This boat will soon become a cozy floating farm. Don't forget that you probably have to water the plants once in a while. Mm. Don't ask my word for it, though. My gardening knowledge is. My gardening knowledge is as limited as my father's empathy. You'll have to find better mentors than me. Mm. Which reminds me. I believe it's time for you to find new people. Mm. Not that I don't love the idea of just the two of us cruising the oceans. But you are the spirit fair. And spirit fairers find spirits. Mm. And yes, help them fulfill their last wishes however mundane they can be. I've heard of a place not too far from here where someone might be in need of your help. And I bet you'll like this one if he is who I think he is. Go. 
Let's sail. How you doing on food? Ah. Uh. Grill veggie. Oh. Okay. No hugs for you. Okay. What do I need for garden? I need lightning in a bottle. Which, if I... Grab this. Hey, some limestone and this. Let's head to Barkstein Creek. Actually, no, let's hit up. I always like to hit up the crates. It's just getting a little bit extra stuff early. Hey, I, never a downside. Already watered them today. Now it's just chill and fish. I like the little details, like the tackle box beside me, dandelion just having a little bit of a blink, just being like, huh? It just puts you in a good mood. See what's her mood like. Hey, okay. Chop some thread, use the loom. I don't quite have a loom yet. Oh. Okay, I would need a bunch of stuff I don't have. Ow. So boom, and then I could upgrade by, I could upgrade my blueprint table if I go to them right now. So you know what, we'll grab this, we'll actually head, was it? Yeah, maple log and limestone, oh yeah. And then we'll head over to uh, that other place. I'm just seeing, is there anything I gotta dive for? Nope. Okay. Get up there, so. There we go. Good girl. Okay. Oh, oh, it tells me.
That's incredibly useful. <laughs> yep. So. I feel like I should have an attack, but... I'm just more, how long can I actually, like, stay on here? We're almost there. <laughs> Cat just goes, phew. Oh wait, who's this dude? Hello. Yes, I am the new spirit fair. Happy to make your acquaintance. I'm Francis. You can say I'm sort of a wandering merchant. See, I'm very fond of things. Objects, curios, chalk, chalk knees, whatever that means. I just buy everything. Simply put, I will buy anything you don't want anymore. I'm sure you've come across a few valuable treasures already. So tell me, what is it you want to part with? Sell. I'm immensely chipper to see a dynamic young lady being so hard at work. Not that not that Charon wasn't a true professional, but his manners were, well, a bit cold, if you know what I mean. And he kept everything he found. What a pity. But you're here now. Huzzah, if I dare say. Oh, and don't fret, budding mariner. If you ever needed old Francis, will never be too far. But don't let me be an impediment to your appetite for adventure. Go on, set sail, little blue jacket. Thank you. All right. Let's go talk to Albert. Improve our blueprint table. Scratch my chin. Hey, I've been getting your mail here for the past month. I'm not a post office. Need to add a mailbox to your boat. If I get one more letter filled with glitter, I'll lose it. I'm warning you. You might be a customer, but I reserve the right to yell at you. Get it done. Upgrade. I don't have any of those things I need. There we go. I need maple planks, linen thread, and lightning in a bottle. Okay. There we go. Now we can finally... Okay, that's Francis. Eh. Ooh, excellent. I'm here. Might as well do them all. Just gonna be a little bit to get to where I need to go. And looks like uh, this is lightning. Yeah. I've got lots of empty bottles, so... Oh 
yeah, well, I'm going to might as well make that coffee. <laughs> yeah, thankfully, coffee is quite quick, huh? Should probably make myself a coffee or a kick. What? Wait, no, I've got a Red Bull literally beside me. Lightning. Oh yeah, don't it? Okay. Okay, so lightning in a bottle. So, to get to the sawmill, I need a loom first, which for that I need quartz. Which I have a feeling, well, which, which I think is mined. Barkenshim. Barkenshim Creek discovered. Alright, when you're hungry again, you're gonna really like me. Alright, let's see what's on the creek. Oh. Ow. <laughs> I love how Stella is doing all the work. Daffodil is literally just floating there. That's actually very amusing to me. Ah, uh, bonk. Wow. Lots of logs. Talk to you in a second. Ooh. My lemon! You found it! I just need to find a tissue or something. I don't want to get berry juice all over it. Never mind. Just hold on to that lemon for me. Don't go and squeeze it. Wait a minute. Maybe you could help me. This island is fresh out of food. My stomach always feels empty. And help out aboard your ship with cooking, fishing, and building. I don't have my spices and tools, but I'll make it work. <laughs> don't think about it so much. Let's just get to your boat. Okay. I'll be your favorite new passenger. Just you wait. Let's head back. Stella. Oh, wow. This boat is amazing. Here comes the real kicker, you little rascal. Get ready for a family reunion. <laughs> it's me, Stella. Your uncle, Atoll. Aww. Surprised? Happily, I hope. I've been on that island for a while now. I can't wait to see the sights of the sea with you. It was lonely with my thoughts. Now I got you, Sprout. Let's set sail for a great adventure. 
onwards. Wait a second. Is that a... Uh, I knew it! That's a Seamaster 2000! I've actually never seen it in action. I've only heard the rumors. Apparently, you can catch the biggest and brightest fish out there. Wow, Stella. You sure know how to treat yourself. There! Wait a darn second. You're missing a few bolts. Let me guess. You've been fishing out mostly garbage. Well, not anymore. You'll see the difference immediately. Give it a go for a fan. <laughs> I'm sorry, Uncle Atoll reminds me of uh, m my uncle in real life who passed away. So that's, you know. You're already hitting the feels, Spirit Fairy. You're already hitting the feels. You wanted me to try it out, Uncle. <laughs> so you had to like... Great job, Sprout. They never stood a chance. You sure don't mess around. That's what makes you a pro. All this ace level fishing has gotten me all rattled up. Which reminds me. I had this shiny thing in my pockets on the island. I had no idea what it does. Maybe you can hold on to it. For safekeeping, I suppose. Oh, brother. I need to take a breather. Oh, and by the way, you might be curious and you might have already tried, but yes, the water is very salty. Well, I'll take, I'll take go and take a look around. You can fish to your heart's content if you want. Well, I'm gonna... Ow. Oh. Unfortunate. I'll, uh... <laughs> Sorry that I'm having a bit of feel just because, you know, it reminds me of my uncle. Talk to you in just a second. He sounds so sad. No, Uncle. Oh, no. It'll tell me when I need to water. Hey, what's up? You've upgraded your boat. Hmm, that's weird. Don't tell Albert, but he left some bolts loose. He's probably just in a hurry. Give me a second. Here we go. Oh, Mama. That did more than I thought. Let's see here. Whoa, this boat's got some advanced options now. First, you can travel safely. Not go through all dangerous sea has to offer. When you're using your map, you just need to travel, toggle on safe travel mode. It's that simple. And don't worry, it won't stay on forever. Next time you select the destination, it won't be on. I hope that helps. What else do we have here? Oh yeah, the engine's been boosted. Now set multiple destination points. Oh, hell yes. That's pretty handy. Set your course and let the wind do its job. Besides that, it's just a bigger boat with more room. Well, have fun. Sweet. That is actually incredibly useful. So, we're gonna... Hit. We're gonna hit here. Oh, hey. What's up? I... Oh, I'll talk to you in a second. These just be watered. Because I got another oval so I can go get double jump. Well, would you look at that? You've got two ovals. Remember that shrine in Hummingbird? Yes, that's where I'm heading. Try and add them there. We're lucky it might do something amazing. If not, you'll have wasted your time. You should go see. Uh, food? Oh. 
Coffee. Now this is one damn fine cup of coffee. I've had it. And I can't have many cups of coffee in my life. This is certainly my favorite of them all. Thank you very, very much. This is what I call a storm. Any respectful person will never let their friend get hit by lightning. But I think you should try. If you have the Everlight, it will protect you. The lightning bolts will cast sparkles when they're a bit the hit rush towards us. And uh, I almost forgot. Have you got any empty bottles? If you're hit by lightning with an empty bottle, you get lightning in a bottle. Isn't that bananas? This world. Lightnings in a bottle are a pretty handy resource, so come here equipped. As Head Start Hero will food bottles for you. Don't worry, they're pretty easy to come by. Get ready for the thrill of your life! I, just, I had to choose one. Ooh. Hmm. Give it. Keep summoning that. Keep summoning that, uncle. Uncle. Am I out of... Yeah, oh, I'm out of empty bottles. I wasn't sure if you were gonna make it for a second there. You gave your old uncle quite a scare. Did you feel that rumble? What a rush. Looked pretty awesome ch catching those jolts of lightning all over the boat. Thanks for being the best captain I could have ever hoped for. God damn it. Okay, I need to build that. Uh, I could do two of those if I wanted. All right, what can I plant here? Uh... Let's go with three things of carrots, just for some food. And also, I I need to give Uncle a tool, the uncle, my uncle, some food. <sighs> I miss the Uncle less. What's up? Glad you came to talk to me. Like I said earlier, we need more people on the boat. New passengers. There's got to be a few people around. Lost like I was. Well, maybe not exactly like me. I'm aware of a few things that might go unnoticed by most. That's probably why father was always suspicious of me and why mother gave me a hard time for it. Uh, oh, food. Uh, have some poached fruit. Oh boy, I just love food. Keep them coming. I can't get enough of it. Come here. Wasn't that great favorite niece of mine? Come here. She, she got jealous. All right, I'll cook that. Did she? Okay, I can't talk to her. Mood is actually like amazing anything over here nope all right let's head back to hummingbird let's get that double jump Sh 
星。Good day to you. Hello. Thank you. Hey, you made it. Wicked moves getting up here. I kind of lied earlier. It's not so great up here, but you're here so it might to get better. I don't have a membership card for you. You'll be an honorary member of the upstairs crew. Upstairs crew, upstairs crew, upstairs crew. I'll show you the secret hand trick, but I don't know where your hands have been. Upstairs crew forever. <laughs> oh, that's outside. <laughs> yes, young person. Can I assume you are busy? Of course you're busy. Wait a second. You don't have a full service kitchen. Come back when you do. I have quite the pitch for you. I'll take those. My sister keeps asking me for money. How can I say no without saying no? Maybe I should ask someone to rob me. Hmm. I just don't want to loan my sister money. You know, that's fair. Oh, hello. What? Oh, you gave me such a fright. Bad cat. He looks familiar. Daffodil? Is that you? Oh, yes, yes it is. Ever so silky, aren't you? That mu- Then that must mean- Stella, is that really you? What a fantastic turn of events. And is that your boat over there at sea? You came to rescue me again, I see. Well, not so fast. This time I'll be the one doing the teaching. You can bet on it. Let's get going then. We have some lessons to go through. Whoa. Ooh, that's quartz. No, citrine. Upstairs crew forever. Yeah. Okay, let's head back. I think we got someone else. I gotta. Over here, little one. Oh, Stella, all this air, all this open space. Yes, I feel I can grow quite nicely here. Look at me, I'm flowering already. Oh, getting out of this chrysalis, what a feeling. Thank you, Stella. Give me a hug. 
นาะเอาตักดีวันสักนิ Couple things to grill veggies. He said sprout. What's up? Jeez, you gotta love the sights here. See the sun, the breeze on my skin. Just feels so right. I'm happy to be aboard this ship with you, my niece. Wish your aunt Viv could see you right now, running your own ship, helping out these stranded souls. It really warms the heart. Glad you picked me up on that island. I'll try and make myself the least cumbersome passenger on this boat, except for food. I'll never stop asking for delicious meals. Oh, a garden! Look at little, si little old silly me. Just I was about to reprimand you for the lack of greenery on your boat. But lo and behold, you have already put together a wonderful little garden. Yes, I feel you'll be an excellent student, Stella. Well then, that just makes us about ready to start on the first lesson. Make sure there are some seeds in these plots. They'll be important. See now. Yep. For our first lesson, we'll start with something I've been quite excited to share. The wor This world has some strange rules, as you probably noticed already. I've always been a preacher for love towards all living beings. For you see, a garden is a vessel of our love, a mirror we hold to ourselves. Uh, sorry, I actually... I need to screenshot that and to send that to a friend of mine. Because... Sorry about that. A mirror. This seems true in my more now than ever. Back on my island when I was lonely, I sang to the flowers. And as I expected, they grew much more vigorously. Though tr through trial and error, I've managed to write a little song. The plants seem to react particularly well to it. I want to further test that observation with you. Go inside the garden and try and play. Try playing that piece to your crops. Sorry if I'm being quiet, I'm just focusing and enjoying the melody. Have you seen how the plants swayed and grew as you entertained them? Isn't that fabulous? As I suspected, emotions in this world manifest themselves much more vividly. Well, I'll make sure to spread the word about this fascinating discovery. And who knows? But the passengers might know how to play some music too. 
It might help if in a good enough mood. Speaking of which, in all the commotion of the last few days, I forgot something. Here, this is for you. The strange coin has been tickling me since I arrived here. I'm relieved it's not one of those pollen allergies again. Oh, hey, thank you. Yeah. Alright, let's uh, do a quick plant. Some carrots. Dude, I can harvest that. Does it work for this? Oh. She's meowing along. That's amazing. Oh, it goes one by one. Oops. First note I've messed up. Grow my little thing needs please grow too. Sorry, I I was singing. You screwed me up. I didn't want to disturb you with this, but for the last several weeks I've been having strange dreams. They were of giant snake and of many sea reefs and of rotten fruit. Since joining you and your crew, well, they've been much clearer. I think it's the air of the sea, or maybe the mystical energies of the other light. Anyway, I'm not convinced my dreams have been visions. And furthermore, I think they might be coming from our mutual acquaintance. I have been looking at the map in your cabin. My eyes keep being drawn to a specific spot that I marked. I think we should visit. No point in making it wait. I was one note away, really? Ah, uh, goddammit. I'll plant all the linen seeds. There we go. And sleepy times. Wait. 
Aww. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? My stomach is rumbling. Oh, sure. Uh. Grilled veggies. Thank you. I was quite hungry. Come here. Meow. Mm -hmm. Ah, unsettling dreams. Hello. Hey, what's up? Mm -hmm. You did good. Now we've got a real boat going. You have to take care of these new passengers now. Mm. They'll be the ones testing your patience, not me. For all that, I have something to ask you. You might have noticed it by now, but sleeping in the guest house is not the ideal scenario for any of us. Mm. Especially since it's getting crowded in there. Look, I'm not complaining, you know. You went terrific up to this point, and it would be terribly rude of me to blame you for anything. Mm. But I think it's time for me to have a space of my own. Nice little house, unpretentious but sophisticated with a cozy vibe. A space in which I could read and unwind far from the turmoil of the deck. Mm -hmm. Oddly enough, I'd see something with an alpine flair. See? Even I can be filled with nostalgia sometimes. Again, I won't be pushy on this, but I'd be delighted if you could build it for me. Sure. Hey! Hey, Uncle Les. Oh, jeez. You need some food. Delicious. Come here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what do I need for Lens Lodge? Oh, I have everything I need. Hey, I got gotcha. you. Okay, I need a loom, so for that I need quartz. Yeah. Wow! This cabin is outstanding. It really does wonders to have a place of your own. Doesn't doesn't it remind you of my old condo on Waverly? Mm -hmm. Probably the only place where I could get some peace and quiet. Thank you, old friend. Mm -hmm. ah. I don't have anything to do. I've got this surplus of energy. <laughs> Need to get my hands busy. Yeah. Can you do me a solid? You've always been my favorite niece, you know that. I think I need a place to focus that energy. In a sawmill. Yeah. I'm just missing some of the key components. Materials. Which I'm sure you can find on nearby islands. I'm counting on you to help me out. I'm sure you don't want your old uncle to sleep on the deck. Right? <laughs> Alright. There isn't really a fire, but I wouldn't mind a nice hot dish to warm me up. Don't get me started. Oh. Uh, popcorn. Come here. You need a hug. Hey, she can't do fruit. What does he need? There we go. Okay, we need linen and maple planks. But for that, kitchen. Ah, darn. Build. Okay, loom, I need quartz. Okay.
I can't, there's no point doing lightning in a bottle. I don't have the, uh. Okay, just making sure everyone's. Seems to be quite a few new faces aboard. I like it, don't get me wrong. I just want you to forget about your old uncle, Little. You know me, I'm Mr. Personality. I can get along with anyone, anywhere, at any time. I just didn't think I'd have to make new friends at my age. You don't have to worry. I'll be all right. Sorry, I even brought it up. No, no blood. Oh. Oh, hey. There we go. If you ever have any clutter, I'm always interested and maybe we could even trade. Give me your useless objects, I'll give you mine. Just the thought of new curios makes my head spin. I've neatly organized my stock in, Aaron. Take a look for yourself. Ooh, what you got? Uh. Ooh. I'll just, I'll have to come back to Francis. I'm sorry, the fact daffodil is meow, meow, meow. Along is adorable. Okay, I need a sawmill and a loom next. But yeah, to get to the first one, I need linen thread. And for that, I need a loom. But for that, I need quartz. Which is why we're going to hit up that first place. And then we're going to hit up the quartz dragon. Let's get some fishing. Come on. Ah. Come on. Yeah. The main reason I went for safe mode on this one is just because I had no empty bottles, so getting going for lightning would do me no good. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Just fish out a bottle from the sea. That's not trash. Could be anything in there. Tiny ship, old wine, a baby crab. Yes, yes, it could even be trash. Go ahead and crack it open. Sommelier. Uh, Furogawa Tours. Okay. Oh, oak. Okay, good, good stuff. Green Halton Bay. Okay. What are you? No, I. I was like, like, no, I wanted to go here. I wanted to see what was on here. Get it. Ooh, that's a uh, copper. Hey. Hey. Came here to cut down these trees, but forgot my axe. I couldn't start using someone else's axe. That would be strange. I like the way my axe feels. So sturdy and it calms me. Oh, I miss that axe. 
passing time by writing letters and throwing some in the water. I've been writing poetry. It's not very good, but I'm getting better. Hopefully no one finds my terrible poetry. Lol. Watch out, Uncle Atoll. No! I'll be picking up some wood. I'll do some work on these later. There we go. Francis in relation to me right now because if I could get 2,000 blims that'd be really nice. Okay, we'll go to Francis, then we'll go to the Quartz Dragon. Now what was that thing you said about an engine boost? Ah, uh, it might just, it just must be faster, like, in general. are ready to go. Turnip. Turnip. Carrot. I'll be there in a second, Francis. Just watering everything. Okay, I need soul, squid, and sockeye salmon. your first errand. What a great haul. Plenty more to do if you ever feel like Come on, damn. Okay. 
Oh jeez. Oh this. I thought this might be it. The dragon. I guess it's inevitable that it would be here. Following me. Always, even in this world. Our destinies well there intertwined, are they not? Still, for the harm it has done me, it looks quite in pain, doesn't it? Rocks on its back seem to be oozing with corruption. Perhaps chipping away at them might soothe it. Go ahead, Stella. All creatures deserve love and care. Do what you do best. Hi. Now that was just all sorts of rude. Keep it going. Hey, buddy. You doing better? Hey. It looks relieved, doesn't it? I wonder what it means. If we're ever to cross this dragon's path again, I think we should help it. However I might feel about it. For now, though, I think I need some time to collect my thoughts. Thank you, Stella, for everything. <laughs> Stella, dear, doing good? I see you've been taking good care of your plant. That's good. My teachings are helping you in some way. You know, I used to be quite the little soldier. Midfield State University, our Agronomical engineering, class of 71. Top grades and a progressive profile. I was hired right away by one of those big corporations. They put me in charge of a large parcel of land, several thousands of acres. I was to maximize the output of our land assets. Well, that's what I did. And believe me, I did it well. I, clam cr I crammed the field full of transgenic seeds. When insects came, I doused them with poison. And when the soil turned gray, I pumped it full of chemicals. Great powerful stems grew upon these grounds. Plentiful, unnaturally enormous cobs. But underneath it all lay an unfathomable sickness. I guess it, would, it was inevitable that I met with the dragon then sooner or later. Alright. We'll, we'll give you a round of coffee. I don't think I'll need to water them because, you know, I can do this while they're sleeping, that's even better. Boom. Put that right under your place. Improve. Can I improve you anymore? No, I need maple planks. And I think for the sawmill, 
I just need 20 linen thread. That is, in a word, back and perfect. All right, let's get some sleep. Oh, sleeping outside with the rain. Oh, I, I am an unconscious, just dump. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. I was gonna say, yeah, that's exactly. Mm -hmm. This loom looks fantastic. Don't be scared. It's, perfect. it's in perfect working order. Let me show you how it works. Put fiber inside and then you spin. You have to make sure you hit the target. Mm -hmm. Get a little extra. You hit the marker needle. Mm -hmm. Boop. Now you try it. Try it with this fiber. See, it's not that hard. The machine does all the work. You just have to flow with it. That's what makes it so soothing. Mm. The rhythm, the sounds, the feel of it. Utterly satisfying. Probably give it a go myself when you don't need it. Mm. Don't worry about the materials. I'll manage. I'm still smiling that I'm called Honeybee. Hi, everybody. Rain really ruins a day, doesn't it? Eh. If you're stuck in it, yes. Oh, well, that's case. Okay. That's the fields. No one needs the ever door. There's another spirit there, but I don't... I'm gonna head over to the fields. There we go. And, and while we're heading over that way... I... Oop. Okay, I need a few more linen thread. Keep it going. What did I have? Twenty something? Fifty seven. I Hey, what's up? Mm -hmm. I've been thinking about father recently. When he left with Doug, I didn't feel anything. No sorrow, no hate, no relief, nothing. It didn't really matter to me, but it mattered to you. You spent three days crying in Aunt Petunia's room. I brought you, bought you three sisters and gave you that damn oversized sweater I admitted a month prior. Mm -hmm. Mom was appalled, but you felt better. I've long wondered why you were so sad. The best I could come up with is that you were sad in my stead. Mm -hmm. Feeling things I couldn't feel myself. Gurian new fields discovered. <laughs> the series lack of power tools in here. Maybe that sawmill I was talking about? Yeah, that would work. Food. Uh, oh yeah, you want some coffee? 
And you. Uh. Oh, you found my sweet, weak sweet spot, dear. I can't say no to dessert. Nice. Aw. Come here. Wait, before you go up, give me a hug. And now I gotta build this sawmill. Looks amazing. Thank you for helping me out, Stella. The salmon is so big. What a beauty. One problem. Now don't get mad. I don't have any money to repay you. I guess that's why they call it a favor. You see what I did there? Thanks again, Sprout. Hey, what's up? Stella, I've got to tell you. There's something I stumbled the Kong some time ago, and up until now it didn't seem that important. Brace yourself. Remember my parents' manor on the lake? As weird as this sounds, it's not too far from here. Hmm. Yes, I know. It makes me wonder about this world, too. I must admit, I've been actively trying to avoid it. Hmm. At any rate, it's become hard to ignore. And as I've spent much time with you here, I think I'm ready to tackle this challenge. Hmm. I'll probably only find regrets and sorrows there, but it's worth a shot. I've added the location to your map. I'll be ready whenever you are. Cutting logs, you need to make sure measurements are accurate. Then you cut. Measure twice and cut. You just need to keep your saw blade steady and on the cutting line. If you don't do it properly, you end up losing a pinky or an arm. Or something worse. And a hit from the old hammer for good luck. Give it a try now. Oh, I see. Perfect. Oops. Oh shit. <laughs> you did great. You're ready to start cutting wood like a champ. Just remember to be careful with the sawmill. Don't go mess around with dangerous saw blades. Just because you got leftover wood doesn't mean you should cut your hand off. Hey, what's up? You've been chopping it up in the sawmill. I like it. Getting the work done. Learn a new skill. Now that you've got some material, you can build me a house. Let me sketch something real quick. Look, it's nothing fancy. It's pretty basic. Just a few hinges here and a few nails in there. Oh, already got some material to build me something nice. Not asking only for me, but for the crew. Apparently, I snore at night. Loudly, according to your friend Gwen. Anything need? Okay. Do I have enough for his workshop? Ooh, I need. Okay. I just need a boatload of planks. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna go on land because this might be somewhere where I can just get farm some stuff, farm some more logs. Because I need. If I need thirty and I've got eleven, I don't quite have enough. Oh, oh, hi. Welcome. Are you here for our world-renowned Forogawa tours? 
Of course you are. You're holding our brochure. The tour is about to start. It takes about five minutes and covers the history and flora of this island. After, you'll be able to tell all your friends about it. Don't worry, there's no gift shop after this tour. Ready? Yep, yeah, perfect. Start right away. The island doesn't get many visitors. People tend to focus on big city attractions. Here, it's peaceful and quiet. Something you'll notice with the fauna. Rice patches and a healthy forest are its main attraction. Moving on. Giving a tour. The rice production here is quite incredible. Workers harvest around the clock to feed local families. Right now, no one is around. I am not sure why. I sometimes play in them when I am off duty. That's besides the point. Off to our next stop. You can feel the humidity. I mean, really feel it. The oak forest really gets to me. We have a connection. A strange connection. I tend to skip this part of the tour to be on. If we can move along, that'd be great. I'll be there in a second. Oh, hey, mushroom. Speaking of which, this fortune tree is the centerpiece of the whole island. We are not sure when it was first planted. People from all the around would travel here and leave little messages. Anything to help with their lives. This concludes our tour. Furogawa Tours is grateful for your participation. Thank you for your ears and your patience. Thank you again for your presence. If you'd like to leave a tip, that would be appreciated. I recommend something along the lines of 50 glimpses. Absolutely. Here you go. I know I struck a chord with you. I'll sign you up to our upcoming tours newsletter. You'll have an educational great time. Thank you for your kind spirit. No problem. Strawberries. Meh. <laughs> There we go. Oh! Hey, uh, how's it going, uh, try hard? Uh, I'm doing good, just, uh, enjoying some late night spirit fare. Got some citrine, just heading back to the boat. Think, uh, probably heading to the villa to help Gwen with, uh, her quest. How, how are you doing tonight? What's going on with you? Yeah, hey, Atoll. I'll be picking up some wood. Alright. You're alive? As are we all. Not all of us can uh, pilot a magical boat with Everlight. We. We. Alright, let's head back. It's rough, but this is a comforting thing to. Yes. That is one. Yeah, like a. I'll, it's a very comforting thing. Like, I'll give you a perfect example. Uncle Atul literally reminds me of an uncle I lost when I was younger. So it's like, it's nice for me. As you know, I tend to get hungry. That's just a fact of life. Sometimes when I do, I get hungry for really specific things. You're <laughs> that frog reminds me of my boyfriend. Your Aunt Viv would call it laser focused tummy. <laughs> I'm just laughing because yeah, I've, I've had laser focused tummy when your brain is just like, I want this specific thing. He's so far away. It's a long, <laughs> but yep. Laser focused tummy. Think about it. Try hard. When was the last time you 
You know, you're just craving something. Like for me, I've gone through pierogies, uh, ma maple. What, what did you do for a laser focused tummy? What was the thing that grabbed you? Don't get me wrong. I'll still eat pretty much whatever you put in front of me. I just like to put some effort into this one. Give you a shot when I get a craving. Hopefully I won't ask for anything too extreme. You never know with this appetite. Fair warning, Sprout. Made dumplings from scratch. Ooh, that sounds good. For me, my big one was uh, pierogies. But pierogies done in a specific way. I don't care about onions. But you have to boil the pierogies and then pan fry them. So you get that golden crisp on the outside. Oh, uh, yeah, no restaurants were open. Okay, well, come here and I can give you some food. Uh, I'll just give you some grilled veggies. All right, speaking, of, I gotta do some cooking. Uh, uh hang on, five seconds. Uh, pierogi, this is a basic pierogi. Like, it's like a Polish, you know, that kind of area. Like, it's, it's very filling, very, I should be asleep, but I'm too anxious to sleep. We love school and people. Hey! I am so glad that is something I don't have to worry about anymore. Oh my god, she's got a face mask and cucumbers on. That's hilarious. Yeah, well, it's, uh, yeah. It's simple. It's filling. You can also just buy, like, do what I do. I buy them, like, frozen, and then I boil them, and then I pan fry them. Make it soon. Ooh, that sounds yummy. When, when you make some, uh, tag me on Twitter. Because I want to see how you do them. Okay, what are my requests currently? Oh yeah, I need to go to, I need to use the sawmill today. Okay. <laughs> well, it's much appreciated. I was just gonna say, that's the easiest, easiest way to contact. And uh, the Twitter is at achievements old. I wish I could have gotten radio achievements, but for some reason it just defaulted to achievements old. But you know, it works. You know, radio achievements, old timey achievements, radio achieve. I'm also thinking of doing food streams. Oh, nice. I will say cooking streams are a bit uh, more, I'll tell you right now, cooking streams, they're a bit more of a setup than just normal uh, like gaming streams. Cause it's like, you need a certain amount of cameras, you know, set up in a way where you can show stuff. And then you gotta make sure the mic is okay. And then you gotta make sure there's no electronics like going into your food. <laughs> Hey, yo, more poached fruit. I will take that. Okay. I th is that enough? Oh, uh, yes. There you go. Yeah, I have the right stuff for just gotta do it. All right, you're gonna sleep well. Thank you for dropping by and thank you for the follow. Have a good. 
Have a good sleep. Right. Anything? Can I improve on it before he wakes up? Nope. I don't have any. I just need some thin fabric. Let's get some sleep. Shrimp cocktail. Alright, let's get let's get these other things all watered. Jump in the water. There's wreckage. I'm sure you'll find some helpful materials in there. Well, I did. Hey. Huh. I was just like. I don't know if you noticed, but I have been very tired recently. And I'm afraid to, s to say it's starting to wear on my morale. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I think the guest house, as lovely it is, might not be very good for me. It's a bit too noisy and quite cramped. I guess this would be really book. Do you maybe arrange for me to have a little private space on a boat? We can continue our lessons. Nothing too fancy. Just a place to sleep and meditate. Less greenery, perhaps. Oh, and I'd be delighted if it had natural stones. Yes, that would be splendid. Thank you again, Stella. Deep. What the? Hey. It's perfect, Sprout. It's massive. All this room for little one me. Can't wait to catch him shut eye. This is really great. Thank you so much. I won't forget this. Oh, damn. Oof. Hey. Thank you. Back down. Ooh, some coal. Oh, that's some slate. Excellent. Like they're done. Me. Yeah. 
grab the but drop a leak in there and two carrots. Ah, should have grabbed the lettuce, but I. There we go. I need oak planks and limestone. I have limestone shape. We'll go tea. We'll go rice. And go oh, linen. This, and then we'll go to the map and get get our travel on. Right, Ted, we'll we'll cut some oak, oak logs while we're going. Oh hey hey, what's up? You know me. You could always go for a little snack. Something salty. Something buttery. The flavor. Oh, jeez. You know what would be perfect? Popcorn. Hey, popcorn. Really didn't fill me up. However, it did make me miss my kids a whole lot. I used to make bags, bags of popcorn on movie night for them. Even with the TV turned up, you couldn't hear the actors talking. Crunching was so loud. It was the only way to calm those little monsters down. Watching these terrible kids movies. I wish I was still there. See them laughing. For them to fall asleep on me. Thank you for this popcorn. I was looking at your kitchen yesterday. It's fine. Nothing special. Reminds me of my first kitchen. My terrible apartment. I didn't know what I was doing in there. I was so careless with the spices. Not enough salt. Anyway, here's a little something to brighten this mess up. Don't worry, it's not a spice rack. You'll need to actually work for it, but it'll be worth it. Just improve your kitchen with some extra oven space. The kitchen will be looking just right in no time. Bro, you're gonna make me fucking cry! Oh, I need... Linen fabric. Oh yeah. Need to make some oak. Okay, we'll go with ten. Cause I need a lot of linen fabric, but I don't know. I'll I'm, I'll go to the loom after. I just want to, cause I. Would I have to upgrade it again? Oops. Yeah, yeah. Don't know what that was, but <laughs> we're gonna test something. Oh, I guess I do need an improvement. Okay, I need just need four limestone. <sighs> oh, I was confused. Villa Maggiore. So her name is Gwen Maggiore.
You all right, Gwen? Uh, hey. Oh, sorry, I went through too fast. Here. We're going to do this. I think you're going to need a hug. All right. Here we are. It's ca I'm curious. I'm both excited and anxious. I'm even starting to have second thoughts. As if. Never mind. Let's go. How long has it been since we've been here together, Stella? Seems Jerry has been taking good care of the premises. He's always been the guest, best gardener we ever had with us. Mom has not been home much since father died. Shit. I'm much more emotional than I thought I could ever be. I loved this house so much. Much as I hated it, probably. Look, I don't think I can go in there. Even with you. It's just... No, I can't. Go without me. I'll wait for you here. Here is the key. Oh, and Stella? If you stumble upon my old music box, would you bring it back to me? Thanks a lot. Remember, this house has always been a real labyrinth. If you're lost, you have to follow the light. Good luck in there. I'll wait for you outside. Um. Oh, there we go. I was. I'll go there in a second. Fucked. Anything? Just checking for extras for little secrets. Like that. Kidding, it was a labyrinth. Welcome, small traveler, to my humble palace. Everything I own is of the finest quality. Everything is also bolted down, so don't get any funny ideas. Be with you in a second. Oh, it's right up there. Get up there. Oh. 
Once I touch it, it's mine. Yeah, everything's mine. Nope, can't can't reach it yet. Hmm. Found the box. Did you give it to me? Here you go. Thank you. I'll hold on to it. Mm. Oh, you found something else? Wow, I forgot we even had that. An old manual for a golden royale. Mm. Remember they had one as first prize in town's yearly tombola? Tombola? I dreamt of having this machine since second grade, but father would never let me participate in the lottery. This manual will come in handy. Mm. You can use it as an upgrade for your loom. I... Mm. Yeah, let's get back to the boat. I forget this place ever existed. Okay. Let's head back. Hey, Stella? Stella? I... Nah, never mind. Nostalgia is not my forte slightly happy the villa is still in good condition. Or is it? Mm. Okay, let's change the subject. You must have noticed the improved tab in your blueprint table. Through there you can add decorative elements to the spirit house and the stations. Mm. It's time to upgrade this loom of yours. Once you've gotten the required resources, go for it. It's the only way to craft fabric from thread. Mm. Go on. Ooh, I need bright jelly. Dang it. Okay. Well, that's the case. I'm gonna go get some bright jelly. Gotta get a quick watering in. Do I have enough time? Cutting it close. Oh yeah, we'll be fine. One. Two. And three. Just in time. Again, yes. Here we go again. And they, as they've stolen all hope from me, mm. never get used to it. Part of me makes me think that it's all my fault. All right, you can do your thing. Let's do this. We scared? I'm not scared. I've got double jump. Couple more bright jelly. Come on. 
I just want to make sure I can jump high enough. Got it. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, through. A. Brilliant! Right. Now the loom is fully useful. Of course, many stations can be upgraded. Just find the blueprints and the materials, of course. Stella, I believe it's time for me to teach you advanced loom techniques. Yes, it's a thing. Mm -hmm. There are a few improvements you can make to the machine itself. Depends on how you place your hands on the machine. How you arrange threads as you load it up has a big impact too. Mm -hmm. With a few simple tricks, you'll be able to tr craft much more intricate items. Fabric, actually. Okay, let's go mm -hmm. take a look. Finally craft fabric thread. I thought something did fabric specific. Oh, yeah, okay. Twelve. Hey, thank you. How you doing for food? Look, I need to tell you about Doug. He called me the night father died. Almost still on the plane and he couldn't talk to anyone else. He was polite, very articulate. He chatted for an hour or so and he cried only twice. Didn't strike me at the time, but he was in a bar, mm -hmm. which was odd for an accountant. He told me father's last words were that he loved me. Mm -hmm. We never talked again. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Ah. You're a natural. Why am I not surprised? You've reached a pro level now. There is nothing more I can teach you on the subject. Mm. That being said, if you don't mind, I'll give it a go myself. It will definitely help me unwind a bit. Excellent. Let's get that kitchen improved. Hey. I'll talk to you first. Mm -hmm. There's something else I wanted to talk to you about. Look, I'm still really grateful for you having allowed me to reside in such a nice cabin. But I missed a bit. It's just a bit empty. Mm -hmm. You know me, I've spent my life surrounded by pointless and tacky things. But in a house like this, I believe we could do some one thing very special. Unique. Mm -hmm. With class and coziness. What do you think? A little bit of improvement might do the trick. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. I'll leave it to you and no rush. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey, Uncle S. You got that done quick, Sprout. Thanks for taking the time. Good kitchen is a good investment. You'll see. You won't regret it. I promise. Well, my stomach either. Thanks.
Damn, good timing. Party you in just a sec, I just gotta grab the coffees. In case you're wondering why I'm not just using the music to make them grow, it, it, it takes, you know, it takes longer than I would like. True. Okay, I need four maple planks. Do I even have any maple logs? I need, okay. We'll hit up that. That. We'll hit up that. I need some maple logs. And then it'll be fully improved. Yeah, but while we do that... I need fire glow. Okay. I always give it a second just to see if there's anything special. That is disturbingly what I needed. Okay. I'm just going to test this out as Be right back. I just need to use washroom.
Sorry about that. I have the tan. As requested. The house looks so much better. As if everything had been designed with my happiness in mind. The textures, the tones, the coziness. It's perfect. Look at you listening to me and building such a nice cabin for me. I won't forget this. Okay, I need to figure out where to get limestone. Get a look at the map and a plot the course. Okay. Well, I'm gonna. Oh, looks like the carrots are done. Well, let us see. Wow. I made a terrible pun. I have to go back to Albert to... Yeah, I could use some extra quartz. Why not? I just still need a boatload of linen. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get some more bright jelly. Oh shit. They're like converging. Oh. 
Oh, jeez. Hey. Wow, he just freaking shot out of there like... I, I can't reach that. Oh. I know I, I can't even reach that when he comes through. Oh, I got it. Barely. Oh, jeez. Those are way too high. Alright. Oh, okay, never mind. I think this is like the only one I have a legit shot at catching. Alright, come here. I'm lined up. Oh. Okay, we're good. Let's get some sleep. More linen seeds. Give, give me a second. There we go. Hey man, these leaks are taking forever. That does, oh, why is, oh, sorry, I literally went way too fast, sorry. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I actually need coal. Hey, what's up? Look, Stella, I, I'm sorry, I think I just need some space. Just a bit of time by myself. Mm -hmm. I knew going back to the villa was a bad idea. Sorry, this doesn't have anything to do with you. You've been nothing but great since you found me on that island. Mm -hmm. I just need to be alone for a little while. No problem. I'm going to hit up these three because I need limestone. Well, yeah, these four actually. Four limestone would be dope. Leaks done? Nope. Yeah, I need a bunch of linen fabric. Four more limestone. I need the linen to uh, do like double ship upgrades. 
triple if I've got the glims. You okay? Oh, uh, food. Yay. What's up? Food. Eat some raspberry. Iwashima, countryside discovered. Maybe you've got some limestone. Well, at least I'm hoping. Literally, I hear ding as I... Okay. Ooh, that's... Maybe that's oak, I think. Well, you can never have too many materials. But this also might mean there's limestone. Oh, I see. What I love about spitting is the talent you need, you know? It takes real skill to fail, find a target, aim, and hit a bullseye. That's skill and raw talent right there. I just love that I'm good at something. I could spit off tall buildings forever. On the off chance I might hit someone right on the head. I seem to never run out of spit. <laughs> the small bridge isn't very high up. And nobody ever swims down there. It's pretty satisfying to spit. I'm fully equipped. Got my mouth. Got my bottle of water. I'm ready. I've got spirit to do it for years. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll take that. If I go to the mountain, that'll probably actually give me limestone. Because mountain... Bunk. I thought those were peaches for a sec. I was like, oh, peaches. Ooh. That looks like copper and stone. I'll take... I'll take them. Ah! Oh, no. Fuck me. That was exactly what I needed. Uh, that's a bunch of copper ore. Thank, thank you. Now I can build Summer's house. We're picking up some wood. Oh, it's a statue. Hmm. Wonder what's there. <clears throat> All right. Oh, first things first. Oh, oh. Hey, plain rice. Bill. Can I squeeze it? Shit. Ah. Uh. Edit. Okay.
I just realized I need to go back to Albert because I need space. Okay, we'll stop there to sell some stuff. I literally don't have enough room right now. Maple plank. Well, actually, let me get up. Thank you. Okay. I don't. Yeah. Really need to water it because it's raining. Hey, excellent. Talk to you in a minute. I just need to make these maple maple planks. Nope. Eh, it's like I'm in a good workshop. She called me.
Sing it, dandelion. Daffodil, not dandelion shit. Come on, grow for me. Looks like the lettuce is done. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I know. I don't worry. I'm, I'm watering. I'm watering. Okay, I got time. I should, I'll hit up the... All the linen thread. This is gonna make it so I can get like three boat upgrades when I when I get the freaking yeah. Five thousand. Five thousand two hundred fifty. Yes, I've got enough for literally everything. I believe the correct term is fuck yeah. That's all done. I need some slate and some linen fab. And I'm making coal in the oven. Because uh, it's a bunch of fucking sawdust. Wow. Damn. Uncle Atoll's got hops. Eh. Here's a frog.
Wakey, wakey. Hi. Hi, Grandma. Honeybee. Come, I'm sorry, that's fucking adorable. I love Snake Grandma. I think I need a bunch of coal later on, so... She said she just needed some time to herself, so... Like a good friend, I'm giving uh, Gwen space. space so I can move stuff around and I have enough materials for triple fucking upgrades Sorry if I'm like quiet through a bunch of this. I'm just, I, I'm the epitome of literally just vibing. I heard they just fired an employee at the popcorn factory. He was a good worker, but they found him sleeping on the cob. Oh, oh. it hurts. Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. Our prices are customers, best friends. So what do you need? Upgrades. We'll start with that as requested. Uh, I need a bit more size. And a craftsman. Okay. Okay. Should you change your edge prop permanently? Here's this is Madison. Delivery sir. Let's see if I can do this properly. Okay. First things first, edit. You need your own space. Guest house is there. I'm gonna move these two right beside each other. kitchen the windmill I have copper but I need a found oh okay well first things first Oh shit, yes I do. 
Yeah. Okay. That's going to take a while. I'm glad I started smelting coal. <laughs> Before I do that, can I, I can triple. Yes, the term is yes, bitch. Okay. 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 Just a bunch of linen fabric. I got gotcha. you. Thank you. Wood. Plants. It was even an all natural room meditation. Really outdid yourself. How oh, well I'll sleep in that hanging bed? Yes, I'll be back to full health in no time at all. And maybe. Listen, I have a favor to ask of you. It's become obvious to me that I need to take better care of myself. Let the body listen to the mind. To that end, I need clarity. I need power and energy. Positive minerals are what I'm missing right now. Stones and crystals are connected to the world on an elementary level. Just as the moon is dark when hidden from the sun. Living beings wither when their telluric link is severed. So Stella, what do you say? Could you bring me some gems and minerals to fill up my cabinet? Three of them should be enough, and it won't be for nothing, you'll see. I can teach all of the interesting properties of each one you bring to me. You basically want to keep it in like perfect, okay? And then it's right there. Yeah, there we go. But I need more coal, so. Shit. Okay. Oh, I could make glass. Thinking? Pork chops are the way to my heart. Food. Uh, let's give you some coffee. You know, give me a hug. And you are a sucker for this. Oh. oh. Okay. you fish anymore really calming just cast the line and you wait so relaxing then it's the fight of your life but all your heart it's not the love about it you're not wrong it's the kitchen oh wait no 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 Oops. Damn it, I'm an idiot. I didn't realize you could just pull it out in the mid in mid. Okay. Okay, that 
That's the bottom line, Corp. Dismount. Calcine mines. I can't go to them yet. Okay, that does have limestone if I need it. So, we can hit that. We're gonna hit that. Confirm. You were thinking? There's water these. When the dragon found me back home, I knew I had to leave. I felt I wouldn't heal unless I left. I didn't know it then, but I needed love. And no love was to be found in this accursed place. But in my exile, I met your aunt. I had never seen anyone as joyful as Rose. Filled to the brim with uncontainable life. You remind me a lot of her, Stella. She nursed me back to health, little by little. Without her, well... The dragon would have taken me. Right then. Right there. I'm sure of it. And I never would have met you. She taught me. Not as one normally teaches. But by opening my eyes to what was already within. To the rich interior life unquashed by the dragon. Quashed by my father. To get the interconnectedness of all things. To the universal love. The immense debt I owe her. Well, maybe that's why I feel the need to teach you. I was like, I guess I was hitting the analog stick too hard. Okay, supports. Me all that. Hey, and that's limestone. Okay. Water you. Water you. And then go plant something over there. Sure. Have some water. There we go. Right. I should do a bit of fishing. <laughs> Come on. Ooh, ceramic bowl. Oh, geez. You're a fighter, ain't you? Oof. Oh. Come on. Come on. Hey. Oh, I need that. I think I can get one or two more casts in before uh, we arrive at bottom line corp. Come on. Wow, you're easy. Hey, money. I can get two in since that one was just a... Super quick. Come on. Yeah. Okay, we got a fighter on our hands, folks. Oh boy. Oh my god. Another soul? Come on. Come on. Hey, it's an eel. Bottom Mine Corporation. Huh. That's fine.
You're Stella, if I recall correctly. I never forget a face, especially if they have shiny glims. Should I have a look? What do you got? <laughs> the time has come, my friends! Let's trample the thorns of inequity. Let's burn the tangling ropes of low-wage employment. Mm -hmm. Let's tear down the golden walls of the upper class. The conditions here have been appalling. Time for you to revolt. Mm -hmm. Let us show this capitalist pig that it is your work that creates wealth and value. Your work that makes him a profit. And he is the one living off your backs. Down with the oligarchy. Break his knees. And more days off. Together we can reverse this unjust stream of enrichment. Together, we can finally give the power back to the working class. Mm -hmm. Power you deserve and wealth you should benefit from. Time to claim what is rightfully yours, my friends. Extra minutes. Yeah, let's find his wallet. <laughs> Extra 10 minutes for his lunch break. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hello there. You've come to join our protest? Mm -hmm. Hi. Good, come on in. Even have a little something to ask you since you've just arrived. To find up there the CEO of this company. He's fled to his office and won't come out. Mm -hmm. Coward. See if you convince him to face employees and have an honest dialogue with them. We won't budge before their conditions have improved. Okay. Look at that fuse box. Class is all busted up. That's not up to code. If I were the union leader, believe you me. I'd make that greedy boss eat his own shoes. Where is he? Dude, I can't wait for our next game. My friend Buck has been preparing a new game for us. I'm sure he'll tell us soon. Ooh. Hey. What do you want? Get away from here. I have done nothing wrong. I'm the one being threatened. As if three fewer days of vacation a year was a big problem for them. That's a huge fucking problem. I mean, they should have thought twice before starting a family, right? Go fuck yourself. I'm not responsible for their poor life choices. No, you're dickwad. No, nor for their lack of higher qualifications. That shit's expensive. They should be happy I've not delocalized the production fucking douche. What will I have to do next? Get the medical insurance you? Yes! Why would I pay them if they don't work? Because they got injured on your job, you fuckwit. It doesn't make a difference if they have a broken arm or whooping cop. Still don't work here when they're not here. <sighs> I... I can't budge. Oh. You're about to fucking budge. Mm -hmm. We won't move. Not without having negotiated. This place sure is a mess, yeah. Sorry, as someone in the working world, that 
Makes me oh. eh. Yes, they just want to negotiate. Oh. Okay. Nope, not enough. Yes! Yep. Fucking play fucking hardball. Oh. But, but. Damn, I really gotta pee. Okay, okay. Oh. Whatever they want. And they get whatever they want. But they have to stop calling me Mr. Moneybags. Got it? Oh. Okay, go now. I have to find the key to the store. Ha! <laughs> See, this is what happens when the workers have rights. They get, they have the fucking boss by the balls. Mm -hmm. Agreed to everything you said? Wonderful. One hell of a negotiator, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. I like you already. Look, my work is done here thanks to you. I probably could embark with you on the fa this fancy boat of yours. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to rest my old bones in a cozy home and have you by my side, Munchkin. See you there. Hey! Ew. That's my little happy dance. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Hey. And I can't do that because I gotta. Alright. What? Took you long enough. Oh shit. You look fancy. Oh shit! Damn! Woof! That felt funny. I think I would have seen everything at my age. Mm -hmm. Not sure I liked it though. But sure beats being an impersonal hooded blob. Those capes are really scratchy. Mm -hmm. Ah, feels good to breathe the fresh air. Mm -hmm. Time for me to stretch my legs for a bit. Hmm, I'm hungry as well. You know what? Mm -hmm. Would you be a dear and fix me a little meal? That would be marvelous. Thank you, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can leave now. Uh, uh, plane. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A loop on that island. The track when you fight for workers' rights. Mm -hmm. We should catch up on the latest gossip, don't you think? Don't get me wrong, I don't really like gossip. But we need to stay informed. Mm -hmm. In case important things happen. And I know just the right person. No friend of mine has been roaming the seas. Mm -hmm. She can probably tell us what's been going on. Are you game for a little adventure? Well, it's not like you have a choice. Mm -hmm. She should be around. She gained a bit of weight, weight recently, but don't tell her that. She always makes a scene when someone mentions her appearance. Mm -hmm. Let's go meet her. Hurry up now. That is Grace personified. Come on. Come here. Yes, I'll deal with you momentarily. The plant. More coal. Don't need to do that. Okay. What's that? That's the South Point Ducks. Where is she? Burn. Your elders. And her name is Astrid. Oh, what's that? That's Olga. Okay, well, well, first things first, honestly. 
That is going to be it for today. Thank you all so much for joining me. It's always a pleasure, and Spearfair is just such a chill vibe game. I love it. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another late night stream with Radio. Hang on one second. There we go. That's that should be much better. Sorry about that. Yeah, there was a little bit of a little bit of a crossed wires there, but let's not worry about that. Cuz there's one thing we want to focus on today. And that is some late night chill spirit fair. Let's just dive right into it. Getting the mouse out of there. I'm trying to remember what I was doing. Looking forward to diving back in. I legit do enjoy this game and it helps me work on my uh, voice acting skills. Come on. Oh yeah. Okay, you're fine. Francis says, it's your lucky day. How lucky you must be. Got a new errand just for you. Fresh off the presses. Have a look-see. What do you got? Oh, jeez. Okay. I need lightning in a bottle. And I could go for a treasure map. Okay, I do need to do a bunch of fishing. Actually. If I want to do lightning in a bottle. Coffee beans. Perfect. Do anything to plant for here? Nope. I was gonna say I need to move first. Okay, uh pork chops be bound. Citrine, amethyst, diamond, hepatite. Oh, okay. Well, there's it first. Okay, I'm gonna head there first, then over to you. And go! Because if I go through this, I'll have light the lightning in a bottle, I'll need. So after I talked to, I think their name was Olga, then. Oh, hey, what's up? Uh, yes. count? Nope, I have to actually be on the line. Okay. Unfortunate. Oh, come on. I 
Oh no! I'm sorry, Daffodil! Oh, come on, I didn't get that one. Okay. Oh. We'll hit up those crates. Actually, where's the kitchen? Something's cooking in there. It's it's basically in a slow cooker. So when I hop down, mm -hmm. found me munching. Awesome. Never ch bunch of swines. They are. Mm -hmm. They're all they are the same as us, you know. Oh. Didn't mean to be rude. It's just. Okay, we're out of there, so should we should be coming across the crates pretty quick. Okay. There's a crate. Anything gold? Yes. Ooh. Thank, thank you. I need that actually, thank you. Ooh, planks? I'll grab those off you in just a minute, Uncle. I wanna grab all this stuff while I can. Hey, thank you. Hugs all around. Gimme. Hug for uncle. Let's just go with some. Oh, hey, what's up? Mm -hmm. I'm happy you found me, Munchkin. I'm happy we've been able to help these Polish souls in the factory. The workers deserve better, and the ruling class will never change. A bunch of swines, they are. Mm -hmm. They're the same as us, you know. They just pretend to be superior only because their wallets are full and their houses are big. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know, not all rich people deserve to die. But I've never accepted how the workers were treated, exploited, mm -hmm. diminished, just because of their birth. It's unfair and unjust. Mm -hmm. And I will fight for them until my last dying breath. Mm. Hug. Alright, need to water these quick and then I will do the thingy. And then I need, after I do this... Mm -hmm. Ah! There we are. I'm happy to see her, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. She's always been a kind of person we go way back, me and her. But I've got to tell you, 
Last time we saw each other, things didn't go that well. She might still hold a bit of a grudge against me. It's not my fault if I say things as they are. You don't always make friends by being honest. And you might even lose a few. But we're old now. So canoe under the bridges, they say. Follow my lead? Of course. Perfect. Olga! You haven't changed a bit, old friend. Still so. Green. Astrid. My dear old Astrid. I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see that you're out of your old shell. Would you happen to owe this to this charming young lady here? You're the new spirit fairer, aren't you? Albert was telling everyone that Charon had been replaced. Stella, isn't it? Well, I think he borrowed my hairbrush and never gave it back. Oh, well. Oh, this new job of yours doesn't weigh too heavily on your frail shoulders. You can count on me to give you a hand, little lady. So tell me, Astrid, what brings you here? As you said, I'm back in the world. The first thing I wanted to do was pay you a little visit. You know, to catch up on things. How are you and your sisters doing? Oh, you know, Irina is still fo focusing on her studies. And Masha has picked up a new hobby. Knitting! She says it keeps her stress levels low. Not that she's ever done anything really stressful, mind you. But she crafts nice little mitts for the winter. You should pay them a visit as well. Oh, and Astrid. Mm -hmm. Yes? You wouldn't believe what I heard the other day. Mm -hmm. What? Miss Shrewsbury is pregnant. Again. Mm -hmm. What? I can't believe it. Yes. And you know what? Bob is not the father. Mm -hmm. No. You're kidding me. Incredible. Mm -hmm. Oh, she, well, she always knew how to lure them boys. And speaking of boys, I heard Giovanni is back. And from a reliable source at that, Gio Giovanni is back? Who told you that? Where? When? Well, if you're interested, I can go dig deeper. But are you? Interested? Mm -hmm. Yes! Huh? No! No, I, I, I don't care what he does. Mm -hmm. I don't want to know. He can frolic all he wants. As you wish. But you know what? I'll go check my sources and I'll write back to you. Just in case. Now that you're traveling a good company, I know where to find you. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. But no rush. I'm happy Stella found me and I want to spend some time with her and the crew for now. Mm -hmm. Olga dear, can you show her what you can do? I'm certain your help would be greatly appreciated. But of course. And on with the main attraction. I'm here, little lady. I'm a very old being, but I'm not very wise. Yes, a bit like Astrid. But there are some things I can do. My specialty is patience. And spinach puffs. But we won't talk about that right now. If you look carefully, there are three receptacles on my back. You plant logs, ores, or rocks in them. And then you wait. You wait for me to come back to the surface. And when I'm back, the rocks or logs you have... You used will become a tree or a mining rock. Isn't that nice? I can't tell you what my secret is, but you'll have to know one thing. It's normal if they smell like strawberries, okay? Alright, hop on my back, little lady. We'll do that in just a moment. I just want to... Right. Five more coal.
Uh, oh. Uh. Okay. Stella. Huh? Oh, I made the jump. Are you done? Wonderful. I'll go back underwater for some time. Do not worry. I'll reemerge as soon as what planted can be fully harvested. In the meantime, take care of yourself and your passengers, Stella. Bye now. See you soon. Bye, Olga. Glad I had some pieces of iron ore just kicking around. Talk to you in just a sec. I just want to get this knocked out. There we go. What a... She had a lot to say, did she? Running her mouth like that. She's always been chatty, but this one, I don't judge. Mm -hmm. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but her eyes are a bit scary. Soothing and kind, for sure, but scary. Mm -hmm. I think she should talk to someone about this. But enough about her. <laughs> so having brought me here, Munch, brought me to her, Munchkin, it's really appreciated. Mm -hmm. There's always so much going on, I cannot get enough of it. Also, what she said about the that Giovanni character. Mm -hmm. Well, mm, you know what? Mm -hmm. Never mind. We'll have ample time to talk about this later. I don't want to bore you with this now. Mm -hmm. See you later, Stella. Okay, it's nighttime as well. Let me get my, uh... Let me get my watering on. Corn. Plant and water, plant and water. Okay. Aaron gets oak plank. I need a lot of glims. Okay. I don't have what I need for that. Or another orchard. I don't have enough orchard. I need nebula thread for that. That's for sheep. That's if I want another uh, feet. Almost have enough. I could get another kitchen, but I don't need one. These are all built. Can I improve that? No. That's... Okay, I don't have any fire glow. Summer's is good. Gwen's is good. I need bottled ectoplasm, ash planks, and glass for that. I'm gonna hit up that first. Not quite time to wake everyone up. Oh, that's a uh, poached fruit. While we're heading there, I'm gonna get my fishing on just a tad. Cause I need. Hey, Culkin! Uh. Because I generally work late at night, and uh, I decided I want to do a late night stream, considering I slept till 9 p.m. my time. 
That's what I need to get. Well, wakey wakey. How you doing, Koken? And I figured instead of like something bombastic and crazy at like, you know, midnight my time, I figured I'd go with something calm, soothing, chill. Ooh, fancy. Huh, who wants to talk to me? What's up? That's what I call a foundry. Do you feel that heat, Munchkin? You smell those fragrances of molten metals and heavy machinery? This is where magic happens. Mm -hmm. We're going to make some beautiful things here. Let's go inside so I can explain how it works. What a machine. Oh my. I just want to get the crate before I... Uh, Ooh, I needed that. Excellent. Hey, Uncle Little. Mm -hmm. Oh my, so it's first class foundry you've got here. Even I myself couldn't have done better. Simply stunning. Let me run you through the basics. It's a complex machine, you have to be careful around it. First, you have to load ore into the furnace. You have to throw coal in the burner to power it. The machine will then reach its working temperature. Then whatever ore you've deposited to the furnace will be smelted into ingots. Bellows on each side of the furnace will make the heat go up. Each metal will behave differently, but once the right temperature is reached, the fusion starts. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure the temperature remains at the right level. Below it, the process simply stops it above it. Well, you don't want to see this happening, Munchkin. It go boom, I have a feeling. And that's it. I've told you all you needed to know. Have at it. Gotta give it time, gotta give it time, gotta give it time. Alright. Hey. Oh, Stella, how I wished all the metal workers I've met were as gifted as you. You look so small and weak, but you danced around the smelted like a veteran forge master. I'm so proud of you. This is a splendid machine, and I'm sure you'll put it to good use. I'll even indulge myself and use it from time to time, if you're okay with that. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh... I need gemstones for you. Uh, where are you? Nope. I don't have any pork chops for you, unfortunately. I think these are ready to come up. And I think the coffee bean. I'm here. I'll water. And then... Alright, where we go? Ooh! I'm gonna go back to Olga, because she has the iron ore I want- I need. Also, I want to do a bit more fishing. Thank you. Come on. 
Oh, 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 we got some. We got a fighter. Oh. Come on. A shrimp? Really bought me that hard, shrimpy? Jeez. Come on. Oh my god, seriously? Mother! God damn it, what was that? I do need to stop by Francis. Come on. Okay, let's try this again. Oh my boy. Am I? Nope. Oh, boy. See, in a second, Olga, I'm just fighting with the fish. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Come on. Oh my god. Come on. Oh. Oh my god, this Jesus. What did I hook? Oh my god. Come on. Oh my. Am I going to spend all day fighting with this goddamn fish? Come on. So close. Oh my god, for a cod? Jesus. Grab those. Plant more coffee bean. Bit here. Uh, you want some coffee? Get all this or give uh Did you know that stitching promotes motivation and activated creativity? I've also heard that it encourages self expression and enhances concentration. True mind revitalizer and emotions balancing stone.
Did I screw up and not make it there? Oh, I thought it was telling me like she was ready to go. You know, let's go to a town we haven't been to yet. I don't really need the quartz at the moment. I've been there. There. Uh, I don't want to go through any of the other stuff right now, so. Gotta make some copper. And once they're done, I'll have some more. Oh. Okay, we're okay. Hit it one too many times. Am I, am I gonna get slagged because of that? traveling. I also got to go cut some planks. I think I need some oak. I do need three glass for uh, Uncle Atoll's place eventually. I need slate and some linen fabric. I'm gonna go to those, hit up those two things of crates. And then we'll do like 15 oak. And I wonder if uh, the mount, uh, the mountain place will have a place where I can use my uh, obols. For like a uh, higher jump, a floaty jump. Quit roll. Ah, jeez.
Okay, and next one will be oak. That'll be three, I think. Oh, just two. Uh, four? Three. That was a perfect cut. That'll be three or two. Ah. Dang it. Okay. Oh wow, I timed that perfectly. Hey, mushroom salad. ready yeah before I start fishing I uh, actually I'll uh perfect do this and then I'll rest through the night then we hit up those two crates and we hit up the mountain I could fish but you know what I need to harvest that corn in the morning. Ooh, new rib. Let me grab that. Two of us caught up. Iwashima. Oh, I forgot to wake everyone up. Hiya! Always gotta keep something cooking. A nice tea. Grab these. That's late, which I actually need. Morning, Uncle. Anything I can plant here? Well, let us see. La 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 la. A letter, you say? From Olga? This is so nice of her. Mm -hmm. Olga had news about Giovanni's whereabouts? Iwashima countryside, you say? Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. I should probably go take a look. Mm -hmm. And what? An inspiration for a house? Mm -hmm. From me? Mm -hmm. How thoughtful. Can't deny it. Olga knows me so well. Yes, indeed. I would very be very happy to have such a nice den to live in. It's always pleasant to know someone is thinking about you. I mean, you could have thought about this yourself, of course. But don't worry, I know you're very busy, Munchkin. Being the spirit fairer and all. It's okay, I won't begrudge you. And I know you. You'll build this nice cabin aboard as soon as you can. 
-hmm. You're so resourceful after all. Thanks a lot, Stella. I can't wait. I need slate and linen fabric. Okay. Slate. And actually, I've got a bunch of... Hey! I finally got my excess tech. Hey! Congrats! Was it like a significant amount or are you just like happy for the next couple weeks? Okay, I just need a bunch of slate. Only 1350? Hey, that, that's still nothing to sneeze at. That's a rent payment for me. Okay, there we go. Got now I just Uh wait. Are you saying that in US or uh Of course. Cup of tea. You hungry? Uh, let's have some plain rice. Simple person. 13. Okay. Oh, I thought you were translating it to your, uh, to, uh, whatever, uh, the, oh God, my brain died. What is your unit of currency called? That's exactly. Well, okay. Uh, so you got a bit more than my average month's rent. That's, I believe the term for that is fucking A. Now I just need some slate. Okay, so we'll start. We'll go here. Then we'll hit up those crates. And then we'll come back down to the Ishima. Now we can't quite go. And go. You pay 350 USD. I also got my monthly. Oh, hell yes. Fucking A. You know what, Koken? That is what I like to hear, man. Fucking A. G good for you. Carrots and corn? Yeah, I. Wait, do you only get paid once a month? Uh, uh. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I, my paychecks are weekly. anything I missed that I need to dive for no, should be good I've never yeah I've never had a job with mo with monthly pay it's always been weekly or bi-weekly so yeah I, I either get paid every week or every two weeks oh 
Oh yeah, that that's just always been, you know, the norm for me. Probably different country to country, but also we yeah. Yeah, no kidding. I gotta go check that out. And then I'll go down to the countryside. Oops. Breathe. Uh, yeah, uh, we have a, well, we have options. Like I can either take take paid vacation or I can get vacation pay. Generally, I I take vacation just because you know, getting paid for, you know, sitting on my ass at home playing video games is quite appealing. Welcome to one of my famous bus stops. I found them. They're mine. All mine. My name is Alex. It's a beautiful name. The best name. Don't call me, but don't call me Alexander. Blech. It's a garbage name. A garbage name for garbage people. Where was I? Oh yes. I'm Alex and I'll be your bus driver. I wasn't always a bus driver. But before, I was an accountant. Numbers were my shame. And taking you places is my game. Choo choo. No wait, that's a train. This is a bus stop and I'm your driver. Wanna go somewhere? Uh, yeah, actually. I wanna go there. Oh. Uh, I'll come back to him after I've hit up. Uh, oh, geez. Hey. Uh, here's pretty standard. 12.5. Hmm. Uh, 12 point, I, I, all I know is it's not 12% here, where I am. Yeah. And generally, yeah, like, yeah, I, I just get paid during my vacation weeks. Just cause it's easier and, you know. I need yeah, some slate. All right, let's head over there. Yeah. 
Now let's uh, bring this bad boy down. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Olga said in her letter that Giovanni could have been around. Knowing him as I do, I have my doubts. He won't linger in a place like this. Mm -hmm. But who knows? Maybe Fascaron might find a clue or two? I'll leave you to it. I don't want to go too far. Mm -hmm. The humidity here is killing me. Go on. Go, go. I trust you will find interesting stuff. Who? Oh. I don't remember his name. That night didn't call for names, if you know what I mean. Oh. I do remember his legs, though. Oh, brother. Oh. Wait. He has a wife? He didn't say anything about it. He did say he was going to Furogawa. Well, if you ever meet up with him, tell him. Tell him that Eileen misses him. Bummer. Mm -hmm. He was here, you say? And he met someone? No. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. Okay, maybe I do. But just a tiny bit. Only where he went. Furogawa, you say? I think I know where that is. I've heard it's a lovely place. Mm -hmm. well, at least that's what the brochure said. <laughs> I've always loved the, these colorful flyers. They make you travel without leaving your seat. Mm -hmm. Alright, Munchkin. Let's check it out. Okay. I've been there. Bunk. I do want to go to the mountain first because I want to get some slate. And... Bunk. Oh, uh... Do, have you 100%ed SnowRunner yet? Pretty much I'm going to my spinning PC. Hardware list here now is back up to almost 9500. Congratulations, dude. That is awesome. Are you saving up for anything in particular like a house or do you uh currently own your house or apartment that you're currently in because currently i'm saving up for eventually getting a down payment on a house I'm hoping to hit, uh, like, the, how much I need to save by the time I, uh, hit middle age. Usually stick most of my vacation pay and savings. Excellent. I, I'd have more in my savings, but certain things have come up that, you know, yeah. Oh, uh, are you going to be going to TwitchCon Amsterdam? Or the conventions not appeal to you? Hey, grain salad. Excellent. All right, let's get to sleep and then let's head over to a... Uh... Oh, you've never been to a convention? That sucks. Yeah. For me, it's more just they're prohibitively expensive. You know, hotel, plane, you know, that kind of thing. All right. I want to go to the Mount Toriyama right now. Has uh, the DLC for SnowRunner come out yet? I remember you were actually pretty, like... Pretty hyped about that recently. Oh yeah, the season five DLC dropped for the new map. Come here. You need hug. Mm. I've completed it two times already. <laughs> nice. 
is there... What's your next big game, like, that's got your eye? Like, have you checked out Deathloop at all? It was a fairly minor map. Ah, let's see. Sure. Oh. Uh, ooh. Grain salad. Yeah! Icarus is something I'm waiting for. Nice. Alright. If it's a mountain, hopefully there's a bunch of things to whack. Hang on. I was gonna say. Got to make some coal. It's not really a new type of game and nothing revolutionary. Okay. I've been thinking about what to play because like a survival building and a player co-op package. Fuck yeah. Because uh, two things have happened recently that, you know, we were talking about savings earlier. Like, my car lost its rotors and uh, needed new brake pads. Thank you. And then my computer just completely bit it, so, you know, there's, th there's three grand. So all together yet. That's late? I hope it is. That's cool. She's fine there. Were you ever a uh, seven days to die person or like Ark or any of the big survival games? I know, uh, L I know LZT was big into Echo, Eco for a while there with uh, the late shift. Ooh. That opal. Never got into Ark. Yeah. Seemed like it. It seems like a lot of those games would be interesting. It's 300 hours and seven days to die. Seven days to die does look legit like it would be a ton of fun. But I almost feel like you almost, if you're a new player, you almost have to have like the wiki wiki on the side, just so you can kind of just get a baseline of what's going on. Like I have no doubt, it looks like it'd be. Oh, I, that feels like it's a power. All right, excellent. I got slate, so I got enough. What am I doing? I'm gonna do that. When I first played Seven Days to Die, it was about half the game. That's fair. Because it was an early, early alpha. <laughs> All right, I got one for you. In terms of early access games, what do you think has done it the best? What do you think has just completely done it the worst? In your personal opinion. Mm. 
Oh, hello there, young lady. How are you doing? Oh, yes, right. Perhaps you can help me. Must have stumbled upon a fluffy sheep on the loose down there. Tried to get it back to its enclosure. The stubborn creature won't listen to me. Chances on your side. Its weak spot is its gluttony. It will definitely follow anyone who would feed it. You be dear and give it a try? Hey, where's its enclosure? Yeah, I was just thinking on like early access and that kind of thing. Hey, excellent. Oxygen not included in satisfactory come to mind as good early access. Satisfactory, I want to play again. That game looks like so much fun. Oh, what a nice sheep. I followed you all the way to its home. I always following your stomach, aren't you, little guy? Hee <laughs> hee. My sons were just like that. Don't you think it looks lonely? Maybe that's why it left. I'm gonna keep it company, don't worry, but maybe. Well, if you find another stray sheep, you could bring it back here. They could entertain each other. Well, if it is not too inconvenient for you. Oh, I'm Alice, by the way. Very nice meeting you. Okay. I need another sheep. Uh, for me, the biggest faceplant in early access that, well, not for popularity, for game, it has to be DayZ. I, it may just be like, that's not my type of game or whatever. It just, it felt like they used basically saying early access as just like a blanket to protect themselves. And this is just personal opinion, by the way. Oh, I got it. Early access doubles sh if the devs are committed to be terrible. Just use the milk mom. Like for me personally, Star Citizen. That. I don't know if it's just me. It's just like, I, I don't think they're milking money. It just feels like. Stella, you've got to be kidding me. This house is just fantastic. Mm -hmm. You know I love simple things. A simple thing that makes me feel good and warm inside. What can I say? I just don't like when it's too complicated or luxurious. I just don't. That's who I am. I've always been like that as far as I remember. When I was young, many of my friends were pretty rich and famous. Mm -hmm. You know, artists, philosophers, sports athletes... I've always attracted the finest people, what can I say? But it didn't mean a thing back then and it still doesn't up to this day. Mm -hmm. Probably why I ended up marrying Giovanni. He was so simple yet so elegant. So genuine but also fun and unpretentious. Mm -hmm. And he didn't have a dime to his name. It's a gray area for sure. 
Kickstarter. Yeah, getting so much money. Like, uh, oh god. What was the big one? Shenmue. Shenmue. And we all know having no deadlines is a terrible thing. Yeah. Like, when, didn't Shenmue 3, like, bomb, uh, like, when it came out, but it raised so much money via Kickstarter, like, it didn't matter? Okay, I've got to admit, I think I miss him. I know I shouldn't. I know he's worthless riffraff. Yeah, I understand, like, wanting to put your best foot forward and do the best thing ever, but it... There just has to be when the limit isn't money. Yeah, like for me, a perfect example is find the niche. For me, I will always say this. The best use of early access I've seen is Darkest Dungeon. They were in early access for a year. Constant updates. Constant communication. They put things in and when, when people were like, hey, we don't like this thing. They would give you an option to toggle it off. Corpses weren't a thing when Darkest Dungeon started. Like, that, because of that, when Darkest Dungeon 2 goes into early access in October on Epic, I'm going to buy it day one. They have got a fan in me because of how well they did their early access. And when they released 1.0, it was a big fucking deal. Mm -hmm. I know he probably doesn't give a shit about me now. But I just can't forget about him. Mm -hmm. Hey Munchkin, do you think you could check the mail? Maybe Olga's written to us about him. She said she would. <laughs> I would be so grateful if you did. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's all about being able to temper a creative vision with, you know, life. I know he's in Furugawa, but... That is something I do. That's a quarry. I'm gonna go over to Francis. Yeah. Like, I can have a creative vision for this stream. But, you know, I also know, like, certain things, like, just won't work. Like, I don't. It's like, oh, uh, you wanna get a, you know. You want to get an avatar? It's like, okay, but one to the quality that I would like is going to be a couple thousand dollars. Well, not a couple thousand, but like at least a thousand. Hey, Francis, I think I got something for you. I'm immensely tipper to be, see such a dynamic young lady being so hard at work. Like, I'll ask your personal opinion. Like, generally, I like to keep my you my the view of the game as clean as possible. But like, do you think it'd be bad to put something in the corner? Not a chat box. I, I, I don't like chat boxes on screen unless it's a retro game and it's like in a four by three, then I understand the need to fill space. But like, would like say like a, new follower or you know etc in the bottom right work just like a little like thing so it's not just gameplay there is a little bit of me in there not that sharon wasn't a true professional but his manners were well a bit cold if you know what i mean and he kept everything he found oh errands uh, I need a sockeye. And I need some nebula fabric. I haven't even gotten to wool yet. I gotta 
Grab this. A little something when I get a stream in there. Sub goals, followers, gold. Oh, no, no, no. Like, thanking followers and thanking people who subscribe and that kind of thing. That, you know, if you're going to be streaming, you kind of want to do that. I understand people try to over the top really sell. For one thing some people have done that I appreciate it's mainly for uh, D and D shows and Lanny Pator specifically. Like, if uh, he's he'll wait until a break and then he'll do like a you know five ten minute like hey thank you for the sub thank you for the donation thank you for the gift but then he'll go straight back into the game like he'll set aside time and I do appreciate that. Let's set the ship. I wouldn't mind something in the corner. I'm just trying to think what. I I am curious what that is. Okay, they said he was in Urugawa. Where is that? Oh, I haven't been there. I want to go over here, though. Yeah. It, that's fine. It's one half the screen. Yeah. Like, say, th there's certain times I can, you know, understand it. Like, say you're pushing for affiliate. Just putting, like, hey, you know, a follower goal in the corner of the screen just to show it do not make it like the main focus and put it in like the center top center that's annoying but like if people are aware you you know you're pushing towards a goal uh i want to go here because i think olga is done Hey! Thank you. Yeah. Well, like, cause for me, this uh, for me for games, I always want the game to be the focus. Yeah. Oh no, no. Yeah, I'm I'm with you. I'm with you a hundred percent, Koken. Yeah. It's like uh, overreactions to events in games. Like, it's so fine to have a genuine reaction to something. But when you blow it up to the point where it's like... It, it cheapens it. Twitch expression. Exactly. Cause, well, for me, like, that's also partially one of the reasons why I don't have a camera. Why I decided to go against one. Aside from the fact, you know, I, I look like a horrific fucking sloth. But, like, it's made me, like, more, like, it made me go, no, you have to work on your, you know, you have to, you have to express yourself through your words, not through facial expressions. B. 
because if, if you can't talk, you're already screwed. You know what I mean? 90% of Twitch is talking, interacting. If I'm really caught up in a game of having fun and have energy, I can exaggerate too. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid. You're so pretty, Munchkin. You remind me so much how, how I used to be when I was younger. Mm -hmm. I used to wear a red ribbon in my hair, just like in the magazine. The boys always noticed me, you know. I could have had Tony, the barber's son. Mm -hmm. He was quite rich and had a red convertible. Or even Al, the ski champion. Oh, Al, he had the nicest butt. Mm -hmm. But Giovanni... Ah, Giovanni. Mm -hmm. Whatever I did, whatever happened, he always made me smile. His eyes looked like shooting stars, his hair smelled like morning dew. But enough of this. Mm -hmm. Daydreaming won't get us nowhere. Let's do something productive. True crops in need of water? Caught up. Yeah. It's fine to be excited and hype about a game. It's when it's blown up to the point where you know it's literally for the clip. No. Like, I'll, I'll put it simply. You can't hype Spirit Fair. Game followers and game followers on theater and lose when I can't be bothered. But you have followers, Koken. L look at the number below this stream. You have followers. Okay, we just got that Olga. Can't go to South Point. No, we can, but I need to go to Furogawa. All right, that's a bit of a trek. If you, t do you turn on OBS or XSplit or Twitch Studio or Streamlabs OBS? Do you play games or do people show up? Do people talk? You're a real streamer. Yes, I'm poking you for you know, self-deprecation. You've been doing this a lot longer than I have. Okay. I'll take the message in a bottle. I have more thinking of people that actually have it as their Okay, okay, I, I misunderstood. I I thought you were getting down on yourself being like, I don't have, you know, 800,000 followers. You know, I'm not a real streamer. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You streaming is a hobby for you. It is not like... If you decided right now and to just stop and, you know, and just, you know, you'd be fine. But like me, you see this as a creative outlet, you know, if nothing else, it's something fun to do. It's your ability and a chance to meet people you'd never meet. Like when I dropped by LZT stream because they were carving leather, I was like, oh, that's neat. And now, well, I, I'll be honest, I tend to lurk when he streams just because, you know, I, I'm just a lurker in general. Yeah. This sounds weird, but I've been around. Oh, fuck. I've been around Twitch for a long time, but I haven't been a streamer for very long. Like, I, I'll be honest, I didn't even make an account until last year. Just because everything and anything I watched, like, never required a subscription and I never felt like I won wanted or needed to contribute because for me it was all esports you know so I never felt the need to be like you know I gotta type in there and get in there uh, yeah let's get some lightning but yeah Yeah. 
For me, Twitch was all about just watching esports. I'm not gonna go for that one, no point. That one. Where's Gwen been? Hey. I will see what Hey, all right, here we go. Yeah, for me, yeah, Twitch is a hobby and I forget what inspired me to just actually say fuck it and start streaming. Because it, it's not from an esports perspective because like, you know, my thing was StarCraft 2. Let's get some iron. And don't get me wrong, I still love... I, well, I, I did love StarCraft, but I don't feel comfortable supporting Blizzard anymore. I thought I was streaming for 10 years, but never had any upload on my ISP. That's fair. It's only really become available in the last bit for a lot of people just because people's uploads have finally gotten to a point where, you know, they're decent enough to handle it. Alright, there we go. And give me that iron. I'm gonna do another round of iron. Cause yeah, that's the biggest thing with streaming also. Like you can have as much download as you want, but if you've gotten no upload, don't mean dick. Right. Keep the bellows pumping. Fine. There we go. But yeah, when, when, you know, I got into Twitch because of StarCraft 2. You know, back in the original GSL GOM TV days, you know. Oh, God. I still remember one of the first matches I ever watched. I think it was Idra. They'll have terrible upload compared to download, but now it's just enough. Yeah. There we go. Well, yeah, yo, I've like, I've had like 20 down, two up always. Now I have 350, 100. Oh, My upload's better than, like quite good, but I, I also pay out the nose for it. Like over a hundred a month, but, and that's just for internet. But I'd rather pay that and have solid internet than, you know, have to worry kind of thing. Uh, let me get some tea leaves. Uh, I'll grab some rice. And some tea. Pay about 75 uh, US. Yeah, it's. Yeah. Seems about on par. For 
Used to be 25. Yeah, but 22, it, 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 that's, that's Garbo. Oh yeah, like if for that cheap, I understand, but it's just like, you know, it's just like, ouch, oof, my bones. Oh, I think I can get. I need aluminum ingots. Three ash. Okay. What do I need to do? Ash and zinc. Cotton. Aluminum ash. Here. Okay. Don't have that blueprint. Don't have that blueprint. Down up new games all overnight. Yeah. And uploading anything. Yeah, fair. Like, when you know your restrictions, you know, sometimes it just works. Oh. But I will say, like, it's just really nice because it introduced me to people I never thought I'd talk to. Like, you know, some kid from the West Coast is talking with people over in, you know, Norway, Sweden, England, you know, everywhere. I'm hoping for a sockeye so I can turn it into Francis. Come on. Here we go fishing. Ah. Like, uh, I know you mentioned you aren't a traveler, but, uh, are you like an outdoorsman at all? Like, do you like to go hunting, fishing? Uh, I don't know what's out there, crabbing? I'm ignorant of other cultures and other people's ways of lives. Oh, you're a fighter. Come on. I wonder if there's another way to improve the fishing. Hmm. Okay. We're almost to Fitogawa. Okay, I need to grab that lettuce. I need to feed everyone. I want a fly fishing pole, regular fishing pole, and gear for ice fishing. Nice! I haven't been out fishing for 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That story took it. That was a plot twist. All right. Actually, go. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, you need. Give you a hug. Me and my grandfather used to go fish when I was younger. I really kept up with it on my own. That, that's fair. That's fair. I did think about going at you. Uh, 
I, I don't do well in the cold. Oh, I need to talk to you. I think it was Opal. Oh, an Opal, a burning stone of passion and love. The stone of seduction, which resonates with burning desires and releases inhibition, but stabilizes emotions as well. In other context, Opal also brings about loyalty and faithfulness. Ah. Uh, have some tea. Like that. Bring along an, the ice auger, a stool, tear some firewood, something with alcohol, and something good to roast on a fire. That's, that's legit. That's legit. Also bring a friend. Oh, yeah. First, for safety reasons, because you're fucking ice fishing. We're here. Let's go down. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, that's funny. It is, is it his cologne I can smell? Pecu peculiar mis misc Bleh. Also, I, I eat fish if I get served fish, but I don't buy fish. That pecu peculiar mix of musk and nonchalance. He must have been here recently. Quick munch in, let's ask her. Oh, Giovanni? That name. Don't say that name. And the fish I can get ice fishing in something I want to eat, so I just let them out again. I almost broke up my marriage. Um, uh, he came here a month ago. Big man! They can ease the boss. The fire drinking company is most... Why would I ice fish now? Makes sense. Good thing my wife came to her senses. He apparently didn't like the weather. Good riddance. Where is my brother? He should be here. Just checking for secrets. Yeah, I unfortunately have never been the outdoorsy types. Oh, what impeccable timing. I am in dire need of assistance. I can tell from your friendly and familiar face that you are undoubtedly the helpful type. Uh -huh. Look, listen, I'm looking to complete this set of five traditional wood prints. They date from the Ushiro period and are such in, uh, are invaluable. I found four of them, but alas, the last one eludes me. Uh -huh. I'm certain it is in this very village. Furthermore, I am absolutely positive that recently in the position of possession of the local shopkeeper Theodore. But he refuses to even acknowledge its existence. What an irksome little man. Raccoon. Tanuki. Whatever he is. But with your help. Yes, with that sweet little smile of yours and generally non-threatening attitude. Well, I'm sure you can smooth your way into requiring that last precious piece. That will be the last missing piece of this slippery puzzle. Well, go ahead, Skipper. I can't wait. Welcome to the world where now Furogawa Tours. Tour will begin shortly. It takes about five minutes and covers the rich history of this city. After you'll have so many anecdotes about this place. You'll be the life of the party if you ever attend one. Ready? Yes. Perfect. Let's start right away. A powerful symbol. Directed to keep evil spirits away and bless this island for future generations. Sometimes see islanders stop by this tree in the middle of their journey home. Maybe to remind themselves of a lost brother, their sick child, past lovers. Yeah. Sorry, reminds me to open my Red Bull. 
Legend all does say that they have heard it talk sometimes. Another piece of on rich culture. I personally have never experienced loss. Some say I always think of my personal problems, never thinking of others. Well, no matter as long as I can carry on doing these tours. This is a vibrant city. We have a Raccoon Incorporated location. Considered by most to be the finest seller of materials and wares. But also contently the only merchant business in town. Founded by Theodore Raccoon, these shops are a staple of a thriving economy. Fun little fact. Anyone who joins Raccoon Inc. must legally change their name to Theodore. I suppose it's a way to honor their founder. Truly a sign of devotion. I myself do, I myself do not shop at this particular establishment. I make my own clothes and furniture. This isn't particularly noteworthy, but it, it is a small tidbit in your tour guide life. Oh, hey. This shrine was built using only the finest metals. From the ashes of the past guardian tower, these shrines tell the story of our past. And that story is... Give me a second. I'm not sure, actually. Which is why it's so important. My forgetfulness, I remember the purpose of this shrine. Moral being, of course, always remember your heritage. A powerful thought. Let's move on. Huh? Oh. This concludes our tour. Hey, hanging. How are you doing? Furugawa Tours was grateful for your participation. Thank you for your ears and your patience. Thank you again. Uh, gratuity is expected if you enjoyed the tour. Uh, yes. Here's some 50 glimpse. Hey. Uh, oh, glide? Uh, my day's going well. I'm just enjoying some late night spirit fair. Just got the glide ability, so. Yay. Okay, that's incredibly useful. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I see what I'm supposed to do. I never want to go back home. Oh, okay. Call you Rack. Sorry, it was the first name I saw. No problem, Rack. Being here is sublime. If you want to stay at my place, you're more than welcome. Here's my key. The door stay jams, you just have to give it a good tug. It always gets stuck. I want to enjoy this view forever. Thanks. Andy. I live a simple life. How's your day gone so far, Rack? Anything new and exciting and noteworthy, or is it just paint by the numbers average day? Ooh, ooh. Hey. My day has been something. Uh, do tell. What's going on? A as the the youngins would say, spill the tea. What's going on? Burnt my hand like twice in the noon time for lunch. Oof. Ouch. Oof. Your bones. Well, more accurately, your skin currently. I'm sorry. Eh. 
Well, hello there, customer. I burnt my hand for making tea. <laughs> Legit smelled the tea. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Good, good job, Rack. Is our catalog not your satisfaction? Are you interested in some specialized items? Ooh, wood print, you say? Yes, yes, I know it in sat. In my special stock for an attorney, and suddenly everyone was looking for it. First, it was this pedantic person. Very rude. And worse, they were heckling on everything. I didn't even give them the print. Tell them the print. Give them some junk instead. And then later, this giant Wallace lady came in and demanded I sell it to her. Thought crossed my mind to start a bidding war, but she offered me some serious coin for it. That lady. Let me tell you, she was L-O-A-D-E-D. -D. Anyway, that's all I know about it. Can't help you with the print, but feel free to browse my wares. You are in the right place. You are at Raccoon Inc. Okay, I got pork, so I'm happy about that. Because that guy, I gotta tell him. Ah, you're back. Did you manage to get the missing print? No, it was already sold. Uh -huh. But how? Wait, is there a competing art collector roaming about? A walrus lady, you say? Uh -huh. Of course. Of course it was her. Uh -huh. Oh, that horrid woman. That dim-witted, dim-witted, egotistic, patronizing charlatan. She calls herself the collector, if you can believe it. Uh -huh. She doesn't even collect anything. Oh, I'm sure she brought the print only to spite me. I should have never told her about my collection. That ugly ass sack face. Well, I'm not the one to wave away competition. That ugly witch is in hiding. In hiding from you. I don't specifically know why, but the news of a new spirit fair made her skitter away like a puny cockroach. How fitting. Yes, yes, you're the spirit fair. Tell me something I don't know. She should have known better than to tell me the location of her hideout, though. She's hiding at these coordinates. 50-50. 150-150. Uh -huh. Pay her a visit, would you? And when you see her, show her this figurine. She'll know. Believe me. She'll know. Uh -huh. This? Oh, do not worry. It's just some junk Theodore gave me. Okay. Yeah. We. Hey, what up? You've got some moves. I come here to see everyone from up high. Every Everyone is so small. I feel big and strong. If you run into my mom, just don't tell her I'm here. I want this feeling to last a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Stella. I... Oh, damn it. Enough is enough. I'm done wasting my time. I won't be looking for that hoodlum anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't need him to be happy. I don't need to hear stupid jokes and incessant yammering. I don't need to be suffocated by his floral cologne. Mm -hmm. I don't need to have him constantly showering me with praise. I don't need to see his flamboyant mane. I don't. Mm -hmm. I. Let's go back to the boat, Munchkin. Ooh, I got mail. Uh, letter from Albert. An air draft device. Uh, Masha. Help, I'm lost at C. C8, negative 11, okay. So I'll sleep and then I'll go to 5811. If I can make it. Was it 58, negative 58? 
Oh, my 58 negative 11. No, I'm going for the, uh, uh, we'll save track for this one. We're doing the, uh, message in a bottle and then it's mint negative 50, one, negative 150, 150 for her thing. I got a, I, fuck, I just realized I haven't seen Gwen in a while. I should probably go talk to her. Yeah, I was okay. Where's Gwen? Uh Oh hey, what's up? Mm -hmm. Uh Masha, you say? Mm -hmm. Sister. She might know something about Giovanni's location? Huh, okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Let's go talk to her then. She is mm -hmm. how to put it special. Me and her? Let's just say we've never been friends. Stella? Thanks for playing messenger. Mm -hmm. You're wonderful. Aw. Mm. Hug to the snake lady. Uh fruit. Okay. I also I need a spirit flower for that one. I need a bigger boat for that, and I need full fabric. I think I can. Oh, I need nebula fabric for that. Uh, what do I need for the... Oh, I have everything I need. You know what? Sure. Yeah, Gwen isn't here. Maybe she went to an island somewhere. Where? I don't know. Did she know any place in the world? Oh, God. Okay, I don't have any sheep. Huh. I feel like I need a bigger boat. So I need to go over there, check that. And then I need to go to Albert because I need to rearrange this place. Huh? Hey, what's up? Mm -hmm. Why are you holding out on me, Munchkin? I might be old, but I still have a stomach. Oh, I'm sorry. You like big, simple. Uh. I'm sorry. Hugs, hugs, hugs. Come here. Now, right, after I check this, I think I know where I need to go. I think, oh, oh, yeah, I need to cook 
like some pork chops. I think Gwen, uh, Gwen is at her parents' old v house, the villa. That would be my guess anyway. Come on, Sakai Salmon. Damn it. And I've got enough lightning in a bottle. I'll I'll take the glimpse though. I'm just trying to think. Where do I get a sheep? Okay, from an island. Thank you. And I, I know I've met two new potential spirits. One is a bird dude, and the other had me bring a sheep back to the corral. I think her name was Alice. Yeah, she uh, said she wants me to bring another sheep so the other sheep isn't lonely. But yeah, I think I'm going to do this. And then I need to head to Albert and just, if nothing else, get a bigger ship. Mother. I'm having no luck with the fishing right now. Come on. Hey. Come on. Come on. Black tiger shrimp. All right, we're almost there. Uh, let me harvest my corn. Oh, no, that was rice. Kept hearing a ping. Okay, I do have one sheep corral, though, so... There, I made these for you. Oh, thank you! That's actually incredibly useful. Do I have any other... No. And we're almost to the place. Oh, yeah. Help, help. Stay still. Oh, dude. My raft broke and I lost my, my equipment. I was gonna go see my sister on... Wait. I don't even remember where. She lives on a nice little town full of people. It's rice patches, a shop, and a big monument. Oh, please, you need to help me. My sister would be able to draw you a map or something. Hurry, please. Uh... Okay, Kurogawa. Oh boy, that's a hell of a trip. Oh, but first things first. Alright. I'm gonna hit up Olga. Grab the slate and iron ore. Then, then I'll go to Albert.
There we go. Oh. They're almost done, Uncle Atul. Three, two. And get a drink. So how much of this have you played, Rack? Oh, you do. Thank you. Food. Have some pork chop. What? I have a few spirits, but not that much. Pork chops. Oh boy, oh boy. Just need to clip this. <laughs> I am so excited. They look so damn tasty. And they are. Squirt your miracle. You know that, right? Sprout. Uh, now I feel just a bit guilty. And I'm sorry you're running all these culinary errands for me. Look, there was this kid at work. Craig. We used to have these long and tight union negotiations. All-nighters. Everyone would be at a standstill. Everyone was so hungry and every restaurant was closed. I would say Craig on these endless 24-hour grocery store crawls for me. I would ask for the impossible gets. Saffron, sumac, or even anise. It was something like 2 o'clock in the morning. Our goal was to make the tastiest chops in the world. A meal for everybody. On both sides of the table. To calm heads into appeased stomachs. First part didn't always work, but everyone was always well fed. I don't know how he did it, but Craig would always find everything on my list. I would joke with him that he would have to break into people's houses to get stuff. Jeez, maybe he did. I don't know how you did it, Sprout. You made it taste like home. Here's you and Craig. Hey. hey. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Rack. I appreciate that. That is the first ever clip of my channel, I believe. Much appreciated. There we go. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, some more iron ore in there. Uh, slate and copper. Just in case. Thank you, Masha. No, wait, that's Olga. All right. All right, I need to water these, but then I think I need to. I think I know where Gwen is. Let's just set sail. No, wait, we need Albert first. Well, thank you so much for doing the clip. Much appreciated, Rack. How long you been around Twitch? Oh yeah, I need to, I want to do improve, uh... Oh, 
Uncle Atoll's place. There you go. I don't have cotton. Because I haven't gotten to that stage. Just think. I've had many accounts, but I'd say like two, three years. Okay, cool. Put it all in the rice cooker. Yeah, I've I've only had an account for god I think just a year. After this I uh, will head to the villa. Well, after we get a bigger boat. <laughs> yep. Well, I've been around for years, but I, I didn't even have an account. I was just a lurker. Like, I, cause my thing, like I was saying earlier, was I was just all about esports, and I didn't need to participate in the chats of esports. Got a big appetite. Goes well with my love of food. You know what I would go for? Bucket of fried chicken, Jesus. Best kind of food comes in buckets. Cooking sounds hard to me. In this case, it's pretty easy. It's a true Amer- He legit reminds me of my of an uncle of mine who uh has a uh, yeah he reminds me of uncle of mine who has uh, passed on and it's just like hey that's a nice garden knock knock who's there Lettuce. Lettuce who? Lettuce in and you'll find out. <sighs> Upgrade. Okay. I don't have enough for that. And I don't have... I need a spirit clock for that. For now, just give me the big boy. Dad shark, yeah. The dad jokes. Ugh. Uh, for me, it's... The ones I've met so far is it's Uncle Atoll. I'm... You know. You're pulling up my heartstring, Spirit Fair. Let's see if I can find everyone quick. Give you... Just Hey, you all right? Can I ring the bell? Okay. Hey, come here. Ugh. I love how everyone has these cute nicknames for you. Uh 
granny snake cottage core granny <laughs> Granny Snake is awesome, though. Alright, where's the villa? I'm doing safe travel mode. But yeah. I... I, I really like uh, Granny Snake because she legit reminds me of, like, a friend of mine. Okay, plenty of fucking room now. I forgot, I forgot. <laughs> okay. I do want to go to uh, Villa first because I think that's where Gwen is. Okay, let's just see where 150, 150 is. I don't even think I can get there yet. Yeah. I can't even get there. I don't have the... Uh, Yeah, I think that's, uh, that's ice, I believe. So unfortunately, even if I wanted to, I could not get there. So, I have to work on getting fabric. Because I think I need wool fabric or something. So, I need, to, I need to do this and then I need to go get the sheep. I meant to hit five. Alright. Alright, we're almost there. Yeah, okay, I was right.
just curious if that's enough to uh, get it all the way filled. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Damn. All right, I will be right back. I just need to use the washroom. All right, I have returned. All right. Anything else on here before I jump off? Nope. Thank you, thank you, Rack. Gwen! Hey. Stella! I... I'm sorry. Mm. Sorry I even considered doing this. Ending your days in your family house is so cliche to boot. Mm. I can't explain myself either. I just wanted to finish it off, you know? Mm. To decide on my own terms how I'd go. And not let myself be taken away. I've been weak. I'm sorry. Mm. Oh, the irony. Crap, I feel so selfish now. Mm. Sometimes I wish I could have been like you. But rarely. <laughs> mm. Ah, crap. Hug me now. Mm. Thank you so much. I needed that. You always both there. Wait. No. Motherfucker, you are starving. Mm. I always said you can open an upscale restaurant. Fine dining at its best. She's like... I've lost my house because of you. Your friend wasn't using it. It should be mine. I have rights too, you know. No, that old shrew kicked me out. I'm back to being the gardener. The biggest rub is my house is locked. I'll break that padlock and get my dignity back. Someday. Leave me alone for now. I have work to do. Let's head back. Let's talk to Gwen. Oh, 
got some muscles in there. Look, this will come as a shock, but I'm ready to leave. I just can't fight it anymore. But it's okay. I know you're with me. Bring me to the Everdor where you met, uh, where you met Sharon. I'm ready, I think. <sighs> oh, fuck, okay. Take a bit. All right. This is our first trip to the Everdor. We are sending our first spirit. Oh, jeez. Didn't even. I I was looking at chat and I wasn't even paying attention. Welcome in. Thank you for the raid, my friend. I apologize. I do not have raid alerts, but Retail, how's it going? How has Black Reliquary been... What the heck? Black Reliquary, Reliquary been treating you? Are you excited for Darkest Dungeon 2 uh, early access in October? Why is... I've been uh, lurking in uh, the uh, Reliquary, Black Reliquary Discord, keeping up. Right when you get your Discord back, you the curse meme so I know it's you. Oh, oh hey, Moon Kanan, how's it going? Uh, the creator of the Powder Keg mod, if my uh, class, if my memory serves me correctly. Welcome in, I hope you're having a wonderful day. What were you playing, Rhett? What was going on with you? Was it... The R has been good. I'll pass until the game's done. Played Madness Project Nessus for stream. Howdy. I feel my brain melting at a, <laughs> at a very difficult piece of art. Uh, Madness Project Nexus. Okay, I will have to remember that. And I am playing the opposite of... Uh, yeah, you did Powder Cake and Choir Hunter. I'm just trying to remember all the ones I use, uh, Madness Combat Cartoons. It does not ring a bell, unfortunately. Yeah, when, uh, back when I was playing, uh, the, uh, Darkest Dungeon, uh, like, base game. Uh, I was using, like, Powder Keg, the Samurai, uh, the, F the Philomath, like, I know, yeah, we're talking about Darkest Dungeon while I'm playing, you know, the cutesiest game on Earth. Madness Comet is New Grounds Old Guard. Oh, I was New Grounds the Wanderer. Yes, Moon. Thank you so much. Just plant that. God. God, uh, I'm trying to remember what I used to watch on Newgrounds. Remember doing the art for Wanderer? That was your first dark, big Darkest Dungeon commission. Nice. Yeah, I'll be honest. Uh, Darkest Dungeon two on Epic. I, I'm, I'm jumping in day one. Darkest Dungeon had the used early access, the best I've ever seen it, and I am happily willing to give them, you know, the benefit of the doubt. And you know. Make your cash. You know what I mean? Because, you know. 
gonna be waiting when it comes out on Steam. I've learned not to do early access anymore. I've got some mods to do for next early access until after Color of Madness was out. Hey, uh, my Axian Demon. We'll be doing that again. Mixes good people. Well, for me, I look at it from. I'll, I'll be blunt. This is from a streaming. <laughs> and jokes on you. I've never finished Darkest Dungeon one. I've beaten it uh, twice. I've never beat Crimson Court though. Mix as in mix. Okay. Oh, Mixian Demon. Okay. Or I might just call you Demon. Mixian. Okay. But yeah, for me, from a, I, I want to jump on Darkest Dungeon to uh, day one for a for streaming it. Uh, class Nuzlocke. Oh yeah, I remember you were doing that. I am. It's just been on pause. <laughs> All right. We're. And y'all came in in a really good time. We are sending off our first spirit through the Everdoor. Oh, checks mix. Eventually I'll have extra new shooter done and you'll get a new... <laughs> eventually I have... I misread that as eventually I'll have executioner done and you'll have a new twink. I misread that. I was just like... Well, considering some of the mods I've seen for Darkest Dungeon... I was gonna say the... The the dancer in Black Reliquary set says loads. I haven't done a twink. You don't need to do a, cl a twink class yet. You just need to mod it. <laughs> yeah, Terp. Sorry. A lot of the names are really, really long and really hard to pronounce. Like Terpis Cardi. Yes. <laughs> I used to make my money. Oh, hey. People are horny and they will pay. Okay. Here we are. I guess. I guess I had been waiting for that moment to arrive. Sooner or later. You have to commission it, Retail. Will you accompany me, my friend? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Still got to do clickbait. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you fucking nerds. All right. No, I can't even grab that. Everyone's waiting. Oh. We're just waiting on Gwen. Oh yeah, I, I can't do anything. That this is this is basically a cutscene. <clears throat> All right, let's see. I'm gonna have to. Stella, look. There's something I wanted to give you. I used to hide it in my old music box. I don't know why, but it always felt to me like it was the best hiding spot. Here it is, my old lighter. I haven't thought about this old thing in a while. It barely works. Mm -hmm. I stole it off father when I was 12. Please use it to remember me. Mm -hmm. In the good times. In the bad times. They exist together. Mm -hmm. They exist together. Intertwined. Uh, oh, by the way, no. Uh, Moon, there is a dedicated hug button in this game. I am not kidding. If there is only one thing you learned from me, it should be that. Thank you for dropping by, Retail. Hope you had a fun. Hope you had a good stream. And I hope you have a good sleep. <clears throat> okay. Seems I couldn't escape it, doesn't it? Me being here now. 
You know me, I've never been one to dwell on the past. Mainly because it always felt overwhelming to me. Like an irrepressible wave of resentment. But even at this very moment, I still wonder. I don't know if I've ever tried to connect. And I've been so sure of it. My opinion just never changed. You know what I've always said? That people come and go, but don't pay attention to each other. They never really did. That lives are only ever parallel. Adjacent at best. Well, that's bullshit. I can see that now. And you're proof of, you're the proof of it. And not just you, but Mum cared as well. In her own way. And others here, even given the circumstances. I still don't know about father. I should probably forgive him now. Find that last shred of strength left in me. Would that make me a better person? Mm. Would that make a difference? Maybe. But after all this, mm. I don't think I care. And it doesn't matter. Because I had my best friend by my side. Mm. I had you. You are a wonderful person, Stella. My life would not have been the same without you. Mm -hmm. The light you showed me was more than a beacon. It was a guide. Only I was too blind to see it. Mm -hmm. My shades were too opaque. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go. I can't hold it any longer. Thank you, Stella. Thank you for bringing me here, even if you didn't want to. Thank you for kicking my butt and shaking my ego. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that I've loved you as much as I could. Goodbye, my friend. Mm -hmm. See you there. Mm -hmm. Bye, Gwen. Oh, what's it? No, I think I need to go to the left. Sorry, I'm... <clears throat> A little bit choked up! Ooh! <laughs> I go the wrong way. Oh. Oh, it. Oh, it's Gwen's life, I think. <laughs> or is it mine?
Oh my god, that's adorable. Oh. What on earth was that? Looked like something out of Ori in the Blind Forest. It's mine and Gwen's life. Our our memories. Finally meet face to face. For such a long time I have been watching you, Stella. Close yet far. You've kept your distance, but you knew I was there. Hidden in every shadow, skulking in every silence. Since the very beginning, I have been a part of you. Even my, as my existence was but a foreign thought. And as your loved ones surrounded you with care and affection, I waited silently. Your joy. Your joy, your pride, your happiness. Moments of laughter, of bliss of friendship gone I know it feels just like yesterday but the hourglass has turned and at last you have found me go go now for I am not yet fully awoken resume your duties carry on your graceful dance We'll meet again soon, spirit bearer. Okay, hi, thanks for the punch in the fucking gut game. Holy shit. I'm okay, I swear. Wow. Just grab the right. <laughs> Damn. What's this? Oh, oh, spirit flower. Nice. <laughs> The joys of having a good microphone and being an actually uh, being an amateur voice actor. Oh my god. Look, look in the sky. It's not they're now part of the Gwen's now part of the constellation. That's amazing. Okay. Okay, I don't have that. Okay, I need uh, amethyst, diamond, or hematite. Actually, I do want to see something. I'm just putting that up here since it's unsalvageable and I don't know if it can be used by any other. Hey, uh, Mix, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. 
Yeah. Oh, trust me when I say, oh, that, that's a... Okay, I need to go to... So it's a deal then. Hey, Moon Cannon, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. So I guess it is a deal. Okay, I don't need to go... Can't do that quite yet. Okay. Okay. Find a second sheet. Go back to Torium. Closure. Okay. And hey, I'm always happy to have people around. Spirit Fairer is generally. I probably won't talk to him. Just you really plug some background noises at work. Hey, you know what? That that's what streaming's for. Because. Yeah, generally, if I'm streaming late night like this, I'm playing like Spiritfarer. If this is during my normal uh, stream hours, I'm generally working through the Yakuza series. Right now, I'm just working on Kiwami. Right. Yeah. Or, and once uh, Darkest Dungeon 2 comes out, I'll be playing that a ton. I've also... Uh, Kiwami 1. I'm going to be working through the entire series. I've played 0, just not on stream, and I didn't want to play through it for a third play through it for a third time. Okay, uh... I head over here. Wakey-wakey, everybody. I didn't realize I got Darkest and stuff going on in the background, because we can move, but that's no... There's no one fun to listen to right now. Yeah. See, watch. De dedicated hug button. Let's get some food. Oh, okay. Uh, just a nice cup of tea. Yes. A dedicated hug button. And each hug is differently animated. <laughs> hey, Spearfarer does one thing and they do it very well. I'm just going to grab my... Satisfied that. Ooh, food. Uh, you don't like. Watch. Even Snake Lady. Satisfied then. Fluffy ass. And I'm sorry, it's just, yeah, I don't know where Uncle Atoll is. It's just. He. Uncle Atoll literally reminds me of one of my uncles that has passed on. So it's like... Well, I'll just ask, like... Y'all... Have y'all ever had that bigger, jolly uncle? Like... When, when you were a kid... You know, he looked like a titan. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me just plant these. There we go. Where's my... Where is Uncle... I need to actually give him some food. There he is. Hey, Uncle Little. Excited it. Makes him like a cool, jolly uncle. Yep. Give him some food. Give him some steamed shellfish. And then.
<laughs> Do you see what I mean? Like, Nix, I know your heart is just breaking right now. You're just like, this is too cute. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I need to go to... Okay. Okay. Oh. There we go. From the music... To well, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, Thunder Lotus absolutely nailed this. I knew damn well this game was going to eat your heart out. It's like, oh, yeah. Planks, get your planks. I made you some planks. Hey, thanks, Uncle Little. All right. I'm going over here because what hugging a big frog would feel like. Pretty much. A beanbag, that'll go. Mwah. Uh, build. What can I... Okay, I don't... Okay. A silky smooth one at that. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, I need wool. And... Okay. I also need to get you another gem. Uh, is there a map screen? Yeah, because... Way too relaxing. It's just kind of like a lo-fi. Yeah, here's the thing. Like, you could put on, like, lo-fi and whatever in the background, but at the same point... Why? You don't need to. The, the game itself is like a chill, you know, chill lo-fi beats. Okay, uh, we need some... I'm gonna smelt some more. I'm gonna smelt some copper. Lo-fi doesn't do... Yeah. But that's why this works perfect as a streaming game. Because, like... While the lo fi is in the background, you, you've got me chattering your ear off. Throw on tabletop RPGs. For me, uh, for tabletop RPG streams, I love them, but I kind of need to, you know, have been invested for a while. Like, I kind of want to start from day one. I generally listen to them when I'm at work. Uh, yeah, sure. You know what? We're just gonna stick over here. Not even gonna go for that. Dang it. I hesitated too long. Oh, heck. Oh, yeah, it's just free glimpse. I th I sh I sh the ones that upload to YouTube or elsewhere? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no! Daffodil! In case you're wondering why I'm not, like, rushing too hard, it's... I've got no empty bottles, so I can't catch any more lightning. So this is just free money, basically. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> Daffodil's fine. They have the Everlight. Things like Adventure Rome, Critical, Warhammer, Dimension 20. Uh, for me, mine are crit roll, obviously, because, you know, it's 
probably the most popular tabletop RPG period. Well, well, stream. Can I pet the child? Do you mean... Oh, you mean daffodil? Well, hang on. Watch this. Up, up, up. I don't know. Does that count as petting? <laughs> I'm just gonna get a tweet from uh, from Mixie and Demon. And just be like, "Am dead. Cause of death. Cute." Curl is lower on my list. It does represent the game very well. And realistic expectation. Plays really well as a radio drum. Yeah, well. Well, for me, my big. Uh, f I've listened to about four or five. I've never listened to Dimension 20. Apparently, it's really good. But, like, my big is Crit Roll. The Unexpectables. Uh, the Prince Division. Gateway. Uh, roll with me. The. Middle three are all part of the Unexpectables, like, uh, basically, it's all on their channel. Gateway is a Fallout-inspired, uh, like, D6 system made by, uh, Lanny Pator. And, uh, Prince Division is a modern take on, like, they're, they're basically detectives. Mentioned 20 is pure fun. Pay to listen to the later stuff though ah uh who's on that i remember isn't it erica ishii that's the only uh member i remember off the top of my head because i think erica ishii's freaking hilarious college humor okay i never really watched college humor so and they rotate out people based on the campaign yeah, and, uh, okay, we're almost there. I literally forgot where we were going. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I need to get the sheep. Yeah, now for me... It Roll with me and all the unexpected stuff is really good because a lot of it is, well, based around Team Four Star and like their group. And I, I've been a fan of TFS since TFS at the table. Adventure Zone is really charming because it's three brothers and their dad. Thank you for taking the tour. Okay. I said there was a sheep here. Gonna grab this quick. I'm also a massive wrestling nerd, so who is that little journey marshmallow? Cause they did uh, You can't hug everyone. I will show. They are basically the NPCs in the game. Generally, even the people you bring on your boat, they generally start out like this. Like you could just talk to them. Not everyone has a dedicated hug button. That's interesting thing about this tour. Well, I just had to try it for myself. It's how nice and serene it is. You know what? I feel strangely at home here. As if I was, as if I'd already walked these woods. Perhaps in another life. You can't hug everyone. And remember, everyone has to give consent. The hug button is you asking if they would like a hug. All right, let's get these. Said there was a sheep here, so I'm I'm gonna be looking for the sheep. Uh, and also, you know, free wood. Hey. Well. Oh. Uh. 
I'm gonna feed you strawberry. Hey, come on. She's not even anthropomorph. She just straight up a really long snake coiled into a person shape. Yeah. That's actually, if you look at all, yeah. It's a sheep. Boom, 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 boom. She just likes her cloak. When you give her her favorite food, her neck extends and it, it you know. Do I have anything I can give them? No. Alright. <laughs> Flop! Okay. Now if I did it right... Give me all that rice. Plant some tea seeds. You just noticed, yeah. Yeah, the cat has amazing idle animation. <laughs> Wakfu? I do not, I am not familiar with that. Okay, well, hit up that. Uh, is that an artist or is that a show? You'll have to, you know, pardon my ignorance. It was a French anime which feels incredibly... Hmm. By the way, that noise you hear is uh, Uncle Atoll snoring. The best way I could describe it, everything... Even all the little things, they feel so full of life and... So full of life and luster is the best way I can describe it. You know, all the little animations... Like if you watch Daffodil right now, like she'll start playing. Or she'll like look around. All right. <laughs> I take it everyone here is a fan of anime? Is All right, I I got a question for you and then I uh I will actually show a video. If uh what is their MMO counterpart what was the... We all have a show that made us an anime fan. Do you remember the... The scene or the thing that made you just go, I, I just love anime, you know, hard stop. Was it like... Sailor Moon? Was there a particular thing? Was it like the transformation sequence? A boss? Like, uh, what was it for you? Hey! Myers! Welcome in! I apologize, I do not have any uh, raid. Hey, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Hope everyone's had a good time. How'd your stream go? What were you playing? What is new with you? Welcome in to just playing some lit. Hey, it is a deal then. Welcome in. Welcome in, Cosmic. You finished Spirit Fair? Awesome. Uh, I have let one person go. I will just say this. 
please do not spoil. Hey, Clark Knight and Myers. Thank you for the follows. Thank you, much appreciated. Right now we have one person has left. We have lot we have released Gwen. We are just heading over to bring the sheep uh to uh the Mount Mount Toriyama. Alright, thank you so much. Hack sign was your anime? First trapped in an MMO anime? We didn't grind through it for nothing. <laughs> No, we were just discussing because a lot of people on Twitch, myself included, were big fans of anime. But our question has to be, what was your first anime that made you just go like, oh, like, this is why I love anime? Like, was there a particular... Okay. Come on, follow me. I fed you. Okay. Matt. Your first one was seven deadly sins, but Naruto is changing my life right now. Well. Alright, I'll have to stop the record for that. Seven deadly sins is a legit really good one. Naruto is always a solid one. For me, back in the day, I can guarantee I'm a little bit older was Dragon Ball Z. Like, I like cartoons, but Dragon Ball was that one that just hit on a different level. Hey. Good job. I think the one that sat with me the longest is Code Geass. Goddamn. I mean, it's like a truck. I have a ton of friends that love Dragon Ball. Yeah, just... But what was that scene or that moment that made you realize... Oh my god, I love anime. Like, I want to indulge in anime. And after we get... After we... You... <coughs> you brought a second sheep. Oh, look at them. They'll be so happy together. Oh, they're acting kind of coldly. <laughs> Moon Cannon, that's completely fair. I love TFS. That's surprising. Well, they just have to get to know each other. I'm sure they'll be the best of friends in no time. As for me, well, it was nice feeling needed. What? You want me to join you on your travel? Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, amazingly, uh, Moon Kanan, Card Captors was one of my friend's animes. That made them realize, like, oh my god, I love anime. No, no, no. Mm. I couldn't possibly impose myself on all of you. Besides, I'm sure there's no room for me. Mm. For sure, this island is a little bare, but... I'm sure a little house could fit quite nicely here. A little bungalow with nice vines and potted flowers, maybe. <laughs> with pale tones and a cozy cottage facade. Oh, and green window shades. My, that would be so wonderful. Oh, sorry, I was lost in my thoughts. No, you go ahead. I'll just be fine here. All right. One shoop, two sheep. All right. New request, the coziest cottage. All right. Let's see if we can build that. What do we need? We have everything we need. Can I improve it yet? <laughs> Can impose gives you o overly exact specification of their only house that will take you up on. Okay. All right, back to recording and back to uh, jumping into Spirit Fair.
because in, in case you're wondering, this all does go on YouTube. Okay. What, 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 what don't I need? You need a bucket of fried chicken in front of me. That casualness. <laughs> I try. What, what, dro dro dropping the YouTube mention? Shouted Frieza pulling pro game removed, letting his enemy power up. Oh, absolutely. Okay, let's go talk to Alice. What? You built a house? For me? You shouldn't have, really. But since it's there, I guess it'd be rude of me not to move in. Thank you so very much, sweetheart. Little one? What is this? Oh, a little ceremony. All right, I'll try to do my best. Oh my God, you're adorable. This is really pleasant. Soft as a waffle and warm as pie. <laughs> I feel young again. Thank you so much for having found me, young one. Don't you worry about me now. I'll find my way around. Hug. Oh, I have to kneel the hugger. Dishes make the best dishes. The mood is really good. Oh my god, you. Oh, oh. oh, perfect. Would you look at that, Stella? This little sheep wanted to come with us. I guess it didn't like its new companion very much after all. Well, no worries. We'll take good care of you. But first, all this wool it looks quite uncomfortable, doesn't it? And. Oh no, we're on a boat. It's like that story with this flock of sheep that fell off a boat. Mm. Oh, we can't have that. Go ahead, Stella. Shear the wool right off its back. It's for the best. <laughs> what the? Oh! There we go. Well, aren't you feeling better? And it's much safer, too. And that key, I thought I had lost it. But it was stuck in your thick coat all this time. What a treat. So, you Stella, I know you'll find a good use for all this extra wool. It's one of my favorite materials. I choose exclusively for all my blankets. My husband, of course, always thought they were scratchy. He was such a grump. Anyway, the sheep's wool will grow back very quickly, but only if it is well fed. This one seems to have quite a large appetite. I suggest you diligently feed him. Otherwise, he might get into your garden and destroy your crops. Oh, I imagine building a sheep curl would help keep him in place. You should probably do that as soon as possible. We're in a sheep corral. For the good of the sheep and that of your crops. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh my god, you're a Ooh, planks? Give me. Planks, get your planks! Thank you. Yeah, I know I needed some wool fabric.
I need some aluminum. But this? Nope. There you are. I will be right back. I just need to go use washroom. I have returned and Owen before I forget thank you all for the follows today and you know the raids it is super appreciated it's also you know I have been trying to work my way towards affiliate so all right let's I actually need to go talk to Francis anymore Ooh, oh nebula fiber yes I actually need that because I need nebula threads. But yeah, I'm... Right. I'll plant that. Give it a quick watering. See, is there... Need some of those. Any Aaron? Ooh. Yeah, thank you. Okay. I need Saka and I need Nebula fabric. your first treasure map. Negative 58, negative 50. Can someone type that in chat so I don't keep having to check? Minus 58, minus 52. Thank you so much, Moon Cannon. Okay. Let's just see where that is. Minus 58. Okay, so I might be past the ice barrier, so. Well, let me actually, okay, I need, I need, oh, I need six iron ingots, which I can, do, but I want to grab this nebula fiber since I'm here. See you, Francis. Thank you. Yeah. 
Ne, ne. Oh, hi. Uh... Oh, does she teach me how to? Oh, hello there. Oh, you're tired, aren't you? Of course, so many children are bound to leave you exhausted. Maybe we could play with them a bit, let you rest? Why don't you think, Stella? Yes, wonderful. Oh, we'll have so much fun. I used to play this game with my grandchildren all the time. Just catch them and bring them back to their mommy. Oh, jeez. Nailing it. Should actually you? Oh no, you're good. Meh. <laughs> okay. Okay, we just did that. Okay, we'll we'll just do that. I need some iron just so I can get that icebreaker. So I think, yeah, two two rounds of this, and I'll have enough. There we go. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, I need to do two rounds of this.
This is when I guess co-op would be handy. It's like you could have the other person, you know, you just trade off on that kind of thing. But then again, you know. This game almost feels like uniquely single player only. Like you would only want to play this by yourself because it's so chill and relaxing. Wow, that is like disturbingly perfect timing. It's not quite time to wake up everyone yet, so I'll get in a little bit of fishing. I would really like a sockeye salmon. That would be very, very useful to me. Oh my god, come on. Osakai Quarry discovered. Probably put something. Probably put something in the kitchen quick. Perfect. So, let's go see what's on the quarry. You know what? I'll take it. We'll head down first. Add some slate. Always me makes me think of oh. Hi. My first day on the job. I have no idea what I'm doing. No one is training me. This place is falling apart. That's iron. Nice. I think I'm supposed to train that guy over there. I really don't feel like it. I've been really tired over the past week or so. I can't sleep at night. Let's just hope he gets the hang of the job without my help. <laughs> you dick. Oh. Huh, you must need another upgrade for that. I only have one oval. Okay, I see. I kind of see where everything's going. Oh, uh, have, have some strawberries. Come on. Excellent. Stock up on coal, slate, iron, whatever I can find.
<laughs> Lots of mushrooms. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, field upgrade. That's actually huge. Can I get through here? Yes. All right, you, you got to get it together, Gregory. This is your day. Today is all about digging. Any problems you have, leave at the door. This is a new day. Yes, it is. <sighs> what the hell? Oh. Okay, cool. My manager is really stressed out. He told me to be quiet today. I shouldn't even be talking to you. Hmm. Management is coming today. I better make a good impression. I've been practicing my business face and all. Hmm. Hopefully they notice me in all this darkness. From this mine to the boardroom. Moving on up. God damn. I'm just checking everywhere because it's like, okay, a couple amethysts, it's like, oh, that's actually incredibly helpful. Mm -hmm. When you don't see the sun, you can imagine it's always noon. That's what my boss says at meetings. What's this? I guess yeah. I guess I can't get to the other spot yet because I don't have the upgrade or whatever that I need. But I think for all that, I need the icebreaker, which I have more than enough for now. All right, this was very useful because I also can complete uh, the request. Uh, what's her face gave to me, Granny? Because I got an amethyst. Two amethysts from there. Meh. Actually, yeah, let's feed you. Oh no, you're good. You got plenty of food. I feel like I need to rearrange this place again. Wait. Oh. Uh, food. Nothing with meat. Mushroom salad. Hug. Hugs. Mm -hmm. All right. Alice? Alice. Oh, geez, you need some food. Have some grilled veggies. Hug. There you are. Hi. Some people are getting a bit hungry. Thought about the next meal? Yes. You know, have some tea. Oh, I see. Okay, no stimulants. How about just... Aw. Alright, let's head over to Albert. Oh wait, no, 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 no. What's her name? What's her name? Oi. Snake lady. If I have a gift for you. An amethyst. What a treat. Amethysts are healing stones, you know. Ailments, emotional issues, nightmares, and other affliction can be cured with the power of amethyst. 
They're great to balance chakras as well. Specifically the crown chakra. And with that last gem, my basic medicine cabinet is complete. Since my meditation room is already furnished with a nice little altar, you can come by and admire it anytime. In any case, I am truly grateful for all of your help. You're always, after all, a radiating presence. A beacon of light. Stella, I hadn't planned on it, but I think I have something more important to teach you. But our next class, well, we'll have to leave the boat for it. I've heard of a nice spot in Mount Toriyama. A cliff overlooking the horizon. I think it would make for a nice classroom. I'm ready when you are. Just set sail. Oh, hey. Hey, what's up? Oh. I've been looking at my house. It's a little bare bone. As an amateur handyman, this doesn't work at all. Oh. Maybe we should improve it. Add a few bells and whistles. I don't know what exactly. Oh. Let me have a look. Follow me. Oh. Look at that. You've already started with the improvements. Carry on. Did you know what my do you know what my house needs? A desk. Some tools. Yeah, that's it. I know we don't have a lot of space on this boat. This is kinda of becoming a dream scenario of mine. My bed next to my tool. Be like I'm living in a fantasy. I can work on my own projects. Maybe build something for my daughter, Ashley. Oh. He looks so sad. Yeah, what's the use, right? Not like I'm ever gonna see her again. I should stop daydreaming about it. I'm just trapped here. You know what's not funny? I can't even remember her face. So let's just get that desk and I'll figure out what to make later. Thanks, Uncle Atoll. That was depressing as fuck. How you doing for food? I'll give you some food. Alright, let's go to the Mount Toriyama. That's Furugawa. That. And then we'll go over to Albert. If we can do this again, I will happily take some more nebula fiber. I guess not. I feel like I need to move everyone's houses, like, down to the, like, bottom. Okay, can I... wait. See your cereal go. Oh, I need some bright jelly. Okay. Well, we can do that after. There you are. Okay. And then after this, then we'll go to Albert and get the, uh, the, 
icebreaker. Uh, my brain just died. Lead the way, Granny Snake. We're here. What a nice, quaint place. And the view, well, it can't be beaten, can it? Yes, this will be perfect. I see a little prom promo promontory up that cliff there. Just go ahead, I'll meet you up there. How will I do it? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll manage I'm sure I'll manage to snake my way a bit up. Everything. Okay. I need some more wolf fabric and ten more. Oh. That's incredibly useful. Extra wolf fiber. Oh yeah, and I have the key now. What's this? Cherry seeds. Cool. What's cherries? Let's head up. As I recall. I didn't have the floaty hat. Thank you, thank you. Oh, jeez, ah! I'm okay. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay, I guess I can't go up any higher. I guess that's just for that. I haven't lost my touch, have I? I might be old, but I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. And beating younglings in a climbing race has always been a specialty of mine. But enough of this, let's focus on the matter at hand. Lesson. This lesson, as you may have guessed, will be a little bit special. Go back to the air chute, then go to the left. I will do that after this is complete. Thank you, uh, I love my cat. Psst, psst. To now, we focused on the proper care of plants and crops. Well, now I think it's time to concentrate on the proper care of one's mind. Sunline music word, the tools of the former. Well, for the latter, our tool will be the act of meditation, meditating. And that's specifically why I brought you here. See this boulder? It hasn't been consecrated for nothing. Powerful spiritual energies flow through the area. I know, I know, it might seem a bit strange. A cult, even. But just humor me. First things first, sit down next to me just like this. Alright, your turn. Ah. 
I will come back up to this in just a second. Thank you, by the way. Uh, love my cat. Psst, psst. I might just call you cat, by the way, just because that's a long name. Oh, son of a... One, two. Okay. Let you say. You are correct, and thank you so much. Ooh, veggie pot pie. Thank you so much. It's much appreciated. Meditation, Stella, is an affair of wholeness. Of wholeness and of oneness. A lot of novices believe, wrongfully, that meditating is the pursuit of an empty mind. But the mind is not empty, Stella. It is a beast, savage and untamed. Violent and caring. Loving and destructive. Hateful, curious, scared. A ball of frayed nerves. Much like the dragon, it cannot be controlled. It must be allowed to roam free. My father also lived with this tormented creature. Of a different kind, perhaps. He chose to fight it tried to muscle it down into submission, to mark it under the auspice of violence, and mostly to silence it. He thought that nothingness was the solution, but the dragon is indomitable. The fight left my father a broken man. Let your mind wander, Stella. Gently, like you would a scared kitten. Let it smell the grass. Let it notice the wind flowing through your hair. The heat radiating from the stone behind you. The rhythmic breaking of the waves below. Let your spirit penetrate all things, not to make them yours, but to make yourself theirs. Be one, and be whole, but keep being. Huh? Uh, w welcome in, by the way, cat. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. We. Oh, okay. I <laughs> I was trying to float down in my boat, but okay, I'll take it. Okay, you know what? I did not know that existed. Seems like my lesson had quite the influence. You were up there for hours. I just had to stretch my legs at some point. Oh, what are you saying? A vision? Of course. You're the spirit fair after all. The myth mystical energies of this world are bound to affect you in mysterious ways. I'm sure there are other such areas of power. If you find them, be sure to take the time to meditate. Perhaps more visions will rain down upon your mind. You know, Stella, while you're up there, I tried to do some thinking. 
I wanted to prepare for our next lesson. Still so much to teach, but I couldn't think. My mind was uneasy. Here you see, I too have had a vision. A gift from the universe. It's the dragon, Stella. I felt him creeping slowly towards me. I thought I had some grand purpose to accomplish before he would swallow me whole. But now I realize the dragon hasn't crept much at all. He has kept up with me for quite a while now. And ignoring it won't do me any good. Well, let's go, shall we? Get some rice down. Oops. When I was healed, I didn't want to go back to my old life. To the ways of poison and hatred. Rose had reminded me of my youthful love. Unintentionally, she had unveiled my eyes. I sold everything I owned every dirty penny I had ever earned. I bought a plot of remote land and started anew. I listened to the hidden songs of nature. When you listen, Stella, really listen. The plants tell you all sorts of things. What they like, what they need, who they love. Some called it biodynamic farming. I called it, I call it the listening to the universal chant carved this little nest in the middle of the woods when if when it finally responded when the flowers and the trees and the birds started flourishing stronger than they ever could with the touch of poison on the day of the solstice when the hill was in, it was emerald green well that's when I asked her to marry me mm -hmm. oh sorry uh Plain dishes. Yep. Okay, well, we do need to go to Albert. Oh, wrong thing. Okay, that's quartz. Oh, it's quartz again. Okay, uh... Help. And while I'm here, I'm gonna water that and harvest that. Iron gets. Because I, I need, I think, ten more. So two rounds. I'm mistaken. Yeah. I I can literally just leave that. It's fine. Yes, I'm I'm leaving the bellows unattended for a moment. One, two. Okay. That's just a window sill. Who's calling me? Yeah. Oh, I also got to shear you again.
Perfect. Shear you. Give you some rice. Two, three. got time for another round. Okay. I'll let this go and then I'll go down to the loom and uh, get as much uh, wolf fabric as I can. One, two, three. There we go. Okay. Okay. I have everything I need. Everything I need. Yeah, so I can get travel through ice and grade the blueprints. And then I can do and I can go do the thing for the other guy. Uh, for the guy who wants the four wood woodblock prints. Come here. Come here. it just before nightfall? Yes, we did. Wait one second. I don't have a joke for the loom yet. Might have one soon. It's coming. I can feel it. Looming over me. Oh, I can just go make those oak plank right now. I'll grab that and then I'll make it so the ship can go 20% faster. Okay.
We just need to start getting into the ash stuff pretty soon. Cotton. Oh, I'm an idiot. Like, I don't have any cotton seeds. I was just like, I, I was like, I would have thought cotton would have been third on the thing and then nebula fiber, but no, and then I realized, no, you have to buy the stuff for cotton. I think I'll be good on oak planks for a bit. Alright, that's gonna be a while. Bar? <laughs> well, I just got an expert. So I just got that. And now I need to save up for that. And, uh, yeah. And the rock destroyer. How's it going? Welcome back, Mix. Icebreaker, and now I go faster. I'm a little bit low on cash. Let me just... I need some bright jelly. And hey, we've been going for four hours. We've been doing good. I just have to remember to edit this down tomorrow. Well, when I'm finished. Would you believe it? This is the most amount of followers I've had, like, like follow me like ever period. Like your laptop's being ugly. No, bad, bad laptop. Okay. What was it? 58. Uh, negative 58, negative 52, okay. Negative 58, negative 52. Uh, do you mean str today streaming or like you mean just in general? Okay. Cut fabric. Wait, oh, I'm an idiot. Where I did that? Thank you. 
There we go. Uh, God, when did I, cre I think I've been doing this under a year. It still feels weird when people drop by and talk. It's like, wait, what's going on? People are listening to me fucking babble. I tried a couple gimmicks like with like a voice modulator and all that, but it just did, it didn't work. Because it just... My gimmick is just literally my name. Because they're both things that are true. I work in radio and I l like hunting for achievements. Alright, let's go check this bounty and then we'll go to the... The, uh, what's your, <laughs> it's kind of funny. I work in radio, but I'm not act. uh, uh, yes, I work for a local station around here. Not to give myself away, but I'm. I'm in California. Like I work for a radio station in uh Yeah, it's a terrestrial. I'm not actually like an on air talent. Like I'm not like I'm not like a DJ. I'm the guy making sure the levels are good. I'm oh god. Oh god, my brain just died. It's well it is like five in the morning it's sound engineer that's what i went to fucking school for i'm an idiot your voice sounds very crisp and clear for it oh no th this is all th yeah no like on, on the station you'll never hear me i'm i'm not on air talent but i know how to make on air talent sound very crisp and clear so their mics don't pop like but i'll put it simply I am not buying station level equipment for myself. That is in the thousands to tens of thousands dollar range. The mixer I use at work is worth more than me. But I know enough to like do my research and get some stuff that's really good for home audio. I can't do industry standard because it is not feasible. You know what I mean? Like for for the money, I have a uh, an AT twenty twenty and a Go XLR Mini. I don't want to be an on air talent. That's the thing. I didn't go to school for, like that. I went to school to learn how to be a, to, you know, sound engineer. Might have noticed that there's large empty nook in my house. You know what? You should add a wardrobe. Yes. Fancy dresser for your clothes. You don't seem to have anywhere to store your own outfits. This would be a perfect opportunity. What do you think? Oh yeah. Oh, I just need some linen fabric. I can do that. Oh, jeez. Talk to you in a second. Ooh. Ooh, that's massive. I'm getting cold all of a sudden. I think I might just be growing a bit tired. Maybe I'm not rested enough yet? I'll just take a little me time and we can continue our lesson. I'm excited about the next steps. You're making some fantastic progress, honeybee. Don't give up. Aw, thanks. Okay, how much? Found. 
Okay, I need a lot of bright jelly. Where? Okay. I only see two, but I need... Okay, I see three. Am I here? I actually need to go to Furogawa first. Is it? Where is it? Sorry, I'll be right back. Drinking a Red Bull and a bunch of stuff uh, makes you need to go to the washroom. Be right back. All right, I'm back. Actually, I, I got a random question for y'all. We were talking about anime and what made us anime fans earlier. What? Do y'all play any mobile games? I'm just curious. Like, is there anything you just chill out and play on your phone? Well, there, that one needs water. I'm just gonna hit up all three of these. What do you play? Because I'll, I'll just tell you. I play a Marvel Puzzle Quest. Oh, uh, okay. You don't like stimulants. Uh, salad? Hug. Because for me, like, I like a good match three. But I don't want to play Bejeweled. Like, I like it when there's like another little layer, which there is with uh, powers in uh, uh, Puzzle Quest. Okay, I need a bunch of... Oh, well for me it's a lot of fun because I'm, I'm a Marvel nerd, but it also gives me a little bit of like, oh. Because, like, they just introduced, like, Shang-Chi as a playable character. And, you know... <laughs> I need to catch up on What If. Did you, uh... Oh, did you like, uh... Okay, out of the, uh... Marvel shows that have come out so far... Do you have a favorite? Like uh, the live action series on Disney Plus. Uh, Crash Fever Towers, every other word of mad match is going now. <laughs> yeah, like. 
for me, I don't know why, like, Candy Crush never appealed to me. I played AFK Arena for a while, but I, I, I'll be honest, I just fell off of that. You got no Disney Plus? Oof. Honestly, if... Honestly, for I'll be honest, for Loki alone, it's worth it. Like, because I'm also kind of a minor comic nerd, so, like, all the references and all that, I'm just like, oh, shit. Like, what? Well, like, and it's just how they're gonna... I was into it for a little bit. But it just... Yeah, it's fun. Like, I, I... Oh, God, I used to play, like, Brave Frontier. I did play Raid Shadow Legends. All right, we're almost there. I gotta go talk to that guy's sister. I think we'll get it before... Yeah, oh yeah, we'll get there before. But my biggest thing with uh, AFK, it just it got too grindy. Yeah, Brave Frontier. How's that for pulling you back? I'm pretty sure I still have my account. I had like a max level golem. Oh God. Uh, I don't like mobile on mobile. That's my thing. Like certain games, like uh, auto, like I'll put it this way. Like when reaction times are like the, like you need, like, When you need to have like split second reactions, especially like I don't have the greatest phone. I'm still on an S7. Let me put it that way. But like, th like auto chess and all that sort of thing. Great, I like, those are great. Auto chess, whatever the league, team fight tactics. Those are great because you know, it requires, it relies more on your thinking and on your thought process than, you know, ah, mother. That's why I've never understood like Call of Duty Mobile or like PUBG Mobile. Like those seem like those would just be exercises in frustration. Like my my biggest thing is if you're if you have a good enough phone I could see the appeal but like I should get back to it okay I gotta find this guy's sister hello to you too hi are you what do you play uh oh dear lost at sea he always does this he always has an excuse last year was a new girlfriend the year before it was the was a bad economy. I'm gonna be sure you're not some strange person you paid to invent a story. Might be relaxing in the sun somewhere. You're giving this if you're telling the truth. But it snaps him out of it. Yeah. But yeah. All right, I'll clean part part off too. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. I just yes, there is a pet the cat button. But like, honestly, if I had more of a mind for it, I'm I, I would want to play like Team Fight Tactics, 
I love the strategy aspect of that. But my biggest thing is, I... You didn't see that? You just have... <laughs> Alright, I'll give it a couple more times just to make sure you can see it. Now, we need bright jelly. Alright, I'll sleep until morning. And Mix is now a literal puddle. No, just like... There's certain games I'll play like... Oh no, Moon! Welcome back! Okay, I'm gonna hit you up. Well, well, welcome back. I'm gonna go talk to uh, Francis quick. <laughs> Are you working on something like? extremely time like uh time sensitive or do you are you just like blur i'm tired and plunk hey francis all right what you got Son. It's black reliquary stuff. Ah, okay. So yeah, you're understandable, understandable. Okay. All right. Let's uh, go take care of the nebula pill bugs. Then we'll take. Uh, well, yeah, if, if you gotta stay up for... Makes sense. Hey, Uncle! Hey, Uncle Lass! Uh... Do you have me on Discord? I believe you do, because I believe I'm part... I'm in the Black Reliquary League. Reliquary Discord. If you want to shoot me a DM on Discord, absolutely. Uh, uh, public. Oh. Uh, no. Five seconds, five seconds. Uh, I'm just booting up Discord. Oh. oh, what the hell? Oh, I thought my Discord was showing on, on screen. I was like, that should not be happening. Uh, which uh, it says official BR public beta and my name on there. Yeah, radio achievements. Yeah, of course I'm interested. There we go. Okay. Okay, what do we got? What do we... Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, that looks awesome. 
All right, I'm not going to spoil her show because, you know, new obstacle for the next map. Oh, that looks fucking tight. You can show. Uh, I, I just don't want to do display capture because that also shows my Discord. It's not that I've got like anything bad in my DMs. It's more the, you know. Come here. You need the nebula fibers. Come here. I don't know, this is kind of cute. Yeah. So, so, oh, look, Moon, you got to pay me first. I don't give that away for free. Jeez, come on. know people who do that for money. Yeah. Because it depends on how you look at it. If you're good. If... Yeah. It It's a thing. It's a thing mi mix. Uh, he, they were showing me, uh, some, uh, yeah, people sexing for money. And I was, uh, I was just saying it's actually a shockingly lucrative business. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he just, Moon just sent me a DM. Mm-hmm with uh, something he was working on. Let's give you some tea. Mm -hmm. I had a friend who ERP. No. Oh, oh please, uh, yeah, go ahead. If you got it on a Dropbox or, you know, whatever you're comfortable doing, man, it is your art. Just make sure your name is on there in some way. Like uh, an, an artist tag. But yeah, for, I don't believe I have links banned, so yeah, go for it. Travel, and where is Okay, so I gotta go here. What do you got? Uh, yeah, I currently do not have Nightbot or any bots set up. But yeah, if you've got it on Imager or something, yeah, go nuts. Yeah. Yeah, for those wondering, that is what Moon is working on. That's why they fell asleep at their desk. And in case, and I need a bunch of bright jelly, so. Okay. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to go here. Confirmed. But yeah, it does look dope. Now, when you say obstacle, are you talking an enemy, or is it l being treated like, uh... Oh, God. Brain died. Like fallen stones or shipwreck. Oh, yeah, shovel... Okay, it's... That's for a shovel pile? That is really... That is great art, though. Yeah, yeah. Where 
Where's Summer? Have you seen Summer today? I think she didn't get up this morning. I thought she's usually up at first light. Something seems wrong with her house. Maybe Albert the Shipwright could help us? Okay, I'm just gonna... Ooh, that, that one was special. Let me grab that. Thank you. Seems good. Of course. Nothing but the... Yeah, y'all are knocking it out of the park. Uh, I don't know if you posted somewhere. Uh, how many pl how many areas do you plan to have originally? I mean, uh, by like the end of the mod cycle. I will say the, the Genisuary, whatever the first boss is... They kicked the shit out of me. They just fucking dumped on my head. Aw. Well, just because I'm just an archive, to have no idea what's going on. They give me money and instruction. <laughs> you know what? That's fair. It okay. As they should. <laughs> okay. I have one brain cell left of breathing and moving my hand. Did you go to school for art? I, I don't know because... Aside from using your mods, me and you have never spoken. <laughs> this okay yeah. or are you still in college and I'm misinterpreted what you said I don't know ages anymore people are so young few more bright jelly. I'll take the free glims though. <laughs> I went to college for 3D animation. College of... Went to be the best tech school around in my province. Oof. Ah, uh, dang. Okay, I can... There we go. Honestly, I wish I just kept doing finding a big job I got. That's f Yeah, but ask. Mm. This sounds weird, but did you at least have fun in college? Let's say college is trade stuff. That's fair. Yeah. And 
Oh, province. Uh, oh, you're a Canadian boy? Hmm. Huh. We have more in common than you think. Put in five, I get ten. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to make a couple more ingots. And then I need to go get some more bright jelly. I did not have to serve them. Going to be shallow people. Teachers were also paired in something on there. It's meant by fault. That already gone through and canceled my class. Wow! I believe the term is you got fucked. I am sorry to hear that. That sounds like some Art Institute bullshit. Hey. Okay. It's Nate. It's like the tech school of... Okay, that makes sense. Well, where I originally lived, we're technically, uh, I guess you could say, provincial neighbors. I, I grew up in Vancouver. I've been down in California for 10 years. Uh, 10? I think we're going on 11 now. But they got new men. They got in. They shat the bed. <laughs> Fell off the mattress and smeared all the crap. Yeah, uh... Oh, God. I went to school for, uh, yeah, sound engineering, uh, out in Van, uh, in the Vancouver, and then I, <laughs> I got lucky. Literally, like, a year after I get out of school, I see a job offer for a place in California, like, doing what I do. I applied. They helped me get down there, get situated, and I've been with the company for 10 plus years. Because, you know, once you're in an terrestrial radio, you don't fuck up. You're good. Like, that shit is stable. It's like, and I'm well aware, uh, which company? Uh, this isn't a personal shop, but stuff like that, like, I'll just, I like to keep close to the vest. Nothing personal. Oh, yeah, no, I understand. All right, we'll do this and then we'll go down and uh, because we need to get the field upgraded. Got down here, and just, I've been here ever since. My field is ridiculously competitive. Well, yeah. Ow, I just punched my desk in case you were wondering what that was. Wait. 
Smita Albert. Okay, we'll... Nah, we'll just go to Albert. Didn't even hear a break. I'm not trying to break it. I should probably feed you. Oh no, you're good. I just done, did unlock a couple things. Build a, ch a crusher. I need ooh pulsar, ash, and zinc. I need ash, ash. I need. I haven't gotten to the ash stuff yet, or the aluminum. To be completely honest, I thought your streamer one percent cuts. I'm a streamer, not Shaggy. Ooh. I actually want an orchard. I've already got a sheep corral. Okay, I need six bright jelly for that one. But I need to go talk to Albert first. What do you love about fast food in Canada? Oh, I don't, if I don't know that face. About that house, that green and brown one, right? Some sort of problem with it, don't you? Yeah, I could see it from a mile away. Listen, I know my job. Me and the boys, we're real professional. It's not often that we criticize another worker's craftsmanship. But that house, A&W 24-7 dinner food, 49 burger. Yeah. That'd be the worst job I've ever seen. <laughs> Stick to this list and don't just trust any old amateur. Always go to a professional. Just tell me what complaints the passenger has. Is she sleeping? Oh, of course. Bald head of yours is very sensitive to temperature changes. Imagine how cold she must be. Not to mention her dry and scaly skin. No, no, no. She needs a temperature and a humidity control system. Luckily, that place was so shoddily designed as example cracks for wiring and electronics. Wow! Just fucking... Addition it. So yeah, there you go. Some plans and schematics for nice. All in one HVAC system. Pro quality. Call it a courtesy after all. How can you repay your debt if your boat falls to pieces? <laughs> Dickhead. Okay, just gotta get an HVAC system in there. I can't you can't hug the shark. Hey, Francis is here. Be there in a minute. Hey, what's up, Francis? Oh. Oh. I'm immensely ch- Okay, just keep doing that if I needed money. You can hug him once. Ooh, 
Ooh, I just need a piece of glass. Not right now. Sorry. Okay. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, then I gotta go shear the sheep. There we go, 10. I, I love how the sheep look, he's like, shit. Summer! Still fuzzy. Oh, man, so my partner basically works during day well. Do commission the end. basically rough work. I'm waiting for my I'm coming. My morning. Again, our playthrough of Silent Hill 2. Oh boy! Welcome to the best atmosphere on the PS1. And PS2, and PS3, and fuck. Best atmosphere in a game in decades. I think I might have overslept a bit. PS2. I, I, could, I could have sworn Silent Hill 2 was on the PS1, but I might be an idiot. How long have I been sleeping? What? That much? Hibernating, you say? Well, I guess it was bound to happen. I might have been ignoring what my body was trying to tell me. A bad habit of mine. Thank you, Stella, for taking such good care of me. Hey, that's what I do. Play it through the whole series. It's been forever. Play with it. I'm too scared to close back seating as I play it. Nice. That 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 that's fucking adorable. I need aluminum and linen. See, I, I'm a cow. I'm a coward when it comes to those games, but I love speed runs of horror games. That 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 is kind of how I get over my thing of that. I love speed runs of them. We'll do this, we'll do an improvement, and then we'll head uh, down to uh, minus 150, 150. Okay. Right. Do I have enough? Oh, and linen fabric. walk through I will read what you type just after I finish this I saw something about straight jackets then 
skitter out under a car. I remember that and gave that car a wide berth. It's like, that was your nope moment. Okay, we're going to get the bright jelly to improve that. Wondrous. You're spoiling me, Stella. What an incredible piece of furniture. It livens the room so much. Yes, much cozier now. And filled the room with clothes and accessories, too. I don't know how happy that makes me. Well, what are you waiting for? Jump out of those dirty old clothes. Pick something with some jazz to it. In a moment. Mind you, I can't get that. What the hell? Gotcha. Got him. Okay, come on. There we go. Really bad Silent Hill. I just really wanted to replay the series. There's a couple game series I've never played and that is one of them. But I love like speed runs of that game are amazing. I legit do enjoy them. I can even recommend a Silent Hill speedrunner, specifically. Their name is Punchy. They are very, very good at the games. Doing a hold up very good compared to the others. Controls are good. Yeah, tank controls are can be in a simple word a pain in the ass. Uh, 
Okay. Because I don't mind them, but I think it's more because in Resident Evil you had a lot more defensive capability than you know a, a wet noodle. Wakey, wakey. All right, let's get the water and done. We got a lot of sand and shoot. Yeah. Definitely. Well, that certainly is a modern choice. Very youthful. What about something more, uh, classic? I think there was a nice periwinkle loaf in the bottom drawer. Right on. Oh my god, that's adorable! Sweetie, isn't that so much better? Hey, you look so adorable, I could just eat you up. There's plenty more for you to try on. Don't be shy. Come on over anytime. I always love doing these little fashion shows with my granddaughter. Oh, what is it? You found an envelope on the bottom of the drawer? How peculiar. Well, don't make me wait. Open it. What is it you say? Pictures and letters? Oh, those are mine. How did they ever end up there? What a mystery. Look, this is my husband's handwriting. Oh, it's messy, all right. He was never a delicate man. But quite handy and so very loving. Oh, and would, would you look at that? My backyard. See all these trees? Sweet Eugene planted a tree for every one of our children. Go fly it. Yeah, it's fair. Then for our grandchildren, we grew apples, cherries, pears. I remember my granddaughter playing in her mother's apple tree. Such sweet memories. Oh, look at me rambling again. Go ahead, sweetheart. I won't hold you back any longer. That was adorable. Again. Stella, I I wanted the dream, Stella. They're back. So much stronger than I could ever th than I ever thought they could be. These visions. I see them now even as I am awake. The reefs had turned into wafts of eth ethyl scented smoke. The rotten fruit formed in the eye of the dragon. Virtuous and sickly. And a coil of arduous rust. Another dragon has woken. He scares me. But suffering cannot be allowed. You would agree, I'm certain. Let's go help it, shall we? Ah! Hi! Mm -hmm. As I told you, Masha and I never really got along. She just tried and true blabber. And no, not the funny kind. Mm -hmm. And yes, much worse than... I never took pleasure in destroying other people's lives. 
on the contrary. Mm -hmm. All right. I should be able to pull off a little bit of acting here. Let's see if I can fake it. Mm -hmm. Sure. Perfect. Masha! Good to see you again, old hag. You've retreated much further than I thought. Mm -hmm. How are you doing these days? Well, well. If it isn't Astrid. You've never been this nice to me before. Did Olga send you? Should I assume you'd need a favor? If it's a scarf, sorry, honey, but I've just given the last one I needed to a lovely chap up in the mountains. But I still have some winter socks if you're interested. Mm -hmm. That's nice of you, but that won't be necessary. No, no thank you. Stella here welcomed me on a, her boat and made a wonderful home house for me while we were cruising the oceans. Mm -hmm. All of my needs are met thanks to this wonderful young lady. Actually, it's information I'm after. Darling, have you heard anything about Giovanni? Mm -hmm. I know it's silly, but I'm still looking for my lazy husband. Olga sent in a letter you had a lead on where to find him. Oh, I did actually. But Astrid, you know I'm not in the business of gossiping. Olga maybe, and I won't even talk about her arena. But me? Oh my, never. Remember when I inadvertently mentioned to Sir Brogwood? How his wife had met with his cousin in the lower garden? Or when Miss Fredericks confided in me the secret of her foreign lover? You don't? Exactly. That's because I've never told no one. Mm -hmm. Oh, Masha, darling, that's true. But what do you make of Sir Langdon spat with his wife? All because someone blabbed about his mistress to Mrs. Langdon's maid. Mm -hmm. Oh, what about the time when little Bobby accidentally discovered who had killed his pet bird, Zachariah. Oh, oh. What do you think of the ruckus caused by the discreet revelation of Mrs. Gardner's secret stash of fine liquor? Mm -hmm. And I could go on and on and on, honey. I... But... That was different! Mm -hmm. Where is he, Masha? Oh, well, okay. He's in Loneberg. He hooked up with someone. I don't know the details. But do the animals own animals? Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. Well, technically, this is not what they look like in life. This is their spirit anthropomorphic form. Your kindness is as, as, as gigantic as your forehead. Mm -hmm. You did the right thing, and I won't forget it. This is like how people perceive themselves in their, you know, their spirit forms. Who knows, you might even receive a crate of, or two of freshly threaded wool in a couple weeks. Stella here might need your services. Mm -hmm. I'll leave you to it. See you soon, Masha. Damn, I hate her stupid face. I don't think them being dead makes it less weird for them to own other animals as pets. Mm -hmm. I'm out of here. Well, no, it's just like... Astrid was not a lion in real life. You know what I mean? You took your sweet time, right? Are you done? Yes. All right, I'll see you later then. Bye, Masha. No food. She has never been nice, running her mouth like that. She's the mean one of the bunch, but enough about her. Thanks for bringing me here, Munchkin. So Giovanni is in Loneberg. Well, usually hates winter. Let's go find him, Munchkin.
I haven't given much thought for now, but so this orchard, it also, it looks almost exactly like the one my husband built. She's a lynx and not a lion. I don't want to think about what I envision myself as self-deprecating. Have you seen all these fine details? Yes, he was quite the woodworker. At least until his hands gave up on him. We planted our first apple tree along with the birth of our first daughter. You should plant a tree for yourself. Of course, it'll take some time before it can bear fruit. Once grown, it makes you feel so proud that it accompanies your whole life. Oh, listen to me rambling again. Get out of your things now. been going for five hours so unfortunately i am gonna call it an end of the stream for now i may uh, be back in a little bit with some yakuza but that that'll be a few hours but yeah i've been going for a while thank you all for being here thank you for the raids thank you for the follow that actually all means a lot thank you all so much let's see if i can find someone to host Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? Hope you're all doing well. We're doing another late night spirit fairer stream. And I'm looking forward to helping out more spirits and just doing more of that kind of thing. But, you know, w let's not beat around the bush. Let's not uh, waste our time. Let's hop right into spirit fairer. Is it going to? Are we going to cry? Who knows? Okay, we've just got the icebreaker. <coughs> oh, my apologies. Good thing I have angry water. And I look adorable. Let me just water my plants quick. Let me know how the audio levels are. Because I do have monitoring in my ears, but I also have independent volume for my headphones. So what may be like, you know, good for me might just blow out your eardrums. Also, oh, welcome in, Mixian. Hope you're doing well. Oh, oh, you're... I'm sorry. Here you go. I think I've finally... Yeah. Sounds good to you. Hey, hey, Poot. How you doing? Okay, I don't need to water those. Sounds all right. Okay, just let me know if, like, I need to go louder. Well, like, I can't really go louder, but, like, if the game needs to go quieter, you know, that kind of thing. Okay, uh, I can't. I need a desk. I need to go to Loneberg. Oh. Oh yeah, I'm already growing a tree in the orchard. That's Kalkstein. Been good. Been about to go to sleep and saw you on. Yeah, I've been doing uh, some late later night streams. <coughs> I was just in the mood for it. Okay. Let's get a look. Mate with the oh aluminum. I could actually use that. Like that's lone bird. Where's the aluminum dragon? Nothing else, I'm gonna head here. Hopefully, like. All right, well, thanks for drawing by, Poot. I appreciate it. I'm 
let me just uh, <clears throat> drop some water on these. Oh, oh my god, you're starving. Have some fruit. Come here. Hug the snake lady. Oh, hey. There we go. Oh. Okay, you're good. good. Right, we're still going, so I'm actually gonna make some wool. I would like to run the aluminum dragon because that is something I actually sincerely need. We're just getting some crates first. should be some crates and then I'll check the map see if the ah cold eye cold cold that is aluminum Thank you so much. <clears throat> and that is... Those are two things I actually need, holy shite. You in a great mood? Okay. Too dark to nap. Okay. I've improved, okay, I've improved the field. Don't have that blueprint. Looms upgraded, foundries upgraded. Yeah. I need some cotton seeds. That's done. Okay, I need five aluminum to top her off. I need ash and zinc, cotton, and a lot of other things for that one. Yeah, I need ash, the bottled ectoplasm. I just need a lot of aluminum. All right, I'm gonna go sleep. And then we're gonna <clears throat> see if we can find that aluminum dragon. Oh, and then I gotta go water the orchard. Oh, geez, I need to water everything. There it is. Perfect. I literally just saw the tail end of it. Lol. Tail. Okay. Let me just get all my water in. 
But yeah, no, getting some more aluminum would be really helpful. Well, because... Then I can do like... I think I need... Do I need marble? Tree's almost ready. And then that'll be for Alice's thing. Who is Alice is absolutely adorable. Oh, I forgot to wake everyone up. Wakey wakey, sausage and bakey. Summer. Oh, this. Something smells different, don't you think? Oh, as I thought. Just, just help it, Stella. Okay. comes up rude All the aluminum ore, please. Stubborn boy. There we go. <laughs> hey. It looks relieved, doesn't it? I wonder what it means. If we're ever to cross this dragon's path again, I think we should help it. However I might feel about it. For now, though, I need some time to collect my thoughts. Thank you, Stella, for everything. Stella? The dragon. I thought it was getting tamer. It seemed like we finally learned to coexist. To manage, at least. But... It's really getting stronger, isn't it? Well, you know what it means as well as I do. It's time for me to go. Please, when you can, bring me to the Everdoor. I'll be fine. Aw, oh, okay. I'm... I'm sad now. I will take you there in a minute.
Let me just. Go get some celery. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. Uh, have a cup of tea. Okay. Oh, yeah. Before we head straight to the upper door. I want to head over to the Kalkstein Mines. Okay. Oh, jeez. And... Yeah. Perfect. I think that's good enough. <clears throat> I'll do a couple of rounds of that. There we go. Okay, we'll go in there in just a minute. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry, I was cleaning. Drain got clogged and whatnot. Ah. Well, Summer just asked to be released to the Everdoor. So it's it's about to be sad times in at Radio High. I just wanna, I, yeah. Granny Snake is going to the Everdoor. I just wanted to hit up the Kalkstein mines before. Yep. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's about to be tears time. But I, I actually wanna... What? Oh. But I, w I just wanna check out this and then I'll head over to the other door. Oh, wait one second there. You can't be here. This man has been abandoned for 40 years. You can't just waltz in there. You don't have the proper credentials. But I love the attitude. I do see some potential in you as a future security recruit. You just need some training. I went to school for this job, you know. I suppose if you went on and got some said training, I could deputize you. That would work, actually. A break once in a while does sound nice. Listen, go out there and train for this job. Double jump, glide, zip line around. Need to be able to do all that before I make you part of this t of the team. See you around, future recruit. 
Oh. Oh, zipline must be the next, because I've got glide. Zipline must be the next thing. Oh, hang on. Uh, Uncle Little wants to talk to me. What's up, punk? Uh, before we do that, I'm actually going to see if I could build, like... I need marble for that. Brusher. Oh, I... Wolf fabric. Okay. I'm not quite to that level yet. Hey, what's up? Hey. Not feeling so hot right now. Got a lot on my mind. I keep thinking about my friend Zazie. Did you ever meet her? We used to organize rallies when we were younger. This picture of her and me is the only picture I have in my wallet. I've had it for over 40 years. Damn. Your Aunt Viv would murder me if she knew I didn't have at least one picture of our kids. And she adored Zaz. Everyone did. Maybe we should hang it in my house. It won't get rid of the fold, but at least I won't get water all over it. Okay. head over there. Don't know if we'll make it today. I'm gonna miss you, Summer. Snake Granny. Whatever name Chad has given you. <laughs> we'll water this and then I will talk to you. Incredible. This tree, Stella, it grew so quickly. I'm sure the love you gave it helped it tremendously. The laws of this world would allow it. Well, I'm glad the tree is fully grown now. I know you'll be able to build some great memories here. Stella, I've been doing some thinking. All my life I've had to take care of others. Cooking, cleaning, taking care of the children. They're a blessing, really, but I've never had any time for... Excitement. Adventure. I thought of it's not too much of a hassle, of course. Since we're traveling all over, all the time. Well, maybe you come on a little trip with me. Just you and me. It'll be fun, I promise. How about that little hamlet? Nordweiler, was it? From what I've heard, it sounds just like my Swedish romance novels. Oh, how I can devour these. What, you're also a fan? I knew you were a woman of culture. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Anyway, if we're ever around these parts, I think we could have loads of fun. Okay. I'll give you some food. Oh, oh, I thought you could plant three. I was wrong. Got aluminum. Oh, geez, I think those coffee beans are ready to come up. Do this and then I'll sleep the night.
I just need to start getting to ash planks. I can hear Uncle, well, Uncle Little fucking snoring away. Uh, my day has started about an hour ago. So it's been great so far. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I generally work graveyards, though. You call me? Oh, wait, you're probably hungry. Hug the tiny one. Yeah. I'll give Actually, I'll give you a nice salad. Come here. At least you're leaving with, you know, with a super big smile on your face. Okay, oh, there's... Don't say that? Well, no, we're... I, I know, that, that, that actually sounded kind of dark, didn't it? Are you ready to go? No. Alright. It sounded bittersweet. Well, it is. No, it's just angry water. I really thought I could keep up with it this time. The dragon. I was certain it was calming down. I could feel it purring, the warmth of it in my chest. I guess I just did it all over again. Just like my father, the dragon is a beast. Indomitable, if I recall my own words correctly. Whether you choose to care for it or to beat it down. Oh, what would Rose think of me? Would she be proud? Would she be ashamed? I can't help but wonder but what I can't help but wonder what she would have done in my stead. But I know. I know what she would have told me. She would have looked me straight in the eye. Her gaze would have pierced through the veil of my appearance. She wouldn't have said a word. 
She knew from the beginning. She knew the dragon would take me away. She knew I would have tried to love it and not hate it. Could she have judged me for my failure? I couldn't love it, Stella. I just couldn't. As much as I hate it, it is a part of me now. It will be forever. If I want to leave gracefully, I must accept it for what it is now. I was looking forward to so many more lessons with you. You've been such a gifted student, Stella. I am so proud of you. So proud of your heart. So proud of your blossoming soul. I'm sorry to leave you. You'll have to learn by yourself. I have no doubt that you'll pull through. The only lesson I have left is to show you what we're made of. Of a fair ephemeral starlight. We're but a few particles of thought on the vast stream of consciousness. This is the last thing I can teach you, Stella. That all things change. That all things end. I'm so proud of you, Stella. And I know Rose would be too. Thank you for everything. Hmm. Goodbye, Summer. She joins one as a constellation. No. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, and, uh, Angry water is just basically flavored carbonated water. I've been trying to drink less pop, and my uh, roommate called it angry water, and it just kind of stuck. game really said I will eat your heart yeah you're not wrong it, it does have a choo-choo all aboard the fields train pretty hard all right let's actually Minus 150, 150. Okay. Okay. 
Let's go. <laughs> Crying said hi at my doorstep. Eh. Apparently, it's okay to have a cry once in a while. I wouldn't know. Ah, no. Oh, hey, oysters. Okay, well, we're going. Upgrades. I need fire glow. I have aluminum. That's just for a bigger one. I need silica powder for that. I need the crusher. Okay, yeah, it seems like the crusher is my next big, like, uh, block. That cat is really fit, yeah. Yeah. I need, like, eight marble. Oh, I could actually want that. Sorry, I just wanted to hit a few things on the way. We're just zipping along. Rolling, what is that old song? Rolling around at the speed of sound? As long as I leave like at least one of my inventory, I can give it to Masha or Olga. We just vibing and crying? Eh. Thank you. I always try and check the crates. That's, it, you know, they're just useful. Oh. Did you know I told loves pork chops? Yes, yes I did. Speaking of, oh, you're hungry, so have some pork chops. Oh. These are pork, those are pork chops. Stella, oh. this is amazing. Amazingly good. A favorite dish. Um. Come here. Eggs. Thanks, Uncle Les. Oh, is this the one for nebula fiber? My apples have spreaded. I could go for some ash. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Okay, I guess she's picking, so I can't. I was like, did I miss something? Now we're good. <clears throat> Plant B. 
these. And let us see what they make. Oh jeez. Disaster. I just realized I haven't talked to her in a while. Oh, ice. I was so confused. I was like, wait, what? There's actually one thing I do want to check. Wait, where did I put the kitchen? Oh. There it is. Flower. Bitch. And what did I need for that? Windmill again? Marble. I can get marble pretty quick. We're almost, uh... <clears throat> Sorry. My hands were on my controller. I could not hit my, uh, mute button. Oops. Oh, I gotta shear you. Assuredly. Almost there. Okay, I'm sad now. I just came up here, it's like, oh yeah. After this, we'll go back to Masha. Add the marble to her spine. Susan's Museum, okay. What's <laughs> up? Oh, great. Just fantastic. The spirit fair is here, on this god's forsaken rock, in the middle of the ocean. She came all the way over here. She saw the cold, steep surface of the cliffside below with its broken ladder. She saw all that and thought, Yes, how inviting, surely I am welcomed here. Well, you found me, no use running from it anymore. Let me run the old tape for you. <clears throat> Spirit Fair. 
whose name I don't know, nor care to know. I am the Collector, otherwise known as Susan. The gods and all their materialistic arrogance have played a cruel trick on me. You see, I am not the Collector, not by choice, but by duty. Through your ceaseless plunder of this world's very finite wonders, you will know. Don't come to stockpile a collection of junk to rival the greatest dark garbage dumps of history. My duty is to reward this unconscionable behavior with, well, more junk. What irony, is it not? My predecessors used to ask for the accumulated bum bundles as payment to do what who knows what with. But the job, job description says nothing about that and I certainly have no interest in your filth. When the time comes, show me what monstrous assortments you managed to put together. Grab your meaningless reward and leave quickly and pick up after yourself. Oh, cool. <laughs> well, let's see what you have got now. Looks like some kind of... Why... Why in the name of everything is that is holy and beautiful do you carry this horrible thing around? It is not only offensive to my eyes, it hurts the very essence of my soul. But wait. I recognize this. Oh. Oh no. I should have known from the very beginning. It's that man, isn't it, who sent you? That shallow, materialistic, superficial fraud of an intellectual. He sent you here, didn't he? What a crooked, treacherous weasel. He's mad about losing his precious little wood prison, isn't he? Well, now he's never going to see it again, I can guarantee it. Perhaps he can learn a thing or two about aestheticism. As for this preposterously silly collection, your reward is... Let's see. No. This can't be. No, the fates can't be so cruel. Well, alright. Just take it. Take the bloody wood print. Go back to the blabbering fool. Just... Just take anything you want and get out of my sight. Thanks. I'm not done. How exciting. You've started collecting a new type of junk. This time, it's fish. They smell bad and they're all terribly ugly, yet you can't help but try to catch them all, can you? Fortunately for me, you probably won't be able to complete this collection. They're slippery little bastards. I'm not done with you. Broken shiny rocks. What a joy. Well, you've got a long day ahead of you. Listen, don't let me keep you spirit fair. You have two jobs now. Finding gems and spirits. By the way, we even came up with a ridiculously sounding name such as Spirit Fair. Sounds terrible and doesn't roll off the tongue like my name. Susan. Susan. Susan the Collector. I ain't finished with you. Oh wow. Halfway there, find your bright rocks. You must really love the way they look. You are amused by such mortal things. It figures. Well, I'm not keeping you. Go. Oh, how wonderful. You've pillaged almost all the precious gems around. How lucky this world is. Oh, great destroyer, show us your ways. Oh, great. Well, you've clearly not even listening. Take this and leave. Alright, let's go. Oops, wrong thing. Oh, first things 
first. So we're gonna go here. Actually, we'll, we'll just go here first. Because I need to dunk the marble there. You're, you're a meanie face, Susan. Stop there because I want to grab the stuff she uh, Masha has on her back, and then I want to put uh, I think some aluminum, some uh, um, some marble, and then I'll probably do like a full round of marble when it's all done. And yes, the cat does meow to the guitar strumming. Mm. Don't forget. I'm working on it, Uncle Little. Are you referring to Astrid or Susan? Oh, uh, Daffodil? I believe they, it is a she. Oh, oh, Astrid, uh, Astrid, uh, identifies as female. Marble. And a couple of aluminum ores. Thank you. Hey. This looks on our orb. I'm good. Yeah. Well, Daffodil's a cat. They don't want to get wet. Bye, Masha. I just love the... Nope, 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 nope. Okay, we're here. 
So let's uh, set up our journey because we actually need to go to Lomberg. Because they have uh, cotton seeds. Which is something I need for like a bunch of improvements. And then we'll head down and uh, talk to the other dude. Okay, well, let's just edit some of this. I'm just putting this here for a second. Actually, I know what I'll do. Anything that requires like manufacturing, I'll like put on the second floor. Ooh, can I put it like right here? Yes. Put a tool like right here. I'm gonna put Alice on the bottom. Actually. like right there and the sheep corral can I oh yes I almost need a bigger boat yeah Resident Evil inventory time oh let's harvest these But I think that's also part of the game. It's like... Ooh. Hey, excellent apples. sleep then we're heading to Loneberg and then we got to head back to uh... Uh, I think it's Furugawa they're just gonna be poached fruit Okay. Oh yeah, no, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, 
Uh, the Fra Francis wants apple pie and like butterscotch and shit. Uh, Francis is the wandering merchant who will buy basically anything. He looks like a little onion person. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Morning. Have an apple. Ugh. No problem. I'm coming, I'm coming. We're here. Let's take a look. I'm gonna buy some cotton seeds though, definitely. Stella, mm -hmm. he's been here. I can feel it. I won't beg, mm -hmm. but if you could, oh, come on, you know what to do. I'm shopping for some ingredients. Maybe I'll cook something for you later. Aw. All right, what do you got? Okay, cabbage and cotton. Uh, her husband, Giovanni. Go for 10 of those. Oh my, aren't you the cutie pie, Bambina? I'll call you Peanut, mm -hmm. like a cute little peanut pie. What, you're looking for someone named Giovanni? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that, Bambina, doesn't surprise me one bit. I mean, who isn't looking for me? I'm Giovanni. Mm -hmm. Leone Formidabli. Formidabli. Sorry to break it to you, though, but you're a bit young for me. What? Mm -hmm. Astrid, you say? She's with you on your lovely boat? Say no more. Mm -hmm. Here I come. Oh, shit. E, what? Just like that? No fuss? Really? Mm -hmm. You must be really desperate. Let's go back. In a minute. Okay, what is with that? Jesus. Okay. Don't just stand there. Welcome him aboard, Stella. Hey! Giovanni. Astrid. Oh, Astrid. You look good. Always. And you look splendid too, princess. Astrid, I was looking for you. Everywhere I went, you were not there. Honey, my life is empty without you. The air tastes like dust. The ground feels wobbly. The stars are gone from the sky. And no one is here to scratch my back. I even had to buy a back scratcher. 
You know the wooden ones with the little plastic hand on top. <laughs> Stop it, Giovanni. I haven't forgotten what you did. I will never forget. <laughs> but... <laughs> but... <laughs> but I'm willing to forgive you. Only if you promise to behave. Can you do that, Giovanni? Mm -hmm. Can I trust you on this? Mm. Or should I forget about you right here and now? Mm hmm. Mm. Yes. Oh, yes, my princess. Have my back and I'll show you how trustworthy I can be. Mm -hmm. I will shower you with gifts and never take the slightest peep at other women ever again. Heavens, I'll even stop looking at other people. You have my word. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Geovikins. But you're still on probation, mister. Mm -hmm. Baby, if I even see you doing something fishy, I'll kill you. You hear me? <laughs> now come here. I have so much to tell you. Mm -hmm. Giovanni and I have a few things to settle. You don't need to babysit me for a while. I'm sure you've got better things to do than watch two ancient lovebirds reconnect. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to you later. Actually, I do need to talk to you. Uh, you need some food. Mm -hmm. Ha! Thank you, Bambina. I was hungry like a lion. Thank you for this food. Ha! Hungry like a lion. That was a good one. Mm -hmm. I'm hilarious. You know what? Come here. Wasn't that amazing? I'm picking some fruit for you. Stop. No. Yeah, if you if you just take care of the orchard, that's fine. What, you you don't like a uh, gentleman who's just a bit too suave for his own good? on the docket. Uh, there we go. All right, I want to go back to Masha because if I can get that marble. What's up? Hey, Peanut. I see you picked a spot on the map. What a what wonderful initiative, Bambina. Seeing the world, going places, meeting new faces. It's also exhilarating. Before we go somewhere incredible though, could you do something for me? Mm -hmm. Let's just go somewhere else. Okay, I'll let you in on a little secret. I want to make someone really happy. Shh, don't say it out loud. A secret I told you. And yes, you guessed right, a very special lady. Mm -hmm. I want to show her how much she matters to me. Ha, <laughs> I knew you would be on board. All right, we need to go to Bottom Line Corp and do some shopping. I've heard the shop there just received a new batch of fancy chocolate boxes. She just loves chocolate. The dark and expensive kind. Mm -hmm. It's a perfect gift, don't you think? Wonderful, Bambina. Let's head there then. Okay, that... Look. <laughs> uh, no, you're good. I'll give these a quick watering. Because I think after this I can, I'll actually have enough for a windmill. Yeah. <laughs> you reading the wiki? <laughs> Why are you spoiling yourself? A 
Unless you're like a year like I know I'm not gonna play it, but I just want to see what goes on. Oh yeah. I don't have time for this. No, 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 no! Fuck! It's on uh, Game Pass, and they, they usually have like three months. That's how I'm playing it. I'm playing it on uh, Xbox Game Pass. But yeah, uh, for the first month of Game Pass, it's usually like literally a dollar. Or a dollar or two. Right. Oh. You know, I'm going to go here first. Uh, no, I'm playing on PC. X, uh, Game Pass for PC is what I use. I do not have any of the uh, current gen consoles. Like, it's how I um, played uh, y the Yakuza series originally. I'm just, I'm just annoyed because I messed up and. Nah. Oh. Okay, where is the closest? No, I'd say... Hey, show fish stew. And I want... Go here, and then we'll go over to the driftwood. See ya. The bus stops are basically fast travel points. A little bit of food. Come here. Ugh. Fire glow yet. 
I'm working on the cotton for the old plant. Alright, All right, I'm asleep. And then I, I just want to get back to Masha because I'm so annoyed that I didn't grab all the stuff. Okay, legit, like, this was going on outside. I'd sleep like, you know, I would sleep very well. Let me just grab this. Ooh. I need a round of cotton, though. Yowza! Ha <laughs> ha! That is one hell of a kicker. I'm shaking. Stimulants all the way, Bambina. Delicious and wakes you up for real. Hey! Would you look at that? You're able to find my sister in the village? That's incredible. Is she mad? Don't tell me. If I make it, I'm sure that it'll be worth something at last, at least. Thanks again. I'll probably be at the bottom of the ocean without you or my sister's help. Sleeping when it rains is actually always a good time to sleep. Yeah. Because it just cools everything down and it sounds, you know. Sounds pleasant. Okay, we're gonna take the bus stop again. We we'll get back to Masha. Morning, Uncle Atoll. Oh my God, I'm sorry. You're hungry. Have uh, where shellfish stew. Come here. Thank you. You eat? No, you're fine. And you're. Picking. Have you eaten? That's right. There we go. After I get the windmill, then I'll go get the uh, other guy. Oh yeah, if, if I heard this outside the window, I'd just be like... That was like perfectly time. Hey, what's up? Oh, uh, have some grilled bit. Uh, okay. 
over to Masha and not screw it up this time because they have marble and then I'm gonna do like a round of three marble and well actually while we're going we'll oh, nope I'm actually gonna take some time and go to the loom like the Make the cotton, because I... There we go. Aw, uh, you don't jam on. Look at you running around taking care of them. I went through that too fast. Okay. Hey. Ooh, that's a lot of aluminum. Okay. Nope, because that'll completely deplete my marble, so I actually find a light. Find a light. Find a light. Triple marble. Yeah. You took your sweet time, right? Are you done? Yes. Alright. Thank you. I need to go back to the villa. I just realized that. Plus am I to the villa? Perfect, I'm like right there. And when I come back to Masha, that'll be enough marble that I can finally get that windmill and make start making flour.
Okay, we're at the villa. I gotta go talk to the gardener. Small child. I've cracked it. Door is finally open. I can rest easy knowing I have a place to well rest. Mm -hmm. The riches to rag story has really shaken my core. I just wanted to be a rich person. But no, faith has stepped in. Mm -hmm. My new life is more precious to me. We'll harvest this land. I will be victorious and reign supreme on all these veggies. Mm -hmm. I am the gardener of my own life. Oh, here's my garden upgrade. Lol. Oh, I just need some oh, need some linen fabric? Oh, I can get that in about five seconds. Something I needed cotton fabric for. I think it was for something in a toll's house. No. Maybe it was. Yeah. There you go. And you're good. I. I'm a little bit away from that. Just because I need like ash and pulsar. While we're going along, I'm actually going to try and get some fishing in. Come on. Good old ice fishing. Come on. There we go. Come on. Reel her in. Reel her in. Jeez. Work with me, work with me. Come on, come on. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Hey, hey, a snow crab. Apparently snow crab is actually delicious. I got it, I got it. Come on. Ah, we got a char. But it's a char broil. You've tried king crab before? Hmm, sweet. I wonder what the big difference would be like. 
is it just like a texture thing, a taste? Like, felt really unhappy afterwards. Was it good though? Oh, we made it to Furugawa in one night, damn. Hey, another snow crab. Okay, perfect. Oh. Let's go talk to homeboy. again are you and would you look at that you've got the piece oh Stella this is very good you you've managed to wrestle the woodprint from the cold hands of the hag what ingenuity what spunk yes you'll probably prove to be an immense asset to all of my endeavors or shall I say our endeavors well it is decided then there's no pursuit left for me on this island Therefore, I will join your little expedition. As a passenger, mind you, not as a crew member. Yes, yes, such a boat might just be the perfect gallery. It was, I felt unhealthy because I ate too much of it. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! I grab that? Yeah. Let's head back. A marvelous venue. All right, all right. I know I can do it. Sure, it might tingle a bit, but, well, what if it hurts? Ah, you're here, good. You won't let it be painful, will you? Oh, okay, I don't really trust you, but what choice do I have anyways? Ha! Ah, I did it, and I didn't even faint. It actually feels all right. Who knew? Well then, let's get started. What? Oh, but of course, pardon my enthusiasm. I forgot to introduce myself. How forgetful and impolite. I'm Gustav, and I don't know why, but I can't exactly shake the feeling that we've met each other already. Anyhow, I'm glad our paths have crossed on this island. And I know that together we will accomplish great things. Uh -huh. This world is part wonderful and part disgusting. So is art. Truly, Stella, the gods have struck us with a grand inspiration. It is our solemn duty to have elevate souls with beauty and awe. Uh -huh. My resolve is strong, Stella. I will put together the greatest exhibit of my life. And you will help me. Oh, how grandiose will it will be. Uh, but first, payment. Uh -huh. I've been called a lot of things, but never a cheapskate. Hey, thank you. Uh, have an apple. Okay. Into the guest house. Let's, oh, let's grab the cotton. Let's plant 
the last three. Let's go to sleep and then let's see if mash is available because if I can get the marble, I can get the windmill. is back. I might have to go to Nord Whaler. And just water those. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I need to shear you. Morning. Giovanni's just chilling. Oh yeah, I guess you're... Uh, hug. Um, yeah. um. Now where to start? Before we start working on the exhibition proper, some preparations are required. Namely, making sure we have access to proper installations. Now bear with me, is the boat equipped with some sort of woodworking facility, such as a sawmill? Yes. Would have numerous structural applications. Yes, how convenient. A loom would also allow us to make clothing canvas. Is there one aboard? Fantastic. A foundry with metalworking tools also has a number of applications. Anything that could fit the bill? Yep. There is a fully functioning foundry. Got quite a well-furnished ship, Stella. And finally, at the cornerstone, Many curators work a mailbox. Yep. Correspondence with my fellow academics and collectors is essential to my work here. Uh -huh. You've built a mailbox already? Fantastic. Well, it seems a couple items are left unchecked. I'll let you get to it. What items? Oh shit, I'm I'm like there. You're a little bit hungry. Oh Hello. I need the marbles on your back. sure what I'll need so I'm gonna grab throw one aluminum one marble and eh, two marble I, I have plenty of marble uh yeah see ya thank you Masha All right. 
cooking up some snow crab. You know you're special, don't you? Oh, yes, you do. And if you don't, shame on you. Just look at you running around taking care of them, taking care of me. I hope they're all grateful to you. Point me to one of them who's not, and I will have a little discussion with them. No, but really, Peanut, you've got to be proud of yourself and what you're doing here. You're killing it. Heavens, that's funny. Okay, where am I going to put this? Right there, I guess. So, I need ash. My next big, like, is ash. Ash ingots. Let's see what this is about. Oh, can you ground up the rice flour in a windmill? Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, just take, hey, Koken. You had like a 50% increase. Yeah, I got raided by a couple of people. In subs. What do we got? Heat treated crab. Uh, so much of a late night. It is currently uh two two a.m. for me. I, I'm on my days off, so. Am I doing this wrong? Oh yeah, you yes. Yep. 
my go do conversion for the states is seven hours. Yeah. Yeah, go for go for ten for for me. Uh three. So yeah, take ten hours off. Yeah. It is currently two thirty AM for me. Okay. I just wanted. To... Okay, I have two of those. I just want to check something. Seth Point Docks. He wanted bottom line corp. Huh. And it's east west something on Mountain Time. Uh, Central, Mountain, East, co East Coast, West Coast. Yeah. Here's how long the windmill takes. I'm used to like a little game or whatever. Yeah, a lot of well are on the east coast, yeah. Okay, I got that one. Oh, there it's done. Okay, it just does take a while. Most of the people you know. I wish I knew where the next shrine was. Already been to Loneberg. Oh, it I guess once you get there, it'll tell me. So central is east of mountain time. West mountain, central east. I believe so. I just, I don't remember off the top of my head. It's either that or Central and Mountain are swapped. I don't remember off the top of my head. Koken, I guess it's time to go ice fishing. Yeah, that's Nordweiler. Oh, there is a shrine there. Excellent. I actually need that. Uh -huh. 
Now that our pre 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 now that our preparatory work is fully complete, I think it's time for working on some proper infrastructure. Ideally, a project of this breadth would require a dedicated space to protect the most fragile pieces from the elements. It also requires an office desk from which the curator can work comfortably. As well as a waiting area, a front desk, some storage, and maybe even a gift shop. Though we might manage without one. What? A bit much. On the contrary, Stella. I assure you that all the of these are perfectly necessary. Luckily, as a rational man, I realize that space may be an issue. That's why I have thought of a multi-purpose area that would do wonderfully. Let's get to it then. Grab a pencil and listen carefully. A gallery is a paradoxical space for it is both houses works of art and is one. Architecture is after all the first expression of humanity's master over nature. Mastery over nature. As such like a temple of blah 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 blah. And that is one of the many ways the Bauhaus School of Chicago integrated is Astrusian architecture into its ideas. All right, have you got all that written down? I don't mind going over the finer points of the lecture again. Uh -huh. Do you need me to repeat? No. Well, if you insist, I'll let you get to it then. All right. I was pretty sure it was that way. But I Googled it. Now you know for sure. Oh, hell yes. I can get it right off the hop. Oh, that's just for convenient for getting to the top. Fantastic! Uh -huh. As usual, Stella, you've accomplished your end of the deal with gusto. And while I noticed you disregarded much of my previous indications, what a great space you managed to put together. Uh -huh. It will be a much better working environment than that noisy guest house. The plus, I can even move in so that I can entirely focus on my work. Oh, don't act surprised. I've only ever felt at home when surrounded by my work. Uh -huh. While some might consider sleeping in their office a punishment, I'm actually looking forward to it. I can't wait to fill up this empty space. How exciting. Uh -huh. Do carry on. I'll gather my things and my thoughts and I'll tell you when we're ready for the next step. That's some crab. Wakey wakey everybody. Hey. Hug. Can I do any yeah? Hey, right, let's head over to Nordweiler because that'll give me my zipline power and I can go zoom, zoom, zoom. How invigorating. Oh, Stella, thank you much, so much for bringing me here. Oh, this, this, oh, smell the crisp winter air. Those, these colors. Oh, I feel like a young girl again. Oh, let's go already. I can't wait to see all the sights. What you got? Dear God, that is 
expensive. I think I'll need that later. Look at that. Is that an ancient wooden elevator cage? What a wonderful construction. Didn't think I'd ever see one with my own eyes. Remember? It's by climbing one of these that Anskar managed to get away from Harald's gang. A treacherous and icy cage that claimed many a young daredevil's life. But of course, Anskar managed to escape with the Countess's sapphires with ease and grace. Yes, he was quite the cat burglar. Oh, look at me. I'm swooning just thinking about it. As for us, I think we should just climb the ladder. Watch out for ice patches. You should always move your arm when it's cold outside. Like this. Look. I'm talking and moving. I'm multitasking like a champ. No one can stop me. I don't think I know you. I think my partner wouldn't like it if I was talking to a strange child. Don't talk to me again, please. Or if you do, do it discreetly. Oh, and this statue here with the bushes ever white. Just as I pictured it. How uncanny. Doesn't it remind you of the shrine where Anskar offered the sapphires to Agenta? Agenta? I would have stolen a hundred gemstones and fought a thousand ruffians for the opportunity to gaze upon your beauty, but for a second. Oh, how romantic. Then she confessed her love, and then they... Well, you know what happened next. Although in my mind it wasn't so cold outside. Well, Anskar sure was hot-blooded. I know that's how he makes me feel. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Give it. All right. Ah! Oh, in this dark, windy spot. Just like this scaffolding where Anskar and Harald duel. Oh, I can see the scene so clearly. The clicking of the swords, the distant barking of dogs, and the whistling of the policemen. Even the smoke reminds me of the train station below. And then glinting in the shadows, a small needle-like knife. Just looking- hey, it's it's all good, Mix. Um, I'm just glad to be some background. And then just as- and Scar is adeptly disarmed his opponent. Treacherous and Echnetta emerges and stabs Anskar in the back. Of course, how could Anskar know that she was the half niece of the cruel Herald? The bleeding Anskar ventures haphazardly to the edge of the scaffolding. And he reaches the edge, he glances back and finds that he is cornered by the opponents. With nowhere to go, they know it is but a matter of time before they can deliver him to Duke Frederick, and Scar's long, strange twin brother, usurper of the family title. But Anskar, elegant to his last breath, raises a hand in farewell, smiles softly, and just as he is engulfed by the smoke from the locomotive below, Stella, no, I'm all right. Thank you. I'm good. I'm good. Just, I'm a little tired. Let's get back home, okay? Just, let's go. Wee.
What's up? It's so far. Oof. Wait up, I'm... Um... I'm tired. Would you... Would you mind helping an old lady walk back to the tender? Oh. Aw. Oh. My heart just erupted. Good day. We'll go back, we'll finish this, and then I want to head. A zipline post. Cool. Yeah. Wanted to have a word with you. We had some fun together with the trip and all. But I can't keep following you around like that. It's just too tiring. Besides, it's not befitting of an old lady like me. Just... Has anyone told you how smothering you can be? Please leave me some space now, will you? No problem. I feel bad now. <laughs> smothering Let's go back here because there was stuff I needed to get wow Okay. Hey. Oh, excellent. I go to Susan, I think. Can you? Can, uh, no, it wouldn't let me. That's it. 
Mm, wait, no, it's fried chicken. This this would be breaded chicken. So I need oil. So I do need that crusher. But gen well, generally, if you make fried chicken, you're you you know you're breading and you're frying. Question is where is bottom line corp? Isn't that like the first Wait, there was a mine I need to go to. Yeah, because I couldn't do anything. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. You might have noticed, but Alice, well, she seems to have some trouble getting around, doesn't she? I don't think she can use ladders anymore. Mm -hmm. Luckily for her, her house stands directly on the deck. Imagine she would be pretty lonely cooped up in there. I'll go to the museum first because that is all f I have all five gems that fried chicken oh oh it's a meat pie okay so I was right fish on the way I gotta go check on Alice though a little bit of watering Eugene, where are you? Oh. oh, hello, it's you. Have you seen Eugene? He must be in the garage again. When you see him, can you ask him to bring me my old woolly? It's getting a bit chilly here. Uh, what? Hello, how are you? What is that? A blanket? For me? I used to have a woolen blanket that I liked very much. I must have misplaced it. Well, thank you. That's very nice of you. Oh. 
My legs. My old legs won't carry me anymore. Could you help, perhaps help me get to the prow? Of course. Little one. How is the next meal coming along? Do you need any help? Oh, thank you. I was getting quite hungry. The evening. Okay. What's this? My back. I've once again hit a roadblock. As you know, much of my work requires me to communicate with my trusted correspondents. Of course, you used to help me with that. Quite a lot. But look at me now, back at full strength. Even though I don't need a secretary, I still need a desk. And we could use any old desk, but that would defeat our purpose, would it not? Uh -huh. Only the best for the good of the exhibit. To the end, I managed to track down a woodworker of excellent reputation. I know he lives in Oxbury, but I haven't been able to contact him. Uh -huh. So sh you should go and investigate some good old-fashioned field work. And while I do not know exactly where he might be, I do know that his companion works in some sort of cafe. Maybe that could lead you on its trail. Oh, and on a related note, I've done some thinking. I'm not certain the vast assortment you put it, tools you put at our disposal will yet be enough. Since everything apparently has to be refined from raw materials, some finer materials will, will require a more specialized workshop. You should consider building a smithy to help us with that. I don't have a smithy. Smithy. Don't we have one? No, oh, I don't need it. Grades. For the rock destroyer, I need the crusher. Okay, you're good. Okay. Eric, let's build a smithy. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I need to go down here. I need to go get whatever it is from uh, Susan. <laughs> well done. We are but mere mortals in your presence. Tell us, O oh great spirit fair. What can I possibly give you that will quench your immense appetite? Well, this concludes the thrilling saga of how many gems you can bring me. Don't forget to not write. Arrogant know-it-all. Oh. I was like... Hey, it's Francis. I will be right back. I just need to go use the washroom.
I have returned. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about that. where I want to go. Because there's a lot of stuff at the Calcine, uh, the mine. Hey, what's up? Uh -huh. It just occurred to me, Stella. This exhibition I've been feverishly toiling towards. I've never really delved into any detail concerning it, have I? Uh -huh. Well, allow me to enlighten you. As my assistant, it's the least I can do. As you are well aware of, I've organized my fair share of exhibitions throughout my life. One might even say that it was my career, although I prefer to think of it as my vocation. Uh -huh. But every single one of them, museum, private or public galleries, festivals, uh -huh. anti-fascist rallies, corporate tax schemes, li living performances, uh -huh. every single one of them been, been corrupted by base, obtuse, pretentious politics. The public is not ready for this one, Gustav. The artist slept with this one and there's some bad blood. The queen is a preference for this tepid piece of art bourgeois. I've never not once been allowed free reign over an exhibition. I have often thought to myself, hmm. Gustav, you'll be respected when you get older. No one would dare to question your gusto. But then, well, you know what happened? When my body gave out and my legs became obstinate as pieces of wood. And the disease slowly creeping up until my features froze into a ridiculous grimace. I didn't mind all that. After all, the body is but a tool for the mind. And my mind has always been clear as fresh spring water. Now what I loathe what this perception others had of me. When you turn into a grotesque statue of yourself, people start treating you as furniture. All this work, all those years, the sacrifices, the humiliations, then suddenly, lost all worth. Tried to keep up with my work, as you remember. And thanks to your help, but things were never quite the same. Well, this time it will be different. The exhibition will be pure, pure chaos. A maelstrom of artistic sensitivities thrown together in defiance of all human laws to enforce this greatest message of transcendence through beauty. Yes, that is my goal now. Uh -huh. And yours too, should you choose to keep helping me. I'm sure you will. How you doing, food wise? Uh, have a cup. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, have some tea. Mm -hmm. Grab this. Let's plant. Let's plant some tea. All right. Let's go see what's in the mines. Well done. You're ready and well equipped for the job. You did well, recruit. I'm happy to welcome you on the team. Here you go. Have fun in there, maybe. That sounds odd. You're going into an abandoned mine after all. Be careful. And also always respect the job. some more. Hey. <laughs> yeah, 
Come on. Ah, oh, son of a... Just checking. Son of a bitch. Sometimes it'll go, other times it won't. I'm See? Like sometimes Son of a... Really? I... I hit it. One, two. Grab. Two, grab. One, two, grab. There we go, Jesus. Now oh, I see. I could just, I'd really appreciate some zinc. The air is so nice. One day my daughter and I had a little outing to the seaside. It was such a nice day. Oh, there was a picture of that day in the envelope you found the other day. Got it right here. Look at her outfit. Always so fashionable. Later that day she lost her hat to a gust of wind though. What a shame. Oh, are you ready to walk me back home? Yes.
we go. My heart is making the breaky noises for the... Sorry, I literally went back there because... I just looked for the quickest way out before. Now I can, I'm actually going to explore. Hey. Nothing there. In case you're wondering why I keep jumping at walls. It's just because they literally sometimes have stuff in them. Okay, I guess that's it. Okay. Oxbury, okay. I just wish I where bottom the bottom line corp thing was do i need water or anything nope morning My legs. My old legs won't carry me anymore. Perhaps help me get to the prow. Of course. Come here, Alice. My stomach is turning. Would you have any to eat? Of course. Oh yeah. Forgot about that. Mare. I noticed that the fruit in the orchard were ready. Oh, thank you. Oh shit, thank you. I really do need to make a crusher. Like, that is... Pulsar. 
Like, my biggest thing is... Uh, no. Actually, you're probably hungry. Oh, jeez, yeah. Sorry. I have a meat pie. Come here, Uncle, uh, Uncle Les. Okay. That is North Sea Pier. Okay, we got the shrine. Where do I need to go? Oh, jeez. No, we'll start with the south. Wait, wait. Am I? How much of an idiot am I? Bottom line, Corp is right there. There we go. I, I don't want to encounter anything on the way. After that, we'll go to Oxbury. I just got to remember what I need for a picture frame. I think I need like zinc or pulsar. I need something that... Ah, I need ash and bottled ectoplasm. I don't. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to have a look. Oh, of course. Have some salad. Give you a hug. Where's your husband? He probably needs some food. He's probably like fucking starving. Oh, hey. Oh my god. Sorry. Aha! Now this is something special. Quite the fine dining experience, Bambina. I, Giovanni Leone, formidable, am a creature of refined taste of exquisite complex complexity. And this, this hits the spot. Delicious. Grazie mille to the chef. Yes, I know it's you. There you go. Feel better now? Likes fine dining and stimulants. Oh yeah, I should probably throw something in for cooking. Uh, uh, flour and I'm working on the fried chicken. am I? Oh. Oh, sorry. I was distracted. I'm alright. I'm fine. 
Yes, yes, I'm sure. Just carry on with your day. Oh, Annie, you... Oh, I'm sorry. I mistook you for my daughter. You're dressed exactly like her. Of course, the wind blew her hat away. When I find her, you should tell her where you found yours. I'm sure she'd like to find another one again. It would lo look better than that unmatched red hat of hers. You are killing me! Excuse me? Have you seen Annie? She's my daughter. I think we got separated on our way here. She should be easy to find. She put her red hat on today. With her nice blue beach outfit. It was her birthday present from her dad, you know? It's... Oh, Annie, where are you? Oh, I see. I, I messed up. Let me just fix that. <laughs> in a second after I have a full sad I guess. Oh. Yeah. I'd kill for some zinc Zinc or Pulsar, just because even just one, I can work off of it. Oh. Annie, there you are. I was scared. I thought that you had left. I'm feeling tired. We're on our way home, aren't we? Tell me when we're there. Oh, no. Oh, oh, <laughs> I have to bring Alice to the Everdoor. After I do this thing for Giovanni, we're going to the Everdoor. She thinks I'm Alice. Her daughter, no, Annie, her daughter. Oh. Has she completely forgotten me? Check that out just a second. Well, I learned fisherman's pie. Huh. All right. Go, go. Take a look. They should have it here. Got the nicest chocolate box you can find. Not the cheap stuff. Got a brand new shipment recently. Things are looking up for old Theodore. Go ahead. Take a look. What the fuck? 
I'll, I'll buy that, but it's like sampler pack. Twelve thousand. Haha, <laughs> I knew I could count on you. You're terrific, Bambina. You know that? Marvelous, exceptional, ad admirable, admirable. We don't deserve you. Nope, no one does. Okay, let's pack it up, guys. We don't deserve Stella one bit. You wonderful little peanut. All right, now give it to me, please. Give. Thank you. <laughs> yes, she'll love it so much. I'll hold on to it. Let's head back to the boat, Bambina. There was something here I couldn't get before. Some more. Pancakes! Thank you. Ooh, sugar cane. We won. I'm gonna eat two steaks tonight. I just love working. That'll be useful. Great elevator. I'm an idiot. I'll go back up and then I'll head to the right. anything right here? Dang it. I just, I keep thinking a toolbox is maybe something I can interact with. Eh, you know what? Nah. Let's not worry about that. Excellent. Sugar cane. Ah. Okay. Y'all ready for some feels tomorrow?
What's all the way over here? Oxbury. Let's go. Say, didn't I wake everyone up? Hey, Uncle Atoll. Some cherries. Uh, it was like flower and cher cherry pie? Give you some lettuce and then I'll shear you. Some fisherman's pie. Old fashioned dish. Oh. Mare. No problem. Her mood is amazing. I just. Don't mind me. I'm. My heart's just fucking breaking. <laughs> Astrid. Oh, hey, you can't really improve this place yet. There you are. I was thinking, and you know what? Just a chocolate box is not nearly enough for a lady of this caliber. I know exactly what could complement this gift. A nice bouquet of flowers. Vibrant, luscious roses. And I know just where to pick some. Amber Town Park. Don't worry, I'll show you once we're there. It's such a, it's a great idea, eh? It's definitely a great idea. And again, not a word. She will be completely surprised. Thank you. Uh, give you some food. How about some fine dining? Wait, where was this Trattoria again? Well, never mind. Yours is better than theirs. I haven't had a good spaghetti and meatballs. Like, I had some tortellini with spaghetti with a uh, like spaghetti sauce recently, and it was actually really good. Okay, okay, okay. Get the waterworks ready. Oh, Annie, we're there, aren't we? Can we go now? All right, then.
Okay. We're fine. It's okay. Sorry if I'm being quiet, I'm just kind of letting the moment, like... What a wonderful scenery. Did you find, find this place all by yourself, Annie? You'd gone exploring earlier, hadn't you? Always such an adventurer. I'm so proud of you. These trees are quite marvelous. Eugene will be so mad to have missed that. Perhaps he'll be able to take some time off next summer. Yes, let's return here. I feel I could stay here forever. You haven't told me about school recently. Is everything still going well? And your grades, are they? Oh, of course, you graduated a long time ago. I'm sorry, I don't know how I got this confused. You're... You're not Annie, are you? Yes, of course. I guess I have been rather forgetful recently. Maybe Eugene will. When you see your father, tell him about the trees, won't you? I'm sure he'll be excited to come with us next year. Okay. Oh. I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh. Hey, game, you want to stop punching me in the fucking guts? Please? Okay, okay, I'm okay, I'm okay.
okay, okay, okay. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. <laughs> oh God. This game punches you in the feels. Just, dear God. In case you're wondering why I keep doing this, it's just, you know. Space conservation. Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Okay. Oxbury and Embertown Park. Oxbury. Get there? Or do I need the rock destroyer first? And I have no clue where to get fire glow. Fish stew. I forgot about the lightning thing. I was just like, no, I don't need any lightning in a bottle right now. I gotta go to those meadows, see if I can just figure out where those goddamn ash planks, where the ash trees are.
Okay, sleep until morning. Excuse me. I was going to say, we might not be able to because it is the rock breaker. I need six fire glow. Where the fuck do I find fire glow? I always get more corn. Ugh, when did I have corn? Morning. Okay, we'll see in about five seconds. Okay, yep, rocks. I was right. Okay, now, okay, if that's the case, then everything over there is locked off. So. That's the You know what? I'm just gonna start here. Like, look for the fire glow, the planks, just, you know. Come here, Shiri's here. Because I think I need to do a bit more exploring because it's like, where are these things? Food on this. Oh. Uh -huh. mm. I'm gonna be start on taste. Mm. The faint glimmers of civilization left in this barbaric slaughterhouse that was once known as humanity. 
experiences exactly that. A taste so unique, so special. I don't even get why some people call this an acquired taste. Neophytes, assuredly. This is wonderful, Skipper. Thank you. Come here. Good, good. I was gonna say, Giovanni, you're fucking impossible to track down. It's like, I gotta give you some food. Finish, uh, sorry, Bambina. Talk a little carbs. Call me Vane, I am. Who goes straight to my butt? We don't want that. Okay, so no desserts for him. Oh, just a mm -hmm. snap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey. Ow. Mm -hmm. Hey, Astrid. You need some food? Oh, no, you're good. And did I just feed you? Cherry pie. Still got time, so. I'm just getting some glass. found something you might like, perhaps. It's a gift from my collection. I hope you appreciate the value of such oddity. Hey, thank you. <laughs> din, 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 din. Yeah, I gotta go check out all the little areas. I do have, like, all three uh, movement powers, I think. Don't know how many there are actually. Okay, we're almost there. We're this is a completely new place. It's a meadow, so I'm guessing. I'm guessing trees. All right, well, I'm gone. In case you're wondering why I keep planting sunflower, it's because they can be crushed in sunflower oil. Oh, I thought I had discovered that. Hopefully you have ash. Look like uh, oak, though. Well, we'll find out. If it is oak, I can skip these trees. I know it looks like oak, but... Okay. When the others aren't looking, I like to lick the rock. 
helps me concentrate. Also, it's a little bit salty. I don't get it. I've been here for days. Everyone here says they feel something. I don't feel anything. What gives? I shouldn't have quit my job. Oh, brother. Oh, wow. I've heard of this rock from a friend. It said if you stand next to it for like a week, you can become a seagull or something. Okay. Okay, so this... Foggy. I don't think that I'll need something for that. Okay, we'll go to the lighthouse. Have I told you that after the war I opened a tavern? Working in sales wasn't my thing and Astrid's mother said she wanted to help us, so I told myself, hey sure, why not? It was a reputable establishment, something fancy. Not a drinking hole where people would come to forget about their lousy lives. So one day a client comes in, disheveled, obviously distraught, looking over his shoulder as if the dogs of Inferno were after him. Runs the bar, grabs me by the collar, and tells me in a panic, 12 shots of your finest liquor. Before I even have time to come through, come back with the bill, he's almost, almost through half of them. Mm -hmm. So I ask him, Brother, what's going on with you? Why are you drinking so fast? Which answers, If you had what I have, you'd be drinking very fast too. Surprised and a bit scared, I flat out ask him, What in heavens do you have? Mm -hmm. Then stands up right away and tells me only 50 cents and dashes to the door well peanut it's been 40 years and i'm still laughing at this one oh ikarishima lighthouse okay 